Yule was trying to remind me.
access granted. Cool. Hush, Elden Ring. It might be raining in Elden Ring. It might be raining here. We don't need to hear it, though, do we? We don't need to hear it. It's awful here. Wake up, you sleepyheads. How you doing? Hey, well. Ryan! Not on time, but early. I know. What's going on? What the hell's going on, buddy? I sat her down. I was... I said, oh, it's only like five minutes to go. I might as well just... Go live and take it from there. Uh, Atheline 7 how are you doing, my lovelies? I hope you're well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, do you, you prefer it like this, 7? I don't know. I'll, I prefer when it's um got like four or five days worth of growth. Personally, I think, uh, I think that looks a little bit better. Beyond that, then it starts looking raggedy like I was all of last week. Um, but yeah, when it's like just been done or one day in... I don't know. If you like it, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, this is true. This is true. <laughs> like, if I uh, I could just... Like, if I could just maintain a level of growth where it just wouldn't grow anymore. Not that shaving's a hassle, but um, it's just an extra thing to do. I would, uh, like I say, f clean shave four days later, pause it there, and I'm, I'm happy with that. Bless your half. <laughs> well, thankfully, your ears are working. So you can hear how goddamn sexy I am. You don't need to see it. Um, <laughs> sorry, hang on. That feels a bit loose and wonky. Although my uh, my knob can't be tightened anymore. Apparently, it's all good. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, how you doing, folks? How was your weekend? It's unbearably long, was it, Seven? Um, good to speak to you yesterday, Seven. As always, thank you for coming by for the Red Wolf watch party. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for showing me a bit of, uh, Genshin. The over the thing that strikes me about, uh, Genshin Impact is the, um, the overall presentation, particularly the characters, obviously. Um, you know, it, it, anime aesthetic is, uh, very appealing to most, a lot of people for good reason. Um. But yeah, I uh, I I was I had to go sort out food, so I ducked out. And then by the time I uh, got back, um, yeah, you would you, you everyone had disappeared. So <laughs> it's fine. Um, yeah, I bet I bet you will. Af, I bet you will. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Um, I appreciate you saying that, Ryan. Um, I don't like the sound of my own voice. I think. <laughs> I think it. In my own ears, it sounds fine, but then when I hear my own voice, like recorded, re when it's recorded, uh, and that's your actual voice, um, which you guys hear all the time, I think it sounds like jank. I think I sound like an absolute idiot. But I'm sure we all feel like that's one degree or another. So I appreciate that. Um, There we go, and that's, I guess that's testament to the uh, the strength of the game, Seven. You're not particularly necessarily into that anime aesthetic, but you will take it for the sake of the game. So, who knows? Maybe one day. Maybe one day I'll get to it. We shall see. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, what's better, Af, to be a smooth, velvety idiot or a, uh, or a, a raggedy rough genius? I don't, I don't know. 
maybe uh, with, apple, with apples and oranges is, is in it up in it i don't know um uh genshin impact uh athleen um seven's played it quite a lot and was just showing it a little bit off on stream yesterday um and people i've seen other people play it and i've seen uh i've had people that ask me about it like oh have you played it is are you going to play it and it's like well no and i don't know <laughs> it's not on the list but yeah uh, yeah the list can be amended by uh, the producers, so we, you know, who knows? Um, I believe it is free to play, though, and it is on all systems, right? Um, no, uh, but yeah, I believe so, Ryan. And that's probably why you think you're crap, Ryan, because uh, I don't know. You, you seem pretty awesome to me, buddy. Um Ah, did you have? And what was your uh, take on it? It's even on mobile. Okay, that's which seems wild to me. Um, excellent. Not that that bothers me. I pay pay to win mechanics. I just ignore that. Um, and, and suck. People are like yeah, you suck. I'm like I oh, yes, but I I may suck at the game, but I have my dignity. Uh. <laughs> little kids running around with their parents credit cards um you can pay to get through the story faster yeah that, which i mean if the story's good why would you want to do that i don't <laughs> hey buddy do you like our new game if you give us more money then you don't even have to play it <laughs> it's like ah oh, i can do that for free <laughs> um yeah i've got a grind you know me i'll, I'll do a little grind um Yeah, there you go. Okay, so yeah, so there are cosmetics, but I again, I'm the sort of, I find in um, games like that and MMOs and just stuff in general, even in the competitive shooters, people are very into cosmetics. Like they're willing to put time and effort and even real world money into cosmetics in a game. I'm the complete opposite. If you you know, if I will look at a, a character, um and to uh, see what it you know what it looks like and be, have a preference but uh i'm not I, I don't i don't care look i'm playing a, quite a bit of skyrim at the minute and um even though i run around in first person most of the time i am um, i do uh somewhat make decisions based upon um on uh you know aesthetic uh to some degree um you know I, I do i get that but i'm not paying money for it i don't, I don't know i don't imagine they make anything look tr you know trash <laughs> in uh genshin or uh, you know i don't know people are into whatever they're into I, you know, and actually you guys know the reason you're here is because i'm not like other people <laughs> That's the reason you're here. That's the reason you go, you know, you come back uh, and you stay, you know. Because if I was like other people, you'd soon be bored. Um, yeah, okay, yes, yeah, so it's the random rare drops. Okay, and it's like if, um, if the battle pass weapons are the best weapons in the game, and I don't get the best weapon in the game... Oh, oh, does that mean I can't play the game anymore? Oh, no. Oh, no. no, I can still play the game perfectly fine. It's like when I was playing um, Final Fantasy XI with um, Atheline. This You can set up um, uh, files and stuff uh, and add-ons and stuff outside of the game, like programs that work along with it. Um, so you can do, like, automatic gear swaps for various situations. And I'll never look around to setting that up. Um, what is the consequence of that compared to the, you know, the elites who do that? Um, you know, they're, uh, they'll be like 5% more efficient and be doing 5% more damage than me. And, you know, and it's like, okay, well, does it stop me playing the game? No. Anybody got a problem with me doing, not doing that? Maybe, but no one with the, the stones to actually say anything about it. Um... I don't care. Can I still play the game? 
Do I have to do your weird little uh, loopholes and part and or part with real life money to enjoy the game? Okay, well, the game's probably shit, isn't it? Um, <laughs> taking on all comments over here. Um, they're not even the best. That's fair enough, Seven. So is it, the solid options. Okay, so it's more count, kind of if... Uh, to encourage people to be like oh there you go if i if i buy this i can get like a selection of pretty decent weapons right away whereas i might start and have the shittest weapon in the game and i might have to play for dozens of hours to even get anything close to those options yeah and would it stop me enjoying the game i assume not it, it's gonna surely mean uh, the difference between killing an enemy in 30 seconds or difference between killing an enemy in, you know, oh, oh, I've got to spend an extra five seconds fighting it. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Zero out of ten. Ruined game. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for being here, guys. I hope you're well. Um, it's a long weekend for some of you. I hope you I hope you have a good time with it. Um, so, yes, here is what I need to tell you. Uh... Uh, the producers got a uh, oh, message uh, the producers in the discord um, to let them know um, and also posted it on I think I posted it in Conflux and also posted it uh, on Twitter but not everybody has access to all of those things or pays attention to all those things you know there's definitely regular viewers here who are not producers are not on Twitter and maybe don't pay attention or not even in the Conflux or don't pay attention to the Conflux and that's a uh, perfectly acceptable uh and agreeable um but yes finally our lone wolf book series something brand new for this never show um it could be the uh the greatest thing we've ever done on the show it could be the most boring uh crappy thing we've ever done on the show we don't know until we give it a go and i'm willing to take that risk uh if you'll get bored and on a head out that's fine i don't care <laughs> um yeah, 100%. Me too, me too, Af. Uh, I know that you are the only other person I know who's familiar with the book series. Um, finally, Cage got back to me. There's a bit of miscommunication. I'd given him all the details, and I w and I thought I'd said to him, okay, bro, I'm good to go, 100% ready. You let me know when you're ready. So maybe I hadn't said that, or I don't know. I don't know exactly <laughs> what the miscommunication was, but uh, Cage was apparently twiddling his thumbs being like oh when's this gonna get back to me about this <laughs> so finally we are doing it i've advertised it everywhere as this wednesday uh turns out you're not we're doing it tomorrow so be around tomorrow for that guys we're going to uh in depth detail and explanation of that tomorrow when we start the show um i'm great looking forward to that uh and uh, i hope and yeah if you uh like legion cage you get to you know two for one uh and i know he's not as amazing as me but you know he puts effort in to try and get up there so you know you gotta get credit where credit's due uh <laughs> um so yeah it's, it's funny because uh i said to you know i said oh what, what day of the week do you want to do cage and he said oh i can do any day of the week it doesn't matter so i checked with the producers i was like do you guys have a preference no they didn't have a preference uh so I got back to him and I was like, yeah, okay, so they don't have a preference. Um, do you? Uh, and he was like, uh, mm, mm, uh, okay, yeah, now you mention it, it's probably better if we don't do Thursday or Friday. Well, I can't do this Friday anyway. I won't be here, unfortunately. Um, one of those rare days when I will not be streaming. Um, and so I was like, okay, so, so no, not Thursday. So I was like, okay, how about Wednesday? And he said, yes, that's great. So I shared on social media and everywhere to say, ha ha, Wednesday. And then he was like, oh, actually, I have an appointment. <laughs> so we're doing it tomorrow. So it's just funny to me that he was, um, any day of the week's fine. Apart from Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, any other day of the week is fine. <laughs> really like Cage. I did say that he doesn't need to be here first thing because we're going to probably just talk in and just chatting and all that jazz we usually do. But um, he said he will be here, so we'll have a bit of a different just chain. Uh, Cage will be here with us, um, and I'll uh, go into all the details of that project tomorrow if you are here. Um, Atheline has previously uh, said that um, 
because obviously when I when we start the reading, I'm not going to interrupt sentences and paragraphs uh, to talk with chat. Um, I'm going to be fully engaged with Cage. Now, if Cage wants to talk to you guys to get your opinions, if he's like, oh, what should I do, guys? Give me your opinions. Or you want to interrupt with uh, channel point redemptions to affect dice rolls, etc. Um, that's, you know, we'll, I'll respond to that. And if I get a moment to respond, that's fair enough. If um, if you if you, if you anyone desperately needs my attention, um, you know, highlight a message. Uh, but, you know, not just to be like, say hello. So I'll, if I'm behind in chat or I'm missing saying hello to people, that's just the nature of the project that we are doing. Um, you know, if there's a break or something, I can try and catch up. We shall see. But Athelene has, uh, if she's here, she has said um, anybody coming in, uh, she can kind of catch them up on what's been going on uh, if people miss the beginning of the story, um, which I don't know how long we'll just be chatting for. Uh, obviously, the first one, I will be explaining kind of the system and the background of what we're getting into. Not only to all of you, but also to Cage as well. So um, in the future, they'll probably pick up, you know, get up and running a lot quicker than they will tomorrow. We'll take a bit of time to explain things. Um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to keep an eye out for uh, random new people coming in, or um, if they do, uh, or if there's any bots or trolls. Um, so, you know, if there's, I'll see if there's a, a mod around. If there's not, I might just mod somebody up briefly. Um, to hell with that. Roots! How you doing, Root? Are you well? How you doing? Are you, do you have a good weekend? What's going on? Um. You're going to be here every day. Excellent. Bless you, Af. I appreciate that. Um. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you, Seven. I appreciate that. But, you know, if you're not feeling up to it, don't you don't have to be here. Um... Oh, yeah. Pogi bands. Yeah, we'll talk about... We'll have, let's have a little chat about that. Yo, Vibes. How you doing, my friend? Welcome in. How was your weekend? Um, yeah, I'll... Uh, and I think Kate... We can ask Cage about it tomorrow before we get started also. Um, Root, you've been playing it. You've been playing the new Pokemon. Um... I've heard there's a jank fest. Now, I don't know if everyone's suffering from the jank or just certain people, but it, Red Mage shared a good video of it in Conflux. It's um, all sorts of uh, riddled with bugs and stuff. Looks a state, honestly. Like, I would be like, yo, give me more money back, you stupid assholes. Um, explaining. That's, oh, there's no much, there's no other kind of explaining that I would want. Um, yeah, keep your clothes off one one, <laughs> or don't, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. Um, because <laughs> I mean, I, I, I will say seven, it's it crossed my mind before. I just, uh, I guess I don't want too many mods, but um, I don't know, maybe I need to check the mods again, but we shall see. Um, um, no, fair enough, Root. Fair, you know, yeah, no need to mention. You're glad to be back here and distracted with good people and good times. Excellent. Well, I'm pleased to hear that, Root. Well, however unpleasant it was, it's, um, uh, things never stay unpleasant. Or at least there's always the potential for things to get better. But I'm glad you're here, Root. Uh, I'm glad that that awful weekend is behind you. And here, let's, let's, uh, you know, let's hope for a good week for you and, uh, a better weekend this weekend. Let's hope for that. Um, uh, vibes, you had a good one, did you? Excellent, buddy. I'm pleased to hear that. Uh, I'm doing very well. I, I'm really uh, the past this uh, this new uh, schedule we've got, uh, which had over the past couple two months or so, doing the Monday to Fridays, having two days off. It really, I really come back on the Monday like re-energized. Basically, I'll do my uh, relatively decent workout on a Saturday, and that's all I commit to. I'll just do that. Um, and then, uh, you know, make sure I need if I need a haircut, I'll take care of that, um, either on the Saturday or Sunday. Uh, and make sure I use my do my weekly uh, massage gun, uh, which I, use, I, I don't want 
You could do it directly after work now, I guess, but I would prefer to like leave it a day and really like beat myself up. Keep you know, keep those muscles nice and um nice and uh healthy, basically. Uh and then I'll just the rest of the Sunday I'll chill out. Obviously we have the Red Dwarf watch party in the evening. Uh and I'm always available if anyone needs to message me or wants to set up a conversation, etc. Um and then it, it for me it flies by and it's a perfect um you know pit stop for the week and then i'll bang into it for uh another five days of excellent isn't it show twigsy boy twigsy how are you doing sir i hope you're well um yeah i don't yeah having <laughs> after the oh, one single mod and that's just too much <laughs> no i mean uh we shall we shall see i can't that's the thing i don't know what category to put us under if it's not a video game um so i'm torn between just chatting which it kind of is but not really or we could put ourselves under dungeons and dragons which it kind of is but not really so <laughs> um so i don't know because i'm leaning towards dungeons and dragons just because it's closer to that than than just chatting uh so to speak Obviously, you might get Rando stopping and go, oh, this is not Dungeons and Dragons. No, it's not. It's Dungeons and Dragons Light, buddy. Get over it. See you later. Um, <laughs> but we shall see. We shall see. Uh, something to think about. Um, you ha Oh, Woo, you have had some of the issues. Um, oh, just a bit of lag. Um, yeah, and that's the thing. I don't care about the quality of... Um, graphics in a video game it's nice to have nice graphics and different art styles can lend themselves so you can have really good graphics that are like 16 bit like some of the best graphics i've ever seen are like on on the snes that's my personal taste uh it's all relative to what he's trying to achieve um and i i as a, as a rule as long as it hits that relative achievement you can have the most basic graphics in existence for me it's just it appeal to me um and then it all good you know quality doesn't really matter but good you know it's got to be good gameplay systems which pokemon games are but there's no excuse for bugs I th here's what i think happened because uh, i believe it's the game freak the same developer um has been making these games for nintendo for many years and i think they've just got complacent i think they've uh just gone okay we're making kind of the same thing but we're just adding a little bit of this or that and i think they just feel like maybe they deserve more money from nintendo and rather than going to nintendo and go yo give us more money they've just gone oh we, we don't want to upset daddy nintendo so what can we do to get more money i know let's just not do we don't need to pay the quality testers we, we don't need no it's always fine isn't it we don't need to do that Let's just not let's not employ those people this time and then we can put that money in our pockets and pat ourselves on the back and uh and then the game will be fine <laughs> idiots that's what i think that's what that's my speculation they wanted more money and now who you know they've got they've pissed off nintendo no doubt made nintendo look like they can um i mean more than they potentially look like <laughs> anyway <laughs> um that's my feeling on it. Because let's be honest, all, all the other generations of Pokemon never had issues like this, right? The previous generations of Pokemon was silky smooth. Had no issues, as far as I'm aware. The, the, the couple of Pokemon games that I've played, G1 and a bit of uh, G4, zero issues. No issues at all. So... And I'm given to understand that newer generations also zero issues. So then they release this joke, this jank fest, and it's like it, there's lo there's just no excuses for it. This for for a, for a publisher as uh, prestigious as Nintendo, it's a zero excuse. They should be uh, ashamed of themselves. Um, but there you go. That's just my thoughts on that. Um, You had a good uh, weekend, did you, Twixie? Excellent, sir. Excellent. I'm pleased to hear that. Um, tabletop category. Okay, let me make a note of that. Thank you. That might be more appropriate 
uh, root. Thank you. But we'll have a look for that. Um, which one can I? Yeah, because I, I feel that uh, table shop. I need to spell this word. Uh, table shop. Uh, I feel that uh, just chatting. Oh, I feel that Dungeons and Dragons is technically not accurate, but it's closer to the uh, the essence of what we would be doing. So that's why I was a bit torn. Uh, I don't want to be, I don't want to be uh, inaccurate with the the category we're in, but also, unless there's like maybe there's a board game one. But again, even then, I think even if there's like a board game category. That's still that's Dungeons and Dragons is closer. <laughs> Hopefully, it's a tabletop. Oh, beat up my mic there. Maybe there. I'll, I'll, I'll go. We'll have a look tomorrow, Root. Um. Damn, was it good, Twigsy? I bet it was, wasn't it? Right, yeah, that that's the thing that <laughs> if you were playing it on PC route and it was like a real old PC, that's understandable. You play it on your Switch. That's a console. The console should do everything it needs to do. I don't know. Um You hate yourself, Ryan. Yeah, your beard was looking good, buddy. But, um, you know, sometimes you know, it comes and it goes. I'll get it. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I've got a vague uh, gist. Um, route. They've added so many different things, and you can have, like, multiple Pokemon out and at the same time, and um, maybe it's just two, I don't know. Um, and also, like, this one and the previous one, or previous two, they kind of made it, like, literal open world um which is all very fancy and great great that they've added all those extra cool mechanics but it's more important that your game is not riddled with bugs that's far more important um yeah there you go well there you go that's the th that is that's the thing uh Rue. um it's like people uh when skyrim was first released I played it on Xbox 360 and didn't really have it, like really come across any bugs or anything. Maybe there's like a random broken quest here or there. I don't remember. But um, all around the world at the time it was released, people were going, oh my god! Like people getting, NPCs getting stuck in the floor, uh, mammoths falling out of the sky. I didn't see any of that. And I was playing the same version of the game that they were, so I don't... So that, that's definitely a thing that can happen, but still. Um, there are dice involved, so yes, uh, seven. Yeah, if there is a tabletop category, we should probably go for that. Um, oh, okay, up to three. See, that's cool. That, that I like that route. It's, um, it's making it more... Um, JRPG. Uh, guess what I was found, found curious about Pokemon. You have a team of six. We can only have one out at a time. Uh, and then if you need to withdraw one. Okay, sorry. I was, I was <laughs> in Elden Ring. I've just got a jellyfish come up in my face. I was like, what the? F sorry, let me. I don't think he's going to attack me. I don't know what he's doing here. Okay, I, I don't think they attack you unless you uh, attack them. Okay, so <laughs> panic. <laughs> Um, yeah, I found it always found it very curious because you put a Pokemon out and it, it's the wrong one, it's the wrong type, or it's getting its ass beat, or it's lower level than what you're fighting. So you have to withdraw it and put a new one out, and that's your turn. So that means your new fresh Pokemon you just put out gets a whack in the face before it can even do anything. <laughs> and then if it, if you the enemy's faster, got a speed stat. I don't know what the stats are. Um. Yeah, they're just yelling about <laughs> uh, what the uh, whatever the stat is for at agility or speed. Um, you know, you can potentially get whacked in the face twice. So I always found that a bit like not weird, but because it adds a different tactical aspect to uh, 
to the Pokemon games. So the fact that you can put out more than one Pokemon at the same time, even if you're fighting more than one yourself, it just um, it lends itself more to that JRPG than you know just strange turn-based party thing. I mean, the perfect world, you'd have a, all six of your Pokemon out at the same time, right? I think mean, surely that's what it should be aiming towards. But I, that being said. I obviously, I guess it's um, within the bounds of the uh, the setting of uh, the Pokemon universe. It's typical for if you're having a battle, you, you know, they put out one, you put out one. That's kind of like the rules. Like if you just turn up and they throw out a Pokemon and you, and you go, ha 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 and throw out all six of yours. They're like, what? What are you, what are you doing, bro? Calm down. Travis? Oi, Travis. Guys, you guys don't know, but um you see uh FF Travis there. Travis was you alive, bro. How are you doing? Guys, let me tell you, Travis is uh was my essentially my very first viewer. Um, so I streamed a couple of games. I think I, we did, I did uh, some of Dead Space, some of... Uh, then I did Super Metroid, then I did um, Link to the Past, and that's when I moved on to Final Fantasy, the original... Not the original version of the original Final Fantasy, but Final Fantasy 1. And that's how uh, Travis found this channel. And he was like, Yo, bro, you like Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy's great. It's one of my favourite games. And I was like, Oh, bro, you've got good taste. Uh, and then Travis, you know, hung out, had a chat with me. And uh, kind of, uh, you know, it helped me out a couple of times in the game. Because um, I don't know those of you who've ever played the first Final Fantasy. It's, um, it's you know, it's a relatively short and small game in terms of the Final Fantasy games. But uh, it kind of doesn't really hold your hand sometimes. It's um, it kind of... Uh, oh, bless you, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate that. Yeah, Travis is a, a freaking superb dude. Um, but how you doing? How you, how you been, buddy? Are you looking after yourself? I hope you are. Uh, yeah, we've got through the whole uh, series, Travis. Um, basically, I mean, we didn't... I've not... I mean, I, I did like a stream of Final Fantasy XI, but <laughs> uh, we've not done fourteen. Uh, I'm, done, I'm sure there's like spin-off Final Fantasies that are on the list and stuff that we've not done, but we did the whole main line series, um, and uh, it was pretty damn amazing. I met some amazing people. You know, Don't apologise, Travis. Buddy, don't uh, at all. I, I, I just, you know, as long as you're out there living your best life, sir, that's all I care about. Um, but yeah, no, yeah, don't be sorry at all, buddy. Um, are you how are you well? How's your life going? Are you is everything good? That's all. That's all I'm concerned with. But don't yeah, no, don't not apologise at all, buddy. Um, not necessary. Um, <laughs> uh, we did. No, we did. I know, I know. After because I didn't know what I was doing. My very first streamed game was Dead Space because it was literally a warm up. I didn't want to um do something that I felt was like super important as my very first streamed game. I wanted like a, a couple of warm up streams, which I did, and then that's when I jumped straight on a uh, Link to the Past and Super Metroid. Um, and then you know, then I was like, hmm, let's do, you know very important series not played the earlier games now is the time if i'm ever going to play it now is the time and then as you know guys the rest is history um damn excellent travis well you looking after yourself buddy and everything's going well remodeling your house well i, I imagine things are going good if you if you're doing that bud oh my god but yeah there you go um i'm trying to think if anybody it was there my, my buddy lolo uh, Lolo's a cool young guy who um, I played um, uh, yeah, Final Fantasy fourteen with. I didn't know him before that, uh, and I, was, I don't know him personally. We've not like sat down and chatted. He just kind of uh, you know, I was a bit of a loner in that game. He just kind of him and his buddy morale kind of uh, adopted me kind of. Um, and then I like specifically, you know, they were like the only two people that I was essentially saying goodbye to when I quit Fault fourteen. And, you know, so he stopped in um, to say hello on the first couple of streams. But, um, like, I think seeing me in real life, he's like, oh, this guy's... 
uh, not as cool. Well, maybe not not as cool, but uh, you know, you have like an image of somebody by their online interaction and their perception, especially in an MMO when you see um big hunky uh Rogadin like character stomping around. They're probably both like, oh yeah. And they're like, oh, this is <laughs> this is what you look like in real life is. Okay, never no, I'm joking. <laughs> but no, Lolo was very much um uh kind of very heavy a massive weeb and very, very heavily into uh VTubers. You know, so he's like eh, keep your real human beings. I want uh cartoon characters, please. And I was like, that's fine. You enjoy Lolo. Uh <laughs> Um, but yeah, apart from maybe Lolo, I, d I think literally Travis may li actually be the first person I met on the Twitch platform who like came into my stream and we had a conversation and, uh, you know, had a good chat and, uh, like I say, helped me out with Final Fantasy. So, um, there you go. It's a bit, little bit of history there for you, uh, regulars. Um, yeah, I think so, Travis. I can't think of another person who... Because I think um, maybe Mike and Jess might have been there at roughly the same time as you. No, they were definitely there for Final Fantasy 1. Um, but they might have been there after you. Or they might have been there just before you. But I know Mike and Jess in real life. And they were there just kind of to support me rather than having any interest in what I was doing necessarily. So they, Mike and Jess, to be fair, may have been there. But I mean, even like Metapod didn't find... Uh, little old me until um we start the second game uh so there we go yeah yeah they're still still around they're still around but they're uh they they're uh i think they're, they're quite busy they're not um yeah there you go ryan what do you make of that uh <laughs> wasn't expecting to talk about that today um yeah mike and jess are still around travis they but they're uh because they're very busy they'll either like do a hard lurk or they'll just like stop in for a minute and say hello um as opposed to these these crazy people who are like on oh travis can't tell you how um how awesome the, the past two years have been for me buddy uh the amount of cool awesome people i've met on twitch and um the love and support i've got of these crazy nut jobs in in chat i don't know these they, they're, they're here most days and i'm very grateful for that but yeah we've uh god we've played all sorts of games and covered uh so many different games um we're currently um, about a week into Elden Ring, and I'm uh, getting my ass kicked, but we're having a good old time of it. Um, but yeah, no, so that's the thing. That's to go back to what Athelene was saying. Uh, that's that's the thing, Gaff. I, I didn't go into it with the thought of Final Fantasy. It's just sheer coincidence. This is the universe we live in, folks. Um, also, I say coincidence. Things happen for a reason. I can't look back and determine what was my thought process or what sparked me looking on the shelf and seeing my PS1 copy of Final Fantasy and going, yeah, now, now is the time. Because absolutely everything that's happened in the past two years has built up off that decision. Everything. None of you would be here. I wouldn't, I mean, I would be here, but things would be weird and different. Um, I wouldn't recognize what it was. Uh, absolutely everything from that single random decision. So here's the thing, Gaff. Had I started the stream with that, maybe I would have met Travis, maybe I wouldn't have met Metapod, etc. Maybe I wouldn't have um, just gone through the whole series. I don't know. I don't know, but we shall see. Um... <laughs> Is she alright, bro? She gave herself brain damage. That's not good. Yeah, and Travis, that's cool. Uh, when it gets no rush, bud, but when it gets finished, be sure to uh, send some pictures. Um, what seven? What uh, Mike and Jess before uh, Scotty and KG? I guess. I guess you could say that. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I don't hide anything from you guys. Of course, I'm just. Uh, Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't need to tell the uh, origin story every day, you know. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, Travis stopping in as uh, as uh, Spark Elf there. 
Um, no, yeah, he's going from strength to strength, Travis. He's just stopped out for coffee. He might have, have uh, gone for a second, but yeah. Red May. Jay, you doing, bro? Are you well? This jelly flesh is getting up on my grill. I think it was because we're just really still and not moving. It's just we're just trying to be friends with us. How curious. What if there's like a weird little uh, thing in the game? You can make friends with them. Yeah, synchronicity. That's what it felt, feels like looking back on it, Af. Absolutely. <clears throat> oh my God. <laughs> Bless her. Raven is a one. Slick Mick, how you doing, bro? I hope you're well. Um, we're doing... How was, yeah, Slick, uh, Red Mage, how were your weekends, fellas? good um we're doing uh we're doing really well um just had to know my buddy travis uh stopping it arguably uh the very first viewer of the snip show um he seems to be doing all right though it's quite wild uh faifu hey faifu how you doing my dear are you well what's going on are you good um yeah look at all you lovely people here um so, uh, yes, uh, yeah, uh, Slick, uh, Red Mage, just to let you know, um, tomorrow is the day of, uh, our very first Lone Wolf stream featuring Legion Cage. Um, so if you're around for that, look out for it. Um, I'm excited about it. I don't know how it's going to go down. Um, hopefully you guys can enjoy it and, uh, you can also, um, actively participate if you so desire. The story does involve dice rolls, uh, occasionally um so if a uh, cage rolls a bad die you, you can help him out try and re get a re-roll for him to get a good score if he rolls a good score you might want to troll him uh to make him get a bad score this is entirely up to you guys how you want to deal with that uh, Faye, your emotes are still some of my favorite on all of twitch um i, I do uh i do like them a lot that's nice kirby as well Nice. Um, you're waking up. Yeah, I mean, you know, waking up is a good thing to do. I feel. It's definitely a good thing to do. Um, join us for the adventures of Lone Cage. How's that slick? Is that right? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm very excited about it. So, do be here tomorrow. Uh, I guess we, it's probably roughly this time we'll get started on it. Um, we're going to have just chatting as we always do. Uh, introducing Cage. I'm sure most of you here know Legion Cage. If you don't, or you've never seen his stream, you'll get to see him tomorrow live on this channel. So, um, uh, and then of course, like I say, even after we've done introductions and stuff, I'll have a bit more explaining to not only to him but to you guys what is going on. It's very simple. Um, it's going to be a lot of reading on my part and a lot of decision making on Cage's part. But yeah, but you don't even need to. Um, the channel point redemptions are for the dice rolls, but you can just offer, uh, you know, options to Cage. You know, if he's, you feel like he's ma about to make a really terrible decision, you know, d give him a little hit prompt. But, oi, Cage, don't do that. Or vice versa, if you... <laughs> I'd say troll him if you like. It's up to you what you want to do. Um, so, yeah, Travis, this is something I've had on the back burner for, like, well over a year that I've wanted to do. Uh, did you ever read... Um, uh, the fighting fantasy uh, books as a kid, Travis. Like, choose your own adventure. It'd be like, tells you the story, and then you say, oh, do you want to go left? Do you want to go right? Turn to this page, turn to that page. It's basically one of those. Um, and if you're not familiar, it's kind of it's like uh, Dungeons & Dragons light, essentially. Um, we're starting that project randomly tomorrow uh, with my good friend Legion Cage. Um, being, I'll be the narrator, the, the reader of the story, and he will be the person making all the decisions. Uh, obviously uh influenced by everybody in chat if they so desire now the only drawback of course is people who are not here at the beginning they will you know they'll they'll miss the start of the story might come in and be like i have no idea what is what's he's talking about i've no idea what's going on uh Atheline, uh is um somewhat familiar with uh the overall stories um so she should be able to fill in some details uh, if anyone's got any specific questions but obviously because of the nature of what we're doing, I will not be able to 
a fully engaging chat like I usually uh, uh, aspire. Aspire? It's not quite. Endeavor. Endeavor to do. Um, but yeah. Uh, Sween! How you doing, Sween? Are you well? I hope you're good, my dear. Uh, how was your weekend? But um, I... Uh, yeah, but maybe seven. <laughs> um... Yeah, Travis, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think Fighting Fantasy was just like a, a different name for it. Or maybe it was even a brand. I don't know. A series. But yeah, the, 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 the series is called Lone Wolf. Um, it's its own thing. It seems to be like almost unheard of in the, the States. It was like, uh, it was by, written by a British author. But um, I think it is somewhat popular in Europe. Particularly France for some reason. I think the largest fan base of the series is, is in France. I don't know why. Uh, it's just something I stumbled across as a kid uh, when I was like you know, 11, 12 years old. I was like, oh my god, this is cool. And uh, collected the whole series. Uh, assume the, the plan would be to do a single book. They're not long. A single book per stream. Um, if Cage enjoys it and he wants to keep doing it, we'll do one stream per week. The day is still up in the air. And there are 20 books in the series. So that'll keep us busy for the next one stream a week for the next 20 weeks, if he wants to do it. Um, we shall see. If for some reason, you know, he's not feeling it, but I am, I would, I would be looking to, for a replacement. Um, and that's not, you know, I only chose Cage because I am, for various reasons I won't get into here, I thought he would be the best candidate. But just because he's the best candidate doesn't mean there's not several other excellent candidates out there. Um... But uh, all the time he's enjoying it and wants to keep it going, uh, I will, you know, leverage his presence. Uh, but if at any time in the future he chooses to not do it, or he may die, he may fail the adventure and die. And then it's like, it's all over. <laughs> then we're screwed. We've got, we have to start again in the future with somebody else. Uh, but we should see. We shall see how it goes. But I'm, I'm very much uh, definitely looking forward to it. Um... Oh, that Travis, that sounds excellent. I'm not familiar with that uh series, but Time Traveling and Seeing Dinosaurs. That sounds excellent. So yeah, but you've got the gist of exactly how how it's uh uh function. I mean in a way, Red Mage, probably. Probably if you look at uh what would be the initial inspirations for the Final Fantasy series, probably I can guess, you know, stuff like that. Choose your own adventure books and uh Dungeons and Dragons and um various other you know fantasy video games that were around at the time um oh yeah definitely definitely travis i uh i used to play dungeons and dragons back in the day and it's definitely something i would like to get into but we could consider this like a um a warm-up if this goes well uh and it's enjoyable for myself cage and everybody else Maybe we can, uh, you know, in the not too near future, look at uh, doing something more full blown and fully interactive. Because I know that Dungeons and Dragons is very popular on Twitch. Uh, I don't know, and I know you guys, your favourite thing on this channel is me talking for some reason. You know, video games, that's cool, but <laughs> uh, me me saying stuff seems to be your favourite. Generally, you know, not yeah, for the most part. Um, so uh i don't know we should see we shall see um <laughs> uh but uh Ooh. but yeah nice nice travis yeah that's something that i uh lack the um i won't say absolute ability but in practical terms the ability to uh hang out with people in real life so it um having twitch and the discord and other other avenues is even more of a boon for me personally outside of just running the channel and trying to grow the channel and the rest of it um um a game called splendor okay we're talking like full-blown uh rpg um seven or
or a, is it like a, a card board game thing? Yeah, 2014 board game. Multiplayer card-based board game. Um, players are gem merchants of the Renaissance, developing gem mines, transportation, and shops to accumulate prestige points. That sounds pretty freaking cool. I do, uh, I do love board games. You know, a, a board game um, is, um, you know, you don't have to go for all in uh, with a, an RPG. You can just sit down and enjoy a board game. One of my favourites is um, Talisman. I don't know if anyone's played Talisman. It's it's just involving enough that it's uh, very cool, but it is still essentially a board game at the end of the day, and it won't you know you have a good game of it in an hour or two. Um, but Talisman is pretty cool. But yeah, Splendor sounds interesting. Um, there seven. Um, oh, you can actually play it on Steam. Eh, interesting. Oh, Call of Cthulhu, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I haven't, uh, I'm somewhat familiar with, uh, the, you know, Lovecraftian, um, mythos, um, and Cthulhu, but, uh, not, uh, not that, that game system specifically I'm not familiar with, um, but I've absolutely heard of it, yeah, I would uh, definitely be interested in playing within, uh, that setting, um but yeah you know some people are um some people are very much into the lovecraftian thing some people are um not necessarily i i i uh like it i'm not that i've read much or read much read any lovecraft but it's uh it's his own thing i'm very uh very into it um yeah yeah typically uh a lot of lovecraft settings are set um either you know uh, kind of the uh the start of the 20th century um typically you can have a modern setting uh with the same thing or you could even go back further but that seems to be roughly where they are set uh travis so you know you've got um obviously there's no modern technology some people want modern technology and or a lot of um rpg players they just go when you say uh, tabletop rpg they only think dungeons and dragons or they only think like medieval fantasy. You go, no, we're playing in 1920s New York. They go, what? It's like difficult to wrap their heads around it. No, or we've got, we're we're playing Star Trek RPG, or they're like, we're full blown sci fi. They're like, what? No, this is. I um, for me, that's anything and everything. It's hard to go wrong with uh, medieval fantasy, high fantasy, but there's uh, so many more avenues of settings you can leverage uh, and anything works as long as you have a good gm who can um uh give you know give you interesting situations uh puzzles uh combat and stuff to do i i, I will happily be a player in any setting uh, and greatly enjoy it um wow seven that sounds pretty cool Betrayal at the house in Hornet Hill, bro. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I think you could, you know, that's why uh, GURPS is there, uh, Root. GURPS, best, uh, my favourite RPG system. Because um, you can do everything with it. Um, but yeah, you need to, that's what you should do, Root. You need to make that into an RPG. Go. Um, not today. You haven't got to be finished by then today. <laughs> yes. Oh, ah, Travis, that's terrible. It's um, all uh, DMs, GMs have a uh, a different. They have a different style of how they do things. Um, I'm very much out of practice, but I uh, I lean into impartiality. I don't engage in conversation. I, you know, I'm there to be the forces of nature. I'm not there to give clues. I'm not there to help or hinder 
uh, on there just to give you everything you need to know. You, you guys, the storytellers. Um, but the fact that no no DM should be described as a dick because they've li literally failed at the first hurdle. So yeah, I'm sorry you had to deal with that, Travis. But uh, it can uh, get, don't don't give up just that one bad experience. Uh, the trail. Yeah, because uh, Ryan's massively into board games. You look at his uh, board game collection. It's insane. Uh, yeah, and I know you've got a talisman, uh, Ryan. Uh, Trails, is it? Uh, the board game. Take a hike in trails, exploring iconic sites and national parks across the US. Gathering resources, observing wildlife, and earning uh, wilderness badges. Uh, trails is a standalone adventure in the parks series. Uh, is that the one? I saw uh, oh, the first thing that popped up there. Uh, anyway, Red Mage, thank you for the luck. Um, in real life, first, yeah, why, why doesn't it Triple Triad exist as an actual card game, Travis? I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Travis, that sounds like absolute bullshit and that uh and that DM just failed at life, possibly by the sounds of it. Um that's not what are you supposed to do? As, as a good GM, you have to present a challenge which is surmountable. Now, you shouldn't... Um, uh, they sh the GM shouldn't go out of the way to... Should try to kill the characters, but shouldn't go out of their way to succeed. Um, they should try and s set up something beforehand where I feel the odds are in the player's favour of success unless they get extremely unlucky or do stupid things then they should suffer for it um but just trying to kill them well what what are you doing you might you know you might as well just pull his dick out and be like hey guys watch me jerk off it's like bro we don't we don't see that what you called us around here to watch you jerk off jog on you're an idiot uh <laughs> You know, this this things you can you know you can see that online. You don't need to go to your mates. You know, you don't want to watch your buddy jerk off, do you? You know, calm calm yourself, sir. Um, yeah, <laughs> bro, I want your I want your outline by the end of the day. Um, but yeah, if you were uh, unless you've got like I don't know if you've got access to a generic system, route. Uh, remind me, route. Uh, send me a message. I'll uh I'll send you um the uh the GURPS uh, basic set um, is literally designed to for, en for any setting and covers everything. You're probably thinking, what are you talking about? Is um, Have a look. I know you'll f you'd find it interesting if you've never read about it. Um, I don't know if, if, that, was the, if that was the right one uh, that Ryan was referring to. Tevin, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, I, I would play that. I'll play any board game. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean that's if you if you get if you go to play Dungeons and Dragons or any RPG and the DM is literally trying to kill you because he's like, "Ow, oh, your character died." <laughs> yeah, I, I I I feel for me for my GMing, I you I shouldn't even be uh putting any emotion out. I should be like a freaking robot. I shouldn't be happy or sad, uh, pleased or upset about anything that happens. I am there just to facilitate the world which in which people are playing. Um, that's just me. Um, like some people might not like, like that style. Some people want a, um, a GM who's like cracking jokes, giving little hints, dropping advice. Um, unnecessarily being a dick but not to that degree travis some people like that what i like to have a gm who's like trying to kill them 
Um, and you do have to, because you have to strike the balance. You can't have the players walk around on god mode, and you have to... It's, it's a, a fine line to walk, um, balancing risk with reward. Um, you, you need your players to come away from a, a session, or not just an individual session, but a particular storyline or adventure or endeavor and feel that um it was tough they had to put some effort in but they got a decent amount of reward out of it but not so much reward that they're like sat on a heap of gold coins now and they've got like the best magical sword in existence so they got the god slayer sword and you're like no nah, that firstly you probably shouldn't ever get that sword and secondly if you do it should take years and years of blood and toil and effort to even uh, have a hint at potentially possessing that weapon. Um, so it's a you know it's a tricky uh, tightrope to walk. But yeah, now it sounds like that guy you had, Travis, was just, was just a dickhead. But you know, I suppose that is your first experience. If you can put that to one side, anything <laughs> will be better than that. Um, Well, yeah, I mean, you could add that as a, a system within the world, couldn't you, Seven? Like, people, you know, death isn't the end. It's just an inconvenience. Um, if that's part of the world, yeah, certainly. Um, and I'm not against that, but I would, uh, for any setting I would run, it would be like a very difficult thing. Uh, but it is terrible, isn't it? Uh, for if you... Because, of course, if the GM makes a uh, miscalculation... Uh, first adventure, somebody dies because they're being impartial. Well, now you've that's on the GM essentially, ass assuming the uh, players were not being idiots. Um, so there should be a way around that to fix that. But um, um, yeah, and that's the thing. One thing there should never be arguments. If you devolved into argumentation, th then uh, again, I I feel it's on the the GM because uh, the you know the GM is their word is law and final, so they have to be fair by their own standards. It's their responsibility to make it fun for other people. Um, so if the players. Uh, going to the GM and oh no you ca you can't do that well firstly no they can they can do whatever they want but secondly if if your players on the flip side if your players are reacting like that then you've done a poor job as a GM so yeah arguments should never even exist um if you know be like and like I don't know it's turning to a more TED talk about uh RPGs now. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Travis. Oh, yeah, I think this... How long we had the... Um, background music. There's a really cool website called uh, ocremix.org uh, or .com. Um, Legion Cage, in fact, fact pointed out to me. There are um, all sorts of remixes of video game music. Uh, and because they're a remix of copyrighted music, the remix itself is not copyrighted. So you can play it to your heart's content on stream without getting D DCMA'd. So, um, yeah, I just thought I'd add that into our mix of, like, elevator music. So we've got various uh, uh, various uh, video game uh, tunes you may uh, recognise. Um, yeah, 100%. Yeah, if you... Uh, if you, That's the thing. And as a player, Seven, if uh, you try to do something... And the GM says what the result is, and you question that, you're being a bad player. GM is God. You have to, and if you don't trust in that God, you shouldn't be playing that GM. You should f go find a different group, basically. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's like a two way relationship. You have to have trust. The players have to have absolute trust in the GM. The GM has to be absolutely 
trying to make the best experience possible for the players while uh, making it difficult while not, um, you know, not holding the hand, not trying to, not, you know, it's bad enough Travis had the, the, the his DM jerking off in front of him. It's not the GM's job to jerk off the players. There should be no jerking off. Jerk off after or before the session, not during. Um, um, damn, excellent. Seven, that's what I'm here to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, you know, that's, we can talk about that in a lot, a lot more detail. Um, and maybe I'm not fully illustrating my point. Maybe I would need, um, examples of certain things, uh, to illustrate my point better, but that's how, that's how it should be. Here's the thing. Um, there are a lot of people interested in RPG, tabletop RPGs. Dun let's just say Dungeons and Dragons are the catch-all term. Um, and it's specifically, uh, it is blown up over the past 10, 15 years compared to where it was when I was playing as a kid. You know, I was playing Dungeons and Dragons in the late 90s. Uh, that's when I was getting into it. Um, and uh, just because there's more, that's the thing, naturally, because there's more people into it, there's going to be more people who are, as a player or a GM, are not good at it. You know, and that's not necessarily their fault, because it's, um, it, you know, it, it's a, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's a learning process. You get good at it. But they haven't necessarily spent a lot of time at it, so they're not very good at it. That's just how it is. As long as they're willing to improve and understand their mistakes, uh, certain things I've, example I've heard of, of bad GMing is, um, GMs will set up a, an, an area and then the party try to uh, go f approach the area from a different route that was planned. The GM set up all sorts of traps and encounters and monsters going through the front door. The players say, oh, actually, guys, let's, uh, let's go on our boat, sail around the island and come through the back door. And the GM's like, no, you can't do that. That GM is a disgrace and a failure and should, and should resign and go and think about what they're doing can't say to your players no you can't do that why because i haven't decided i haven't come up with anything you it's your job as a gm to come up with something on the fly if you haven't and make it seem like you how you aren't coming up with it on the fly that's your job as a gm you can't handle that you need to you need to go back to gm school or you need to just give up on the the endeavor okay another one i've uh, saw <laughs> recently on reddit um a general concept is in almost all RPGs is uh, the idea of a, you know, dice rolls, obviously, and a critical success and a critical failure. All that means to me is you did the thing you, or failed, did the thing, or failed to do the thing you were trying to do with, um, you know, great success or great failure. Um, it doesn't mean you do an extra thing you didn't do. Uh, for example, um, you know, GM go, you know, player goes, oh, I examine the mysterious dagger. Mm. Roll a perception check. Uh, okay, cool. Critical failure. Oh, you lick the dagger. Well, no, that's not what well, you can't make. A GM can't make their players do things. Well, he wasn't, he was picking up the dagger and examining it. Yeah, he, <laughs> he doesn't have a 5% chance of being, you know, an absolute idiot that he goes, Ooh, and licks it what are you what are you t that again that's a far more subtle example but for me that is another example of a gm who's not doing a good job you can't make your players do a thing that they were not wanting to do just to suit your own ends or or to have a laugh or to crack amusement it's not your job to amuse the players it's your job to maintain a consistent coherent framework for them to find their own amusement um but yeah, no, second edition. That's the only edition I'll know. Yeah, tell tell me seven. Tell me your story. Um Yeah, he sounds like a boring idiot. What what even was the story, Travis? Just Hey, walk in this direction. There's a bus. Oh, the bus didn't kill you. There's another bus. Rah! Sounds boring as fuck, Travis. It sounds like this, you know, and it Hey, maybe this guy just was very naive. He doesn't understand what he was doing. He's very new to it. That's not what you do. 
that's not what you do um yeah it sounds ridiculous it, it sounds like he was having a proper jerk off there travis for what reason that's not how you do it um Uh Okay, so you uh she had plans for this uh dragon mountain cave later on, seven, but they insisted on going there. So you th thought of a way to uh blast them out of there to get them to back off. Um, yeah, Travis, if there's no story, if there's no story at all, the, what, then what are you doing? You're just rolling dice for fun. It, what? That, that doesn't sound like fun at all. Story is the most important. Combat's great. Some uh, some players of RPG games um, thrive for the combat scenarios. They're like, oh, we're in this area. Look at the positions. Look at our skills. Look at our weapons. Look at the enemy. What should we do? What are the tactics? Where should I move? How should I move? What should I attack? How should I attack? Um, what should I do about this weird situation we're in? Um, and I and I love that. Uh, a lot of uh, s systems and um, groups can like lean heavily into combat, and others uh, don't like it. Others are, like just want more story, more uh, conversation with NPCs, more uh, investigation. Uh, and minimal amounts of combat i like it all i love it all i could um take part as a player in any ratio or combination for myself uh i as a gm there would definitely be a lot of combat and you could even say that was the core but there's always a reason for it and there's always an there's always a choice Just because there's a thing to fight doesn't mean you have to fight it um you know i like to try and give as much freedom as possible um Um, so sorry so <laughs> seven one of your characters grabbed the dwarf ran up ran along a dragon's face and threw a dwarf with so much force through its eyeball where the dwarf stabbed it in the brain well i mean if your characters are of a, a level where they are physically strong enough uh and uh powerful enough to do that then um it sounds like maybe they should have been killing that dragon anyway uh so <laughs> so, you know so that, to me that sounds like super powered characters that doesn't sound <laughs> like standard uh adventurer types um but <laughs> i mean as long as you and they enjoyed um what's this uh tomb of annihilation is that let me have a look at this one but yeah as long as everyone's uh enjoying oh it's a ah it's an adventure module for uh dungeon dragons fifth edition set in forgotten realms there's a lot to be said for forgotten realms um but uh yeah, I'm um, I'm in two minds of uh, adventure uh, modules because if people are familiar with it, then um, that's the only problem, isn't it? To make it worthwhile, you have to um, uh, from uh, in to get you know, it's okay if the GM knows it, but you don't want any of your players to know it um but it sounds cool um it's it literally designed to take your players from level one up to level 11 that's pretty chonk dang it's 256 page hardcover book that's pretty freaking amazing ryan I'm, I'm jelly um
Yeah, that's the thing. What, what, what? I guess my point is, Travis, what is the background story? Even if there's no story that you've gotten into yet, this story that's happened before you started playing. Like, your characters have a reason to be doing what they're doing. Uh, you didn't just uh, teleport into existence and then you're, you, you know, you're fighting some monster. <laughs> there's, yeah, there's a reason. But I don't know. But I, I guess it, it seemed that this guy was just very new to it and he was just didn't really understand what what a good gm behaves like um no yeah exactly if here's the thing uh, a good uh tabletop game travis should be if it's not the most immense amount of fun that everybody there is having every single player and the gm then someone's doing something wrong it's not only supposed it's not just supposed to be fun it's supposed to be you you get excited about it you you want to you're like looking forward to it you're like, oh the weekends and then like even your players like will talk to each other about it outside of the session like oh what, what are we gonna do about this what should we do about king stone so and his uh decree about this and that um what about that rumor about the uh the treasure tomb should we go for it? It sounds dangerous. Maybe we should try and find some more information. Uh, whatever it may be. Um, what about those weirdos who, those cultists who attacked us the other week? Um, was that was random? Should we investigate that? You know, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, you have you, the story is the foundation. Combat comes after story. Always, combat's just the cool thing to do within the story, because you know, because all good stories uh have yeah, have conflict in them it doesn't have to be physical violence combat but that's one of the, the the best ways to go about it but um but here's the thing how could you be furious seven you you as the gm allowed it to happen you see what i'm saying <laughs> um um yeah but you control the result of a crit success you see what i'm saying as if you you know if the character says i'm going to pick up a dwarf and throw it at a dragon's eyeball you could say okay you can, of course you can try that you can do anything you want um but i would say okay you have to you know uh, you know make a, some kind of strength roll to pick them up and then a throwing roll uh i assume they've got a throwing skill um and, uh, you know, some kind of... I would put so many modifiers on that that uh, it wouldn't even be possible uh, to get a, a crit success by definition. It probably would fail. Um, and then they just die. I, I, yeah, in that situation, I would kill those characters. Um, you presented with a dragon. You're level one characters. Or maybe they weren't. Whatever level you are, there's a dragon in your grill. The only thing you should be doing is running away. Um... That's a, that is another commitment. The players need to commit to the GM to take it seriously. You know. You're doing some fright track checks if you uh, encounter a dragon, let alone choosing to run out on its face. I don't know. Is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> but, um, but that's the thing. You as the GM, you should not be angry uh, about it. Um, but, you know, I, I think back uh, to when we were playing it as kids, Seven. We didn't know what we were doing. We were doing all sorts of bizarre and weird stuff. Uh, we were just, like, finding our feet. Uh, so it's probably a very similar thing. But I, thinking on it now, um, I, I, you know, it's a learning process. It's just uh, when you're a kid, you have that um, initial... You know, this ad I think everyone goes through that to start with. Not everybody, but most people. Uh, it's just it's more pronounced when you're doing it as an adult and be, it's been all weird and jank like with what Travis has dealt with <laughs> recently uh, than if you were doing it as a kid. When you're a little kid, when you're 12 years old, of course you are weird. You, of course you're a little weirdo. <laughs> of course you are. That's just, you know, when you're in your late 30s, it's like, no, there's no excuses. <laughs> um, yeah, you're in the future. That's the thing. You as a player... If if the GM again, that's a failure of your GM yet again, Travis, for not fully 
explaining the situation you're in. You didn't know where you were or what was going on. That's not your fault. That's that's his fault. Um, I mean, that's some excellent ideas there, Travis. Uh, <laughs> you know, ultra tech uh, setting, but the the essence of what a bard is is still intact. Uh, has a musical attack, musical weapon. That sounds that sounds cool as fuck. But you, that's a lot of work to flesh that out, to make that coherent, to make that consistent. Like, how fleshed out was the, the setting that, that was in? It, um, okay, that was your idea, Travis. Okay, cool, cool. Um, no, and that's, yeah, 100% seven. You should have let them do whatever they wanted, but... It's, uh, I feel in that situation, I guess, you, again, you were a kid, so it's no big deal, but um, in modern times, if uh, if I place a dragon somewhere in the world, and because of all unbeknownst to uh, our players, they decide to go there, and they go, ah, yeah, we we can kill a dragon. Sure, let's kill a dragon. I don't know what we'll do, because, uh, you know, the dragon's going to defend itself. Uh, you know, I I go with um. It's not a it's not a power fantasy. It's uh, and you know you can have a setting like that. We can play as like superheroes in a, in a modern or fantasy setting. You know that's that's an option. You can do that, but I go with a more hardcore realistic setting. So you know I'm a guy. Look at my guy on Elden Ring there with his armor and his sword and his shield. Uh, there's a dragon in the game that I'm going nowhere near because I know it will freaking wreck me. Now, this, and if I go and mess with that dragon, what's the consequence? Oh, it's a video game, so I get to just respawn and try again. You don't get to respawn and try again in uh, RPGs, unless there's very extreme uh, reasons why that should be the case. But death should be a consequence, and death will come for you impartially if, you've, if you fuck with it, you know? Um, like, tr tr you know? there's a dragon and your first thought is not run away or back off it's i'll run up its face and pick up my dwarven friend and throw my dwarven friend at its eyeball i would let people do that but it's uh i don't see how they would pull it off <laughs> but yeah you you were absolutely correct seven in allowing them to do that the the, the cardinal sin of the GM is to say, no, you're not allowed to do that. That's the worst. That's the absolute worst. Um, yeah, do you have? <laughs> it, depends, well, that's it depends what system you're playing in, doesn't it? Um, yeah, and that's fair. That's fair, Seven. Um, Yeah, it looks like I'm, <laughs> I'm sure uh, we did all sorts of weird things. Uh, you, you know, back in the day. And you learned a lesson. That's all that matters. Yeah, no, that sounds good, Travis. But the question is, you know, the, the, the uh, your GM goes, oh, you're in the future. The future of what? The future of human reality. Okay, well, what year is it? Okay, cool. Uh, all right, it's the year t you know, t 2200. Okay, cool. Um, now, the GM has to present to you what has been the history of the of planet Earth and the human race in the past 200 years. That's his job to tell you about that. And this is the reason your characters don't know that, because the history has been hidden from your characters for some reason. But then, if that's true, you wouldn't even know that you were on earth and he wouldn't say things like you're in the future because your characters are not in the future your characters just are okay does that make sense uh you know i think he you know bless him bless his heart there's a lot of really cool like uh, ultra tech high tech uh uh biotech you know space um interstellar stellar, you know sci-fi settings out there cyberpunk um that you could fall back on. 
and kudos for him for allowing him to um let you uh design that into your character but um it should be it should be fully fleshed out um uh, it sounds like he just let you say anything you wanted and then you know it didn't really matter because he knew that he was going to stomp you with his boss fights anyway uh so it sounded weird um <laughs> exactly anyway guys i've ranted for like an hour and a half uh for various reasons uh not on t not least of which travis uh been here and also um talk about rpgs because obviously in relation to what we're doing tomorrow squidge yo squidge here we go and <laughs> how was your weekend squidge was it good squidge was at uh comic con this uh this weekend you, say, you have a good one um and also, I'll tell you, Squidge. Squidge is one of the people who is excited about what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, you're tired, are you? I don't know. Yeah, you just rest and chill today. Um, just let you know, Squidge. Um, in case you're not seeing it around places. Uh, Legion Cage is going to be here live. All, I don't know, all stream? Most of tomorrow's stream. We are finally starting our uh, Lone Wolf series. I know you're one of the people who expressed some interest in that. So if you're around tomorrow do look out for that if you're not because you're busy and you want to do some work uh or whatever you're doing um obviously you can check the you know the vod after after the uh fact yeah i don't know if it's gonna be every tuesday probably not and i don't even know if it's gonna be every week uh that would from my point of view it the plan would be every single week of the day of cage's choice you know he's a real adult you know doing things um just so happened to be it was it is tuesday this week um might be every Tuesday. We might change it to a different day. It might not even be every single week. We shall see after tomorrow. So, um, yeah, be there for that if um, that is uh, what you're into. Um, uh, former author. You're not an author anymore, uh, Squidge. You're giving up on it. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, I will... Uh, I'm going to step out for one minute because uh, it's been that long. Um and then uh i guess we'll do a little bit of eldering today what do you think about that <laughs> we don't have to we don't have to at all uh <laughs> but yes we should do a bit of that um we uh yeah i'm not gonna make yeah you get on some coffee travis i'm not i've already had two i'll have my third cup um probably uh two two and a half hours from now um no no affeline um we have to get through this game somehow eventually <laughs> it was sween it was solid Af, she's just so demanding how much i give her it's never enough i'm like af did you like me giving that to you that long time of me giving it to you she was like yes but i need more and i'm like oh, god damn it's never enough um <laughs> yeah um <laughs> you you certainly can seven i uh i only ever want you to be here if you want to be here if it's uh your favorite part of the stream is over and you're like elden ring bleh, or whatever else we're doing that's perfectly fine by me um uh, a little bit of arson okay <laughs> indeed oh travis these guys uh they they uh they seem to, I don't know why they seem to love me just talking nonsense or about stuff for um the whole stream I'm sure that a stream will come to pass but you know we've got video games also to cover the th uh thing is I know I'm, I guess especially in a game like Elden Ring where I do does require a certain amount of concentration over say um you know a very turn based or you know game or JRPG um but you know you still talk to me I'm still here you don't have to talk about Elden Ring. You talk about anything you want, and I'll respond to it. Um, you the Elden Jabber. Yeah, indeed. Oh, my God. Look at these idiots in here. Let me just get rid of these. Ban. Ban. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Swing. Um, yeah, two at once. That's weird. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, indeed. Indeed, Swing. Uh, that's the thing. I'm, I'm very grateful for my mods, but I never expect them to do anything. It's on me. Um excellent travis yeah the, this is what these guys it seems to be their favorite part of the stream and i'm um i appreciate that because that's one thing i can do is just talk forever about nothing in particular 
um but yeah no worries no worries travis uh yeah guys yeah it's something you don't know also you don't know about travis travis uh makes uh star he's a massive star wars fan and makes star wars drones basically like he he builds them um <laughs> indeed sweet anyway guys uh i'll step out for 60 seconds then i'll be right back and then we'll uh, get on some uh, Elden Ring. Right, so to keep you in there, guys. Um, all right, let's turn the webcam on. That'll help. It's probably gonna die in a second, but we'll uh, we'll take it from there. Um, right, so I did play a little. There we go. It's dead already. <laughs> Come on, Adam. I did play a little bit of the weekend. Nothing too crazy. I did die a couple of times and I recorded the deaths there, so we're now up to 152. Um, I uh, just beat down on some of the random dudes in the castle, uh, in Castle Stormvale. Um, reason being, I uh, just you know, wanted to uh, just get a few runes stacked away and just practice fighting. Never hurts. Um, Let me just uh, there we go. ready for when I die. Um, so uh, what I did with those runes is I um, I uh, bought the uh, incantation, the one that um, was the uh, the black fireball, uh, which we can't use yet currently, but still, uh, you know, I want it in the bank. Um, I also bought the, um, the, uh, husk, maiden husks, twin maiden husks, um, had two stone, more stone sword keys, so, uh, they were 4,000 each, I just got the, uh, the runes to buy both of those, so we got two stone sword keys in the bank, I think that was it, uh, they've still got a few items left that I, uh, I want to get that I don't have at the moment, but, um, that will, uh, 
That will uh, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so uh, there we go. That's the castle cleared out up there. Now the main thrust of heading towards another Elden Lord is um, going to the place the 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 uh, Sorcerer's Academy of Rea Lucaria to the north of uh, Castle Stormvale. So I think we're going to head in that direction. However. For now, I, we kind of half explored the peninsula, didn't we? So I want to get back down here and continue on what we we're doing. So that's what I've got left us here. Um, so we want to explore north here and check out what this building is. And then check all of this section to the west. We've not looked at any of this yet. So there's um, is that another one of these uh, ever jails. Uh, and a few buildings as well. Uh, in terms of the ever jails, we've uh, there's one there that we attempted. That's there's got a scary dude in there, and I think there's another one up here, wasn't there? Yeah, that one we've not even tried. So I mean, could be good, could be worth it, worth a go maybe. I don't know. Um, Oh, well, uh, we can give it a go in a bit. For now, I just want to get exploring over this way. Thank you, Sween. Oh, yeah, Sween, how was your birthday? It was yesterday, wasn't it? Was it, uh, was it enjoyable, hopefully? Okay, we've already, yeah, we've already activated that guy. Pointing us down there for where we just came from. Whoa. Who are these bros? Just randos. I don't really need to kill those guys, but it certainly wasn't worth the hassle. <laughs> Oh, okay, we've got bats, have we? Freaking bats. I mean, ow. I know it's the, uh, the clay, the reach on the claymore seems to be much better for, uh, full spec fighting. Oh. What we got here? A ghost and some grace. A little rat? That's one of the squirrels. I don't like merging their squirrels. You got, a, you got a stream deck? Oh, how many buttons? Sweet, not that we uh we judge button amounts around here, but The Mausoleum prowls cradling the soulless demigod. O oh, Marika, Queen Eternal, here's your unwanted child. Mausoleum prowls. Is that the big um Is that the big walking building with the bell on it, I wonder? Okay. Either way. Church of Pilgrimage. And some more grace. Sacred tear. Done well. Although, we need to, to get the full benefit of these. We, um... Golden centipedes. Oh, my God. Get those in a minute. Uh, to get the full benefit of that, though, we desperately need to be putting some levels into uh, vigor. The way our hit points are at the minute... We, um, one chug of our flask heals us, us us to full. And which probably still would do had we got more vigor. So, especially, um, with this upgrade here. Yeah. Fifteen! Nice! Is that the, is that the big chonky one? Is that the, 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 the massive one? I don't know, but, uh, there we go. Increase the, uh, 
the potency of our flasks there. Nice. That's the medium one. What's the what's the chunky? Yeah, because there's like a, a mini one that's only got six, right? And then there's like a big old chunk chunker. We've got thirty maybe. Either way, good on you, Swing. Do you know what you wanna what are things you want to uh, use it for? Oh, we'll talk to Melina, can we? Oh, hello. How you doing? It's been a while since we've seen her. Echoes linger here. Okay. Words of Queen Marika, who vanished long ago. If you wish, I will share them with you. Okay. In Marika's own words, then, after thy death, I will give back what I once claimed. Return to the lands between. Wage war. And brandish the Elden Ring. Grow strong in the face of death. Warriors of my lord. Lord Godfrey. Okay. Hard to, uh... Hard to make too much of that. Oh, the big one's 32. My God. Yeah, yeah. I, I imagine, Sween, things will come to you as you, uh, once you get it set up, you'll be like, oh, actually, yeah, I could do that um, and such. Even if it's just uh, changing your scenes, make it a bit more convenient. Um, Cyberpunk runs good, Root. Uh, on, what, on what? Oh, on a Steam Deck. I, is that is that what you're thinking of, uh, Root? Um, yeah, sometimes I've read... Uh, yeah, yeah, sometimes I've read Steam Deck and thought they meant Stream Deck and vice versa. <laughs> um, yeah, which is, is uh, shocking, really. The uh, Steam Deck is um, pretty amazing. Uh, having a handheld, which... I understand it's like 90% plus of all... all uh, any and all game on Steam should run on it. No, <laughs> no, it's it, it's fine, Root. I've done it myself many, many times. <laughs> um, so, um, Melina, have you got anything else to say to us? I guess not. Let um, me see how much many. Turn your runes to strength? Maybe I don't know Let if I've got enough. Rest upon you for but a moment. Okay, I'm holding a hand, but um. I don't have any runes to share with you. We need 3.6. She disappears. Interesting. Okay, we've got... Um, we now have uh, Crimson Tears and Cerulean Tears Flask plus 3. Oh, that's something else I got. Um, uh, Rodrika, the young girl who lost her friends, um, who apparently uh, had Quinty uh, Hugh, the blacksmith, had uh, potential as a spirit tuner. Whoa! Bro. Sorry, one second. Let me deal with this guy. Bro. What an asshole coming at me like that. <laughs> um... I use my little healing spell. Cool. Makes, uh... Makes your, uh, flask go a bit further. Um, anyway, before I was rudely interrupted there. Um, yeah, so, uh, Hugh kind of had a, a chat with her, and they've kind of, like, teamed up. He's kind of shown her how to be the spirit tuner. So the spirit tuning is, uh, for an amount of runes, but most, seemingly, but... What was it amount of runes you have to pay? Maybe you don't. I can't remember. Um, she will take your summons, like the wolves or any of the other summons we've got, and basically increase their power. Uh, the currency you need for that is the grave flowers. So the only one I could do, I could take our wolves, and they are now wolves plus two. Um, so I didn't have enough uh, flowers to upgrade any of the others. So I felt, you know, there's definitely some bosses we fought with the wolf wolves are not useful. But uh, overall, they seem to be pretty good. So I, I put that to them first.
Damn, yeah, why not? Why not? I, it, it seems like a cool thing. I, I feel I don't really need a handheld personally, just because I'm... Uh, I don't really go anywhere. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I'm not too worried about that myself. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely not a cool thing to go for. What we got here? Oh, a gilded iron shield. Small metal round shield. Heavier than the wooden shield, but uh, boasts higher damage negation. The gold leaf is peeling and the effect is slight. It still boosts holy damage negation. Oh. Indeed it does. It's, uh, okay, it's against holy attacks. Apart from our Lord Sworn shield. That seems to be the best shield, but otherwise it's not good. Only 78% negation on um, physicals, so that's not uh, that's not really enough for me, personally. Stuck with our heater shield. It's uh, getting the job done. I guess. Okay, I don't think there's anything else up here, is there? Oh, I wonder if you can get down to that. You know. You may be able to, but I think if I just jump there, that's not going to be uh, in our best interests. But maybe it is. Maybe we should. Um, there's not really nothing to lose. Hang on, let me... Um, I saw something else over in this little graveyard. Aside from that mushroom, we don't need that. We've got millions of mushrooms, but there's two more. Um, here we go. I thought I was just... Oh. Blood grease. Okay. And, uh, skellies. So, I assume blood grease puts, uh, blood damage on your, uh, weapon, I guess. Okay, looks like we can he head down here. In fact, let me just look. I'm always doing this, picking up my items, not looking at them. Uh, solidified grease made from a mixture of blood red materials. Coats armaments inflicting blood loss. Yeah. We've got our rock grease, fire grease, and magic grease as well. Um. Yeah, surely there's got to be something down this way. So it looks like I could jump onto there. But I don't know if there's any reason to do that. Oh! Careful. Oh. Ah! Uh. Um. We're not going to jump the horse over there, have we? Well, this it all looks very sus as all, all hell. Oh, wait. Maybe we have to go around from this direction. So, I mean, trying to jump the horse over there looks like it might end real bad. It might be the way to go, but... I'm inclined to uh, go check in the other direction first. Yo, wolf! How you doing there, wolf? How's, uh, how's your weekend, wolf? Are you doing well, buddy? Speaking of wolves, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. We need to fight these guys, do we? 
Oh yeah, bats. Blech. Okay, sorry, f even further down, the looks of it. Oh. Oh, that's too much. But it wasn't. Okay. Um, there's all sorts of, of suspicious. I feel it's worth uh, risking it. Um, this one, unfortunately, mean I need to go around again. But Of course it uh, helps a little if we go the right way. <clears throat> I think everyone's alright. I'm pretty damn good, Wolf. Um, various people have had shitty weekends. Other people have had good weekends. Uh, yeah, we just had a... Uh, chat about um what, all sorts of what's going on um tomorrow is when we are starting our um playthrough with uh legion cage of the lone wolf book series uh this is gonna be a bit of a weird experiment so um keep an eye out for that it may be the greatest thing we've ever done on the channel it may be complete trash but we won't know until we uh give it a go um, I'm risking that jumping down there. I think it might be fine. Let me f give it a go. Wait, oh, okay, I've got all freaking bat here. Right, so I think we have to be on the horse, because I can see uh, no other way of... Uh Wait, I'm in the right spot here. I've come around for the wrong direction here. I was on the wrong side of the church up the top there. Although this should uh, give us an idea. Okay, this is actually kind of where I want to be, actually. We have, got, in fact, come up at it from the uh, other direction. Oh yeah, something else I want us to look at. Our uh, picked up golden centipedes, didn't we? What the freaking hell are they? Golden desiccated remains of a centipede, kept as a fetish by golden order fundamentalists, especially the hunters of those who live in death. As such, they're found near churches and similar. Really? 
Okay, let's put uh, our horsey away for a minute. While I work out where we're going. I think it might be down. Oh. Okay. There's bats. Yeah, I've got to fly a bunch of bats. Okay. Uh, not fans of magic, are they? A bewitching branch. My god, everything is... Uh, <laughs> the items never end, do they? Um, um, what? Uses FP to charm pierced enemy. What does that mean? I mean, I've got to stab them, then I use this, and they become my buddy. <laughs> Surely not. Um, tree branch, blessed with an incantation of unalloyed gold. Pierce a foe, using FP to turn them into a temporary ally, so I use that on them. Um, the Empyrean Michaela is loved by many people. Indeed, he has learned very well how to compel such affection. Oh dear, okay. Stamp you with the tree branch. A uh, sliver of meat as well. You're right. So I'm not sure. Is that where I was before exactly? Yeah, we're practically. Yeah, I think we're just a bit lower down. Okay, cool. So I think of the best bet. Can we go back up there. I think the best way to get down here is. Um, jumping from onto there on the horse i think if it even goes anywhere i don't know all right do or die ah okay and this is where we came down anyway i don't there can't be anything under there i'm sure i think even if we could jump on that first ledge i don't see why we get i'm getting around that little corner there That's why I'm supposed to jump over to that. Oh my god, I can't tell if how close that is. <sighs> Should we just give it a go? Ah! Well, I answered the question at least. It's just scenery. <laughs> yes. I need one of those like paragliders out of um out of Breath of the Wild. That's what we need. Okay, first death of the stream was a uh, experimental death. It wasn't a uh, wasn't noob death. Now I know we didn't have very many uh, runes, but let's go get them back. We need everything we can get at this point, honestly. Below us, but obviously, I want to uh, try and somewhat get down there safely. <laughs> but still um okay not everywhere needs to go somewhere and there was definitely items down there so um okay let's start heading down this direction I'll just teleport uh back up there for a second <clears throat>
Oh, it's wolves everywhere. These ones are not friendly. Now, isn't it? Yeah, look, that's the big old uh, freaky uh, mausoleum, I guess they call it. Uh, what did this say? What did uh, the ghost say? Uh, Marika's forgotten child. Sorry, I'm killing these guys. I can't need their bones, though. Well, I'm not going to go to town on them. Yeah, there it is. Ringing his bell. Oh, you see. Confused. Is it actually. Uh, oh, what's going on down there? Random. Golden soldiers. Oh, that's a lot of them. Yeah, they're all over the place. I wonder if they're part of it. They're guarding this guy. Hey, you got some grace. Let's stop for this then first. See how we get up on top of it. Obviously, we definitely don't want to get uh, have it stand on us <laughs> accidentally. Wow, it's pretty amazing. If we get up on top of it, I have no idea how that is. Let's try hitting it. Yeah, it's not even noticed that I've just tagged it. How weird. It's got to be a thing. It can't just be there for, like, the lulls. It's got to be we can somehow jump up on top of it. We just, at this precise moment, have no clue. Tempt it over in this direction. I don't know. I mean, were it to come over here, we could jump on top of the the land part of it on the on the plateau, the lip of it, just above its legs. But it's going to have to come like a lot closer than it currently is for us to be able to do that. on that basis let's not uh, worry about it I guess honestly oh okay we're back up from the uh, the section with the tree okay which obviously there's a giant beastie uh, by that big old tree but or something I feel we can uh, really tackle at the moment. Okay, we got land octopuses there. I've killed plenty of the small ones, but the uh, the large ones seem 
way too uh, scary to me. Okay, I better check down there briefly. Sorry, Brian, I didn't mean to stand on your head there. <laughs> yeah, well, is that all he had? A mushroom? Let's go with the other 500 mushrooms we've got. It's not his fault. I've got to go back around. something on the other side of this. Oh, just very carefully. Could be stuff below us, but it's so um so tricky to tell. that uh some godric soldiers there seems like it okay they're patrolling back and forth in front of this building okay there's some graveyard down there Jeez, the knights right there. Right, can we get in there before the, the patrol comes back? There we go, Tower of Return. record their shit. <coughs> the thing is, <coughs> destroying a scenery like that, usually, like, 99% of the time, there's nothing in, it's nothing there, there's no point in doing it. And then rarely, occasionally, there'll be a hidden item. So kind of play it by ear. Sphinx! How you doing, Sphinx? You alright? What's going on, my dear? Are you well? How was, uh, how was your weekend, Sphinx? I think I had quite a tiring week last week. So I uh, hope you recovered somewhat over the weekend. Oh. Hello, bro. Right, okay. Got a little treasure chest. It's not a mimic. I don't even know if mimics are in this game. I assume they will be at some... Oh, no! We've been kidnapped. <laughs> Where have we been sent? It was short. He did a lot on Saturday. He gamed all day Sunday, or playing the uh, Pokemon. Have, how have you found it, Sphinx? I've heard there's a lot of uh, janky old bugs in it. Um, but uh, Root was saying... Uh, that they've uh, not encountered anything that's too game-breaking. But it, is it still enjoyable? Can you still play it? We just we had a bit of a rant about it at the beginning of the stream. Now uh, the we've made to, we've been kidnapped and sent to Langdale, the royal capital. Wait, now isn't this um? Where's this in relation to where we are? Oh, jeez, all the way up here? What? 
the map be getting big, kids. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if there's grace around. I should look for some grace. Isn't this where we started the game? Now, is that a wing of a dragon there? That seems uh, disturbing. Oh, my God. There's an elevator there. Before I just immediately fast travel out of here. Maybe you can use this opportunity to find something. This looks similar. Right. Oh, my God. We're right next to the Erd tree here. It's like there. Sweet. We've got some grace. There's another option now. Oh, a dead giant there. Is he really though? Okay, we've definitely not. Whoa! Okay, okay. That's what I said. So aggro. <laughs> he scared me. <laughs> Um, I, I definitely can't do enough damage to him. In fact, can we? No horse here. Okay, it's another option for us of where to go and where to be. It's some kind of like cr giant sea or something. Stuff in the distance over there. Mountains here. There's the bloody herd tree, right, growing right there. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just going to. Um, we can go back there whenever we want. Now we've got the grace, but I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to uh, get back here for now. We learnt a thing. Uh, oh, Rue. Yeah, I'll do that all the time. I'll forget about it. I'm going to... Oh, fancy tea. I'll make tea. Leave it on the side. Then sit down. Forget about it. And then go, oh, I'd really fancy tea. And then go, oh, wait, I was making tea. <sighs> if it's salvageable... It's not too, I mean, actually, when it's salvageable, that's kind of worse because you have you then you've got like slightly cold, mediocre tea, rather than if it, if it's like you know, stone cold and you can just you're like oh, I've got to throw this out, I can't drink this. And then you make a fresh one and you're not going to forget again. But either way, yeah, I can't, can't believe we got kidnapped again. Um, so there we go. That's the tower of getting kidnapped. Um, wonderful. came a little bit closer. I'm getting it freaking stuck in a tree. It sounds like it's pretty close at the minute. Unfortunately, nowhere near close enough. It needs to get like right up here. I don't know. Maybe there's some, something else we have to do within the uh, within the world to uh, for him to like change his behaviour. But yeah, for now, definitely uh, nothing I can really do about that. Right, that's a silly tower. We just that. <laughs>
crucifying people again. Or they're like. Oh. attack that guy did I just left him to it oh okay here we go back on track check out this little graveyard here oh lots of items I don't know if any of them are going to be any good. Oh, runes, eh? Golden runes. Yes, please. Seems to be the, the basic uh, level of them, which is like only 200. But uh, still. Good when you're, uh, you've got just enough to like get another level or something. And get some use out of them. In fact, I don't know how many we're, how we're doing on runes. Um, uh, thank you. Thank you, Ryan, for the uh, gifts of that Sphinx. What a, what a gent. Better be mess and be toast, group. It's, yeah, Lord of the Rings, the Tower of Getting Kidnapped. <laughs> you got two shiny Sphinx. Bloody hell. Shiny's like hell rare, aren't they? Odd see-through floors, NPCs moving jaggedly, and you once disappeared. <laughs> um, okay, I mean, but if you... St it's not acceptable for Nintendo to be putting something out like that. But, as long as you don't regret your purchase, then um, it's, I guess it's okay, isn't it? I've got to kill these wolves here. I'm not really wanting to, but. Just while I'm exploring. It's kind of dangerous not to. We find that I didn't really need to come over here anyway. Sorry, wolves. Yeah, I was just trying to have a look at how I'm doing for runes, wasn't I? There we go. We've got 20 uh, of the basic type and 21 of the next rank. All the other rarer ones, we've uh, got much less. That's for our best one. Rank 6 is uh, up to 2,000. So yeah, I, I prefer to just sit on them. I could just bosh them all now and get a couple of level ups. And maybe I will you know, at some point. I don't know. To look on the beach. Looks like we've got skellies around. I'm 
It's going to be too interesting what we're doing. You see that edge there? That will uh, that will kill us if we fall off that. This is fairly clearly defined. I do appreciate that at least. It's kind of a mass of them there in the middle, isn't there? I don't think they're doing anything important. No, so we've got... Aha, there's an item. It's just a rune. Okay, worth, worth checking. Giant land octopus. Stay away from these. Golden runes. And nothing. Dead end. Okay, let's get out of here. That's what I mean. Screw that. Okay, had to check. Had to check. Um, <clears throat> so, Rue, what's your what's your plan? Uh, of, are you going to catch them all over the two versions and like, can you trade with yourself between the two versions I don't know if I'm not really sure how it works oh we've got some more grace here the fourth church of Marika Mar they, seem like, they seem to like calling it America Another sacred tear, my god. Um, I just, when I see uh, the, the letters like that, I just want to say Marika. So I'll, I'll probably just keep saying that still. Oh, crap. Oh. There we go. We've got like the flask plus four now. Plus, yeah, plus four. Jeez. So we need, and with an extra charge, five charges. I need to, um... Okay, I need to check what this thing is to the south of us directly here. Uh... Got, we need to level up and put points into Vigor. There are other stats I want, but that is by far and away the thing that's going to serve us the most. Right, yeah, we need to jump down here and have a look at these ruins. Yeah, I can see stairs going down from stood up here. Um, I just need to check that and this building, and maybe this. That's just a chunk of ruin there. Right, random glowy soldiers. Oh, we've got a ghost, haven't we? Oh, there it is, the tower. Finally, I can return to our home bathed in rays of gold. I don't know if that's true, buddy. Now, uh, what's he looking? Is he looking at that thing? I don't know. Anyway. 
I'm not going to worry about it. I really... I feel it's going to be a thing. I might... I don't know. It's a bit spoilery to look it up or ask for clues about it. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. Which Bane ruins were in poison? And what the freaking hell is that that's just appeared out of nowhere? That's a giant orb of corpse. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, cool. We've got um a summon marker, which is kind of cool. I'll see if I can horse my way through this first. This is a path through with like without going the poison. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The fizzle. Oh, I think that's staying dead, that undead. Okay. I think I'll probably want to stay on the horse here and just kind of pick these guys apart. That big blob, though. Chucking that... That magic around like that. That's kind of a problem. Okay, dragonfly heads. Nice. Seems to just be raining down on kind of directly around it quite a bit. But um I'm still gonna get smashed up like that. Be careful dealing with this bastard. Whoa, 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 Those skeletons have, um, <laughs> they've uh, certainly, uh, certainly very energetic. <laughs> Indeed, indeed, Ryan. It's the name of the game. Uh, yeah, too many arms and too many swords. Uh... Okay, let's try it again. I think I am. My runes are just over here. Hopefully they're not lost. Yeah, underestimate those skellies. It's an awful thing. Maybe I can uh, head down here. Use that as cover. I think I can actually. Yeah, in fact. Come here. We're going to cleverly do something with this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Too many armed skeleton. Okay, cool, cool. Or not. Oh. 
Oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> I had a clever idea, but it didn't pan out. Okay. That's fine. Um... Also, yeah, or something. Artney! How you doing there, Artney? Are you well? Welcome in, buddy. Um, God, yeah. Uh, <laughs> excellent. Did you have to remake it, bro? Or... Yeah, hunt, indeed. Indeed, Artney. I, uh, I'm, just, I'm, just, uh, I'm just a youngster. <laughs> right. Okay. I know what, not what to do now. Obviously, slightly concerned about trying to get my uh, runes back, but okay. So I want to try and tidy up the skeletons up, up, up top. I don't have to take down that ball of junk with the. Uh... As long as I'm not being harassed by skellies. That's not all of them, is it? It's more, right? Get off your horse, bro. Okay, there was a door. Alright, let me see if we can deal with this monstrosity first. Now, that wasn't actually even worth killing, really, was it? Well, I mean, it was worth killing to shut it up. But otherwise, okay. I think I've cleared out the top of those ruins. I'm just going to do a quick uh, once over and make sure. Yeah, I think there's only like there's anything else here. Okay, so let us uh, head downwards. Oh, um, what's that? Uh, Poo air? Uh, what's um? Sorry, raggedy cute. Uh, what's that? Campfire tea. It's too strong. Yeah, um, I'm not. I think maybe I've just not been really exposed to it that much. I don't know. I'm not really necessarily into green tea. My tea is uh, English breakfast tea with a little bit of milk. Not too much milk. I don't want it too strong. Absolutely do not put sugar in it or I'll throw it back at you. Oh, amber shard. 
What is this? Is that, uh, was that an... Oh, oh no. It's a spell, a sorcery. Oh, damn. You need 23 intelligence to use it. Strikes from behind with the projectile fired from distance. One of the night sorceries of Celia. Town of sorcery. Launches a projectile from a distance removed from the caster so as to strike the enemy from behind. The sorcery can be cast repeatedly. The Celian uh, sorcerers were assassins, and they said they were often hunt. Uh, uh, he said that they often hunted their fellows. Wow. So I guess it's like the uh, glintstone pebble, but rather than me for fighting it at them, I cast it, and it appears behind them and attacks them from behind. So I mean, even if you miss with that. You're kind of setting them up to, you know, you're attacking them in a pincer attack, I guess. That's pretty freaking amazing. Um, we'll see. Uh, hello. Are we friends? You fr a friendly person? Oh, looks like they're, they're captive here, no? It'll do no good, I swear. And yet you persist, you frothing degenerates. Not I. Can I help you? Can I release you? I mean, I may be a frothing degenerate, but I'm not the frothing degenerate that you... Uh, it will do no good, I swear. <laughs> that you were looking for. Can I? Can I free her? I don't want to just attack because I might take a freaking arm off or something. God, it looks like she's uh, attached to those crystals there. Quite severely. I don't know. Yeah, no, indeed. <laughs> what we've done to her, her head. Her head's not looking too healthy, is it? Yeah, sure. Should I give it a go? I don't know. What do you reckon, guys? Should I, should I try and attack? To, as, as though to free her. I would just use my like little dagger or something just to. Okay, that's not what I was wanting to go. Should I put her out of her misery? Okay, so I'm trying to attack her actually hurt her. Should I put her out of her misery? I mean, because there's no no option to free her. I don't know. So I feel like I shouldn't kill random NPCs, but. Also, like, if you came across someone like this and you couldn't free them and you couldn't communicate with them, part of you might be tempted to put them out of their misery. Okay. Wasn't meaning to do that, honestly, but... Never mind, eh? Um, I was meaning to do this. Yeah, they put crystals in her brain, or... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, do you know what you're saying? I don't know. I <sighs> yeah, Swinks. I don't know. I'm just very... nervous about... killing NPCs. But sometimes it's like the right thing to do. Um, you guys decide. There's a couple of you here. Um, 
There you go. 60 seconds. Give me, give, give me an answer of that. Um, you could decide Sphinx. There you go. Click on click on that. Um, cause I mean, like, you see where I'm coming from. I'm in two very two different minds about it. Um, because if they, you know, if they are suffering, I would happily kill them to put them out of their misery. But I'm just concerned later on. Someone be like, "Hey, you killed my friend Sheila earlier." Yeah, and then there's no, <laughs> there's no recourse. Um. So I don't really know. I don't know. But uh, on the other hand, maybe we can. Someone else will save them. I don't know. Got no answer. Um, I'm sure I could look it up, but I feel that's slightly cheating. But, um, I've never seen that before. When you got a current poll, the uh, um, the uh, the gift subs uh, scroll across the top there like that. Okay, right, like four, four of you, four votes at least. Two for no, let them live. Four, four, put them out of misery. Okay, that's decided then. I did already slightly tag them. Um, sorry, whoever you are, I'm gonna free you from your suffering when I uh, line up my sword probably. <laughs> My death would only be temporary. Oh. Your savagery achieves nothing. I'm getting attacked for it. I'm trying to put you out of your misery. Sorceress Selen. Oh my god. I hope this is not going to come back and bite us in the ass later on. Okay, she said my death will only be temporary. If they're tarnished like us, then I've done you a favour, haven't I? But then she was like, ah, your savagery. Like as if we're the one who's done that to her. I don't know. Tough titty. Um. Um. Yeah, definitely, definitely, Artney. Yeah. But, um, we'll have to see if that comes back and bites us in the ass. And if it does, I'll see if I can explain myself. And if I can't, then... Tough titty, I guess. It seemed like the right thing to do. Uh, God, Sorceress Selen marked as an NPC on the map. She's not, like, immediately respawned, has she? And it's like, oh, thank you for that. I can't, I can't believe what was going on there. <laughs> I don't know that. It, uh, I don't know that it is honestly. Yeah, we may have just um, removed an NPC from the game when we shouldn't have. <sighs> That's uh. <laughs> it's not gonna whatever happens whatever the consequence of that is it's not going to stop us completing the game so hey ho tough teddy let's move on um it seemed like the right thing to do didn't it okay another ever jail there Oh. Oh, wait, is this one locked? Interesting. So if this, if this one's locked, it's not locked. What is this for? Oh, okay. I guess maybe it was. I couldn't go in there before. Now, if I go in there, our runes will be committed. So, um, we'll probably come back to it. But for now, we'll just mark it for later. We might come back and ch test some of these at the end of stream, but... Uh, well, it's just random stuff to explore in the world for now. I'll just unlock it for later. 
it's the one of the three we've uh, tried the guy was um it was kind of tough and you cannot summon your uh, spirits in those places not well, that's uh, an excuse or reason not to but yeah i mean that we should probably head out of it because that bell was <laughs> it's like calm down stop walking around creature Well, oh, oh. Oh. Cool. New spell. Is that? Divine Fortification? That's my spells. Yeah, there we go. Increases holy uh, damage resist. Excellent. Perfect, perfect. Worth doing. So it's, just, it's got to be. I was like, there's got to be something up here, and there was a new spell. Never know what you find. So let's go looking. What's that, uh, a guy down here gonna be like, Oh, my friend was captured in the other ruins just over there. Can you help her? <laughs> I'm like, uh... Oh, jeez. I'll be like, uh, no. I'll be like, oh, the altar! I already helped her! <laughs> um... Uh, yeah. Well, I, I don't know. We'll have to. Uh, we'll have to wait and see how that all panned out. Their route. Um. Interesting. Interesting, Sphinx. I'll try that. That's a, yeah. It's a lot of different flavors in there, though. I don't know. I'm trying to. Piece it all together in my uh, little brain, but um, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's great. Um, I'm sure I would uh, enjoy it. Beast liver. I don't want to join rats, don't want to be friends. I'm not here to judge. Anyway. Let's watch out for this guy. Wow. It's like that, is it, bro? Oh. Not easily staggered, eh? Hooded crossbow rapier wielding uh, ladies. I don't know what you're all about there. Again, I'm not trying to. Be, I'm trying to be friends with everyone in this world, but everything and everyone wants to kill us. So uh, what am I supposed to do? All right, another teleportation chest, isn't it? It's surely, probably. Who knows? Oh, a winged scythe. Is that its own category? It is. A re the weapon type, a reaper. 
Oh, damn. You need 16 strength and dexterity, which is a reasonable uh, amount. But also need 24 faith to even use it. It's a, a faith-based weapon. 55 uh, rating of blood loss as well. Um, scales uh, eon strength, so it doesn't matter. But Dion dex and faith. Sacred scythe resembling a pair of white wings deals holy damage. According to pagan belief, white-winged maidens are said to be death's gentle envoys. Unique skill, angel's wings. Jump and imbue the wing blade of the armament with light, then deliver a slashing attack on the enemy. The white wings impede recovery actions using a flask of tears. Oh. Well, la -dee da will we be able to use that? I don't know. I'd love to give it a go, though. Uh... <laughs> Who knows? Who knows how long this game is? Oh. Hello. I think that's that cleared out. So I think... I mean, I can just run over to... Uh, This ruin, I guess, or we'll have a little look in this foresty bit. But that seems to be the peninsula cleared out. Let me um have a little look. Yeah, holy scythe! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh I was just getting very excited. Um I was getting very yeah, I mean, I, 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 I don't know that they're necessarily missing gears, um, F. So, um, I think these are just, each line is a category. So, you've got dagger-type weapons on the top there. Straight swords. Great swords. Thrusting swords. Curved swords. Curved great swords. Twin blades. Axes. Great axes. Hammers types. Obviously, that includes club. Uh, great hammer types, spears, uh, I don't even remember picking up that torch pole, uh, halberds, reapers, whips, uh, fists, claws, light bows, crossbows, glintstone staffs, sacred seals, torches, small shields, medium shields, uh, and great shields. They're, each line is a category, so there's not necessarily more that we're missing, although there may be. I think uh, you get five in a line, and then there with medium shields, it just starts a new line if you find more. So, like, for example, it's not to say that there's four more different medium shields to find. that We might have found all six in the game. Um, or that there's... Uh, four more claw weapons to find there may only be a single claw weapon in the game i think they just decided to um put this out you know to organize it a bit better um so you can easily find more what you're looking for i assume um of the foresty bit <laughs> yeah 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 seven what else would you call it i'm heading over to the foresty bit right now over here. Okay, the foresty bit is not much of a forest by the looks of it. Okay, a little bit to the south. Yeah, the foresty bit's not. Uh, it's not. It's barely forested. There's a couple of trees. Alright, this map. This map. Oh, I need a refund for this map, I think. Um. So unless there's something uh, around this ruin here. Which there might be something on top of it. Or there might not. No. Okay. So we've got the... Uh, I guess I'll, uh, I'll mark here. Let's put mark down for uh, that little animal thing. So we've got to be, that's got to be something, hasn't it? Um... Other th so, the Weeping Peninsula is done, apart from Big Bellboy, um, 
ever jail there we need to look at which we had to unlock that one which is curious um big tree uh guardian thing um the rune bear there which was scary as all bloody hell um and this crazy boss down here which uh, may be the toughest boss we've seen in the game so far i don't know um i've got another ever jail there that's the one i've tried and got my ass handed to me um we've got the big old dragon there um and then there's another ever jail there we've not looked at yet um uh, the only problem with trying the ever jails is of course if i go in there die then my runes are stuck in there so we have to commit to killing the boss if i want to keep my runes um so maybe once we level up or buy something and clear out my runes i can um worry about that then for now um i think we'll just press onwards we'll head up here and we'll head north we're trying to head to um yeah rea lucaria is it i believe i think that's what we'll do um although having said that Maybe I, can, maybe I can actually spend those souls, runes, um, and buy something from the, uh, the, uh, husk maidens. um right yeah I'm, there's a few things i'm missing um again how important they are yeah still need the uh knights gauntlets and helm uh still need a i don't think we have a long bow or a short spear i know we already have a scimitar and we already have a dagger well the standard rapier and the standard long sword we don't have just to get into the collection uh, these, I don't know if they're these are one-offs or uh, these are permanent things. And then uh, the rune arcs that obviously Cobbsmith was telling us about, four thousand each. That's pretty freaking expensive. Not to, and also these uh, weird little uh, furled thing trick mirrors. Uh, not important, but just from the collector's point of view. Um, we we'll buy the uh, gauntlets there, I think. Um, check if we need the long bow, short spear, rapier, and long sword. Okay, so I don't have the long sword. I don't have the normal rapier. Um, or the short spear. Okay. I'll check the long bow. I think I've only got a short bow, in fact. Yeah. Okay. Okay, actually, okay, let's go try a couple of these bosses then. Yeah, I'll just go ahead and buy, uh, buy that. This, uh, there's no harm in us doing that. Because if I give it a couple of goes and then I'm just like, eh, nah, that's, uh, that's it for me. I give up. We've not actually lost anything. Yeah, I'm so out of the loop with Pokemon. Um, Sphinx, so I, I'm, obviously I'm, you know, from my day, it's, uh, you capture one. And it may evolve once or twice. And then you can also like choose which moves they have as they uh get you know, as they level up. But uh their type I always thought was like it was well, from my experience this is set. And I don't know, there's different variations of uh types, but the more you know, eh? Oh, I'm just dying there. <laughs> right, okay, let's um there's not actually anything over here, is there? 
Oh, okay. That's one of the uh, flask replenishment bugs there. Actually worth killing if you, if you don't need it. Okay, I'm just going to throw myself in this and we'll uh, see what happens. Though. Into the Weeping Ever Jail. <clears throat> I believe I shall die lots. Oh. Or maybe not. I'm not immediately being attacked by anything. Um. Nah, you'll be fine. Are you uh, are you modding over there, uh, Seven? You'll be fine. Oh, it's back in X and Y. Right, okay, it's a different pa wing pattern depending on where in the world you found it. That's pretty cool. Right, so as you can see, it's like a... Yeah, here we go. Ancient Hero of Zamor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Very icy, buddy. Very icy there. I'm uh, very uh, getting frosty up in here. Oh my god. Okay, don't dodge backwards when he does that. Dodge to the side. Okay. Oh wow. Can I even get a single hit in? Yeah, okay. Very well, in fact, is the answer to that. But obviously, uh, if he's going to dodge. Okay. I might uh, be able to take this guy. Not this time. I'm out of uh, heals, but... Yeah, look, he's already half dead on my crappy first attempt here. Oh dear, what's he doing now? Oh, he made his sword extra icy. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. AoE. So he, pa he powers up halfway through. Um... Um, yeah, interesting, interesting boss. I think I should be able to do this. So, uh, Sphinx, does that make it so as a wanna catch them all kind of uh, poker master, which I assume you are, because obviously uh, I would assume... You know. Oh, it drops our runes outside. Okay. Did I uh, put our death on there? I don't think I did, did I? Um, does that mean that you want to not only catch each Pokemon, but each version of each one? Yeah, no, of course. Of course you enjoy the battling. Yeah, it'd be terrible if you didn't, wouldn't it? Ow! Gotta be careful. It's not the way to be careful.
Okay, I'm not fighting in a tree is probably uh, not the way to go, is it? Ah, that's unfortunate. Super ice time. Let's see if we can get some uh, flames going on here. Oh! oh, okay. Okay. It's not too difficult. That is obviously a problem. I need to be very careful of that at the end there. Garuda! How are you doing, sir? Are you well? Welcome in. How's your weekend? How's the life treating you, Garuda? Uh, Garuda, have you got either new Pokemons at all? These, uh, Root and uh, Sphinx, and other people I know are playing them at the minute. There's a bit of a controversy, but they seem to be, uh, they seem to be having a good time of it. Right, okay, just for this fight, I'm going to unequip our little uh, magic catalyst there, because we're see if it's going to be fire or uh, or nothing, isn't it? Fire or nothing. Fire of the sword. I'm not messing around with magic here. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt, Grudor. Free, free B1 off. So I'm going to oh. try and use sword to start with in the first half. So uh, it seems more dangerous in the second half where the, our fires do more damage. So I'll say that until my sheets me. Yeah, how's um, how's Fire Emblem going, uh, Greed? Have you completed it? You far off. It looks such a fun game. Um, not have seen if you play of it.
ass. We've got to watch out for that counter there. Cause, uh... Oh. Okay. There we go. Okay, defense greatly increased. Oh. Quick, quick. This is freaking tough. Alright, one more fireball in the face. Right, back to sword. And it'll let me change. Oh my god. Close. Close. <clears throat> you feel it gets to the, got to the point where it's a little bit too easy, Garuda. That's a shame. Thank you. Thank you, Wolf. Yeah. He, I'll, I'll, considering, you know, he doesn't seem as tough as Godric. It's just a um, shame that I have to go. I can't have my uh, little buddies, my Wolf's help. Um, but uh, he, de he definitely seems manageable. It's just getting used to his attack pattern. definitely made some mistakes in taking damage needlessly so seems to get a look at oh, I'm trying to pause the game <laughs> a slight stun on him when I uh, do a jumping strong attack there so I should uh, try and use that to my advantage I feel Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, I missed, uh, missed getting a crit there. That's a shame. That's clumsy. I'm trying to duck down here, bro. Not trying to duck down here. Alright, switch to flame. Too much for little old me. Um, close, getting so close though. <clears throat> yeah, you can't be that tough with our weak ass uh, character. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, if I'm getting that that close, then. Uh, I should be, uh, there's no reason I can't do this.
So careful. My poise is so terrible that even uh even taking hits with um on the shield it just stuns me so uh um, almost like stun locking myself I'm like oh better heal and then I'll just end up taking the damage but we're close enough that uh, I'm going to keep going definitely still room for improvement on everything I'm doing there I do keep making a, a lot of uh, minor control errors. That was uh, unfortunate. That's fucking terrible. Leap back, leap forward. Yo, urchins. How you doing? Yeah, we'll get, we'll get in there slowly. But yeah, how, how you doing, urchins? Are you well? How was your, how was your weekend? Was it good? Yeah, I've just got to... Um, Make sure I do really well in the first stage, and then uh, I'm still. I guess I'm still trying to learn the second stage of the fight. <clears throat> there we go. That's not. That's kind of good. Oh, nice damage. Let's uh, back off and get some space here. Wow, is my shield not up there? <laughs> Similarly not. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> Alright, last heal. Very, very, I should not be messing around with my fire. Oh, right, frostbitten and wrecked. Maybe I should just be um, sticking to the sword. Toxic World Cup football fans. I didn't even know the World Cup was on. Let's show how much I know. But um, hang in there, my friend. Hang in there. Um, to prefer to eat some urchins. I get so I get the impression you're uh you're quite the fan of urchins. Um, 150 species. I did not know that. Learn something new every day. But yeah, hopefully uh work doesn't go too badly. Um, but if you are you in the kitchen, you're just making the food, you're not you've got to deal with the customers. Hopefully. All right, here we go. Um, let me just try sticking with the sword for now. We'll do a run where I'm not going to worry about pulling out a fireball. Tree. Not for long, it's not. Okay. <laughs> I was like, hang on, can I, can I make a bit of cheese out of this? Oh my god. Bending those uh, those blocks are not great. Um, excellent. At least that's something. At least that's something. Urchins. You know, it could be what a lot worse. I don't want to start dealing with customers. Um, <laughs> ocean citizens. That they scare you. <laughs> I mean, depends which one we're talking about, Ryan. This is true. It seems like your runes drop uh, roughly uh, in the arena where outside. Okay, I mean, that's kind of handy. I still feel I should be trying to leverage this fire a little bit, but he's um, knowing when to attack on his uh, second form is tricky. Clumsy, been too aggressive. Yeah, this first half of the fight is um, that's cheap, but. Yeah, his defense way goes up. That fire is doing some great damage, though. Oh, oh.
God damn it. Yeah. Definitely go uh, fire first. Um, I don't think it even matters not so much with the heals uh, necessarily, Ryan, I feel. In that second, I've got to be so precise with the use of heals in that second uh, part of the fight. Um, if I mistime it, then I just end up dying anyway, but um, we shall see. But um, yeah, the amount of damage it's putting out, though, is um, much greater than the sword. Definitely. But yeah, no, you are right. I do need to get the first half of the fight down with taking no damage is the idea. Regardless, because, you know, it might be tricky to get the heal in. But I should still be able to do it. Oh. Unfortunately, I've, um... Uh, kind of maybe triggered him with too many hit points on his second form. Yeah, the damage is great. Alright, one more fireball. Oh. bastard ow motherfucker close real close thank you for the uh, hydration there sphinx Yeah, Wolf, he's just, he's just a beast at the end there. Relentless. I don't have the poise, uh, which just comes from just lack of stats and mediocre gear. Just getting slapped around, which is, I mean, again, in a technical sense, you should be able to complete this game, defeat every enemy in the game without taking a single hit. Now, that's just not... I don't have the skills to do that. <laughs> yeah. Again, triggering him a little bit too early. He's getting, like, extra uh, hit points now. That's the only problem. It's all about the ice, so I mean, can't say I'm uh, surprised. I 
damn it. God damn it. I do frustrate myself a little bit, constantly ducking. But, uh. That, uh. Uh oh, I'm frostbitten. Oh, didn't even matter anyway. Um. Swear I'm uh, so intensely moving the left stick, I'm pushing it in, which is constantly making me duck, which is. That's a little bit annoying. Sorry, Sphinx, I didn't do a proper hydration for you. I do apologise. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, this is true. This is true, Wolf. Yeah. The first uh, phase I'm starting to get down. I, unfortunately, I wish we had the... Because uh, we've got the... Um... Excuse me. We've got... Uh, let me just check my talisman. Yeah, that's probably what I want anyway. Um, we've got the talisman to protect from fire. And we've got the talisman to protect from lightning. We do not have the ice one, though. That's, a <laughs> that's the issue. Um, maybe I'll switch that in. Enhances. I'm not using guard counters. Let's switch in jump attacks. I'm actually, I'm using jump attacks a lot. So, if you know, if that uh, counts for what I'm uh, the standard jump attack I'm doing. range on him. So one hit, one jumping hit, two hit, followed by three and four. Okay. And I'm frostbitten, aren't I? Oh, no. Never mind. Yeah, you don't have to show off after the fact, buddy. <laughs> yes, you like ice. I get it. Wonder what we'll get for this. Probably something, um, some real crappy amount of runes and probably some real crappy item. But <laughs> that's not a point, is it? Oh, there we go. Damn it. Should not be getting hit straight away. Yeah, I'm just gonna call that one. Um, yeah, I don't remember, uh, 
to our yeah dance of the arboreal valley is it um ryan yeah i remember it being awkward but um there's a there's a guy more awkward than this in um one of these uh jails so we'll uh, probably have another little look at him in a second <laughs> Yeah, real, uh, I know what you mean though, Ron. Yeah, real, uh, in and out, real sweeping. Um, great change of range. And very slow moving, but obviously it's hard to, uh, use that to your advantage. It's my own fault trying to know when to block and when to uh when to uh go for uh go for a dodge my dodges when i've chosen to go for those i've seemed to have been way off from what they should be Okay, there we go. That's a, that's a good one. Now, let's deal with this icy bullshit here. Watch how far that goes. Right? Oh. Oof. That's one fireball missed. Obviously, I don't want to miss with any, really, but... Wow! I'm sure I had my shield up there, but... Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Not quite. Might as well be, though. Of course, every time I block, it's only uh, adding to uh, the frostbite meter. Oh, that's the only problem. We get frostbitten. Just trying to pick my opportunity. That's the problem. Four hit combo and that's when he follows up that as you saw there in the time that i've taken the damage from the four hit combo and he's winding up the next attack i in that gap not only am i completely staggered and can't do anything i've actually got iframes and at the moment that he lands his final hit that's when my iframes are ended <laughs> come, on, come on bro akuma how you doing buddy are you well? Um, I hope you are, sir. God, I'm. I'm. Uh, did I have that death on? I didn't, did I? There we go. Um, God, I've, I've died on this guy more than I've died on Godric. I think. <laughs> um. I will have soon, if uh, if not. Shouldn't be taking damage at the start of the fight. Yeah, it's tough though. single one hit. I wonder if you can bait them into doing particular attacks. I don't know. Ow. It's 
unfortunate, wasn't it? I think I've kind of just got to be a bit more aggressive here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright, one more fireball. What? I have... Uh, apparently... Uh-oh. Apparently I had my... Uh, oh! oh it's too old missed like that. Oh my god, one hit. That was do or die. And it was die, unfortunately. Yo, Lily. How you doing, Lily? Are you alright? Welcome in. How was your weekend, my dear? Ah, uh, um. Do you feel a coma? Yeah, because it's one on one, isn't it? You know, and Godric might have been a bigger beast, but I had, uh, what's her face, Nefalia, and also, um, the little mage guy been a, a distraction but this guy's he's on you it's not uh it's nothing else distracting him <laughs> okay okay i think i need to maintain aggression in the second phase as well honestly um i think that's just and just do the best i can if i play too defensively Ugh. That was uh, not great. What was that? Ethan. Alright, I'm just gonna let him kill me on this one. Hang on, buddy, kill me. Kill me. I've already added the death. Kill me, buddy. Alright, nice. Nice, Lily. I've never played Binding of Isaac, but I've, uh, I've heard very good things about it. Yeah, I didn't even know there's a TV series of, uh, of Sleepy Hollow. <laughs> That's cool. That sounds good. Um... Oh my god. Yeah, so I just gave up there, folks. It's just when I went in and I just immediately got hit, I'm like, well... I'm already putting myself at a disadvantage. I need to go in and not do that. Oh, no. I mean, I was so close, uh, Red Mage. If, you know... Either, you know, the... the <laughs> Our playthrough of this game doesn't... We don't do anything else until we beat this guy. So hopefully we beat him soon. Because, uh... Yeah. where my shield was up, but obviously it wasn't. That's two heals down already. It's not, not great.
Uh oh. Okay, that was cool. That works nicely. Uh oh. That worked terribly. As in, didn't work. Oh, God. Yeah, those time. If, if anyone's not aware, when I'm getting a hit, uh, when it seems like maybe I should all have my shield up, um, when you have your shield raised, your stamina regens very slowly. You have to drop it to allow it to regen. But obviously, my timing is terrible in such that I'm dropping my shield to regen my stamina. And, you know, there's no point in doing it if you take the hit. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. There we go. We got that one. Cool. Um, sounds, um... Sounds like a, a wild, wild game. Uh, Lily. <laughs> I've, heard, I've only heard good things about it, though. Uh, I will say that. Okay, here we go. Is he ducking down? I'm not meaning to duck, guys. I'm just... The game is, uh, intense. Oh, timing. Terrible. Over 700 hours. God damn it, Lily. That's, um... That's, uh... That's something. Yeah, and that's just the mechanics of the game, Red Mage. It's, uh... You've got to take it. And that's the thing. You can't, obviously, not drop your shield. Because with the slow rate of regen, you soon get overwhelmed and your stamina will be gone anyway. You have to... It's a constant balance between... Shield up for defense, drop shield to regen stamina. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So obviously, with my gamer skills, it's uh, <laughs> very uh, easy for me to misjudge that. I have it up when it should be down, have it down when it should be up. wasn't it? Oh. Seriously? See the, uh, the extremely, uh, drawn out stagger time. He, you know, it's not a factor for him. But anyway, yo, Scotty, how you doing? Yeah, you can quote me on that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The first day of uh, work for Scotty. He's on your lunch break. How has your morning been, Sky? Is it all right so far? I, I hope it's going well. The fact that you're smiling suggests that it's uh, going uh, pretty good, I assume. Uh, 
you're learning a lot. Cool, yeah, excellent. Because I know, you know, you're not the kind of guy who's going to go in and act like, you, you know, you know everything. Um, you, you know, you're an eternal student like me. I mean, a student as in the system. I wasn't that kind of good student. But, you know, you're open-minded and wanting to learn. Um, excellent, buddy. Excellent. We're just in icy hell at the moment with this fella. Really? Really? I swear I've got my shield up when he does that, but obviously I haven't. Destroyed. There you go. So, go get the stamina back, and then uh, take on the chin. Oh, I've got to watch for that. No worries, Lily. You, good luck. You, uh, you take care, my dear. Have fun. Yeah, exactly, Scott. Yeah, cool, cool. Excellent. So there look, they go. Yo, Scotty, this does this like this. And you're like, oh, I see. Rather than like me, I'll be like, I don't understand. Yeah, you know what the end thing needs to be. And you know how it happens, but you don't just not familiar with the specific uh, machinery that they use at this at this current juncture my god yeah doesn't he red mage doesn't he just it's not playing games he's like hey, oh, i'm coming to kill you Ow! I wonder if my... Too many mistakes. It does when it hits, Red Mage. It does when it hits. It definitely does more damage. Um, and it just seems like he also gets a boost in physical resistance as well. So it's definitely the way to go. I just need to um, I just need to get good, basically.
Yeah, oh, no, it's just a bad run. It's a bad run, Red Mage. Already popped potion a bunch and just had failed to uh, do what I need to do, basically. I don't want to. Uh, you know, that's not a great start. Oh, that actually. This might work well, actually. Maybe. I don't think we've uh, done enough that. Yeah, there we go. If we're ever going to do that. Okay. Two missed fireballs there. Three missed fireballs there. Not good. Not not good look. Alright, that's all the fireballs done. Okay. Ow! I frames. Fuck. God damn it. If he, um... It's a good run. Um, if you see if he does that one two, and I don't have enough stamina when he does, then I am dead. That's a, kind of a problem. What are you gonna do? I'm getting there slowly. So so uh. So disappointed those three fireballs in a row missed. That might have been it if they hadn't, but I feel definitely the way to go is to not be defensive. You have to have some measure of defense, obviously. I have to try my best to block and avoid his attacks, but I have to, I have to try and take it to him on the second phase. Much like on the first phase, really, but easier said than done. Ow! Come on, bro. Uh, oh my. Ay, ay, ay. I don't know why. I need to keep picking up these runes. It's only 200, but OCD compels. I would get a chonky amount of runes from this guy. Something that's going like, to help us out a bit. Very unfortunate. Uh oh, death. No, not yet. Okay. Wow. I thought my shield was up. Clearly, obviously, wasn't. God damn it. Waste of fireballs. Okay, sword time. Ow! Alright, I 
I wasn't sure if that was his whirlwind there. Let's see, I need to stay out of that. Oh. Gauge is going up. Yeah, that I need to stay the fuck out of. Oh, and that. Ow, oh, frostbitten. That's it, that's it, that's me done. My god, yeah, visually it's amazing, Travis. They all, this is probably the best looking of them uh, that I've played. I've not played Bloodborne or um, Demon Souls, original or remake. But I have played a lot of the Dark Souls trilogy, and they all look great. This is arguably the best looking, but uh, fuck me, it's hard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I will say this, Travis, I'm not very good at these games. But that doesn't take away my enjoyment of them. But, I mean, they, however tough this... I mean, we were possibly slightly under-leveled. Um, a beanie or ice bangle or something. No, we've got nothing. We've got nothing, Red Mage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I should have attacked then. Never mind. Come on, bro. What you got? We got? Ugh. Got an excellent dodge. This is it. Now is the time. Oh, you bastard. Holy hell. Um. Um. Yeah, hard to say, Travis. Yeah, if you, I mean, I don't know if you have a PS5. That is a, a certainly an option. So that was the original. That was the first game in the series. But the, I've, I'm given to understand the remake on the PS5, the PS5 exclusive is um, by far and away the better definitive version of the game. Um. Hard to go wrong with Dark Souls 1 because of the first Dark Souls, arguably the most iconic of the whole series. Um, or Dark Souls 3 was a lot of people's starting points um, and also my personal favourite of the trilogy. Um, or if you just want to experience hell, you could just dive into Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, see, I swear my shield was up, but I was still recovering from the jump attack. Um, just wasn't quite enough.
There we go. Yeah, his defense is way up while he's uh, transforming like that. Okay, that was nice. This is not going to be nice. Not going to be nice. Not nice at all. You're going to dodge that? No. Frostbite! No, 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 no! Oh my god! Put me to the test there. Sphinx. Sorry it took me a second to get to you there. You take care, my dear. Thank you for the hydrations. Uh, you uh, look after yourself. Um, Mike, how you doing, buddy? Thank you, thank you, guys. I knew I'd get there in the end. It's just... It is butt clenching. That's why I like it, Red Mage. <laughs> My, uh, it tight tightens your glutes up. <laughs> now, nah, I don't know what I picked up there. I was, let's find out. It was a thing. It was like definitely a thing, wasn't it? Of, of some great interest, maybe. Okay, not a tool. Um, not crafting material. Um... Some big round golden looking thing, wasn't it? Not spell, I think. Or an art. Is it a weapon? Shield? Right, okay, let me uh, care for it. It wasn't that warming stone, was it? What was it? Damn it. Oh wait, did I not check down here? No. Interesting. Um My god, Artney, yeah, that was freaking close. Too close, honestly. Too close for comfort. What did I just pick up? Oh, he dropped something cool and I just can't find what the fuck it was. <laughs> it looked like a round golden thing. I was like, it's a shield? It's not a shield. Oh, there it was. It was a talisman. There we go. Uh, wow. Radagon's Scar Seal. An eye engraved with an Elden rune. Nice. Said to be the seal of... King Consort Radagon raises vigor, endurance, strength, and dexterity, but also increases damage taken. I wonder how much it. Uh... Isn't it? I'll tell you. The seal represents the lifelong duty of those chosen by the gods. Um. I mean, if it gives you like plus twenty on all those stats could be good all right if it um okay it gives you plus three on uh vigor endurance strength and dexterity um but taking more damage that's like the last thing we really want isn't it <laughs> let's, let's be honest i just be honest <laughs> Right, let's get our guard counter one back on. Holy hell. Okay, there we go. That's one ever, ever jail done. And how much... And we... <laughs> we got like four... 5,400 runes out of that. Wow. Okay. 
Let's, uh... Let's go and spend those before we go lose them. Oh my god. Yeah, you get loads of stuff like that in these games, Red Mage. So, very tempting. Getting a, a total of plus 12 on your attributes. That's like, literally like 12 levels. It's like, ha, ha make yourself 12 levels higher. Just by equipping this. And especially the considering the fact that we're level 23. We could run around as if we were level 35. But the cost of that is we take more damage. Now, how much damage? Is it 1% more damage? I somehow doubt it. <laughs> It'd probably be like 50%. It might even be double damage or some madness. Some such madness. I don't know, but... I don't... <laughs> if, uh, if I feel uh, we need that kind of edge for something, then... It's probably good if you're, like, pretty chonk anyway. And you just want to get even more chonk. Um... Then it could be good. Okay, let's um I don't really necessarily need these, but uh as the old one time purchases. I just wanna nip in the bud there and we'll get that little spiel as well. Okay, let's um hold on time. I'll probably make coffee, I guess. Yeah, you do yeah, yes. <laughs> Exactly. It would help a little bit. So we'd have more hit points, but just taking more increased damage from all sources seems like not a good idea. Um, right, is that that was the one, wasn't it? We just did the weeping ever jail. Right, so uh, we got that one there, the forlorn hound. I fought that guy a couple of times. We got a few levels and better gear, and mostly our big old sword. So that might i'm tempted to give that another go but we've also got one up here i've not even tried yet so um let's give that one a go first um time we got okay i might step out for three minutes and um make coffee now it's as it's that time yo poison how you doing are you well poison how's your weekend you looking after yourself yeah wolf yes we did uh i think we must have had about 20 deaths to that guy but roughly but we uh we did get him eventually it, it, red mage says butt clenching but let me tell you my uh my butt cheeks are uh they're strong they're <laughs> they're pretty solid uh <laughs> not just from this game just uh you know but uh, definitely not hurting so i want to sit us down here so, uh sorry uh poison i'm just going back going to take a th three minute quick three minute break and make coffee as it's that time of day Oh, you're ill for four days, buddy. God bless you. Got a new partner's got pneumonia. Oh my god, bro. Well, send our love. Hopefully, um, yeah. That's Red Mage laughing at me, not you. <laughs> Poison's like, I'm ill, and my point partner's ill as well. And Red Mage is like, ah. no, not at all. But yeah, you know what I'm saying, Red Mage. Do those squats. But this is like it's an extra workout, Red Mage. Buns of steel. Uh, <laughs> three minutes, guys. I'll be right back.
Right, sorry for the delay there, folks. Um, I have uh, got my coffee. I've returned. I don't know. I'll have to just take a sit in between deaths, or sort I of feel. Um, <laughs> but anyway, thank you for all the lurks, everybody. I do appreciate it. Anyway, I've returned. Let's go die some more. Um, so I'm pretty sure we're heading uh, back down this way. I think I just felt this was the... Uh, that is technically closer. We have to fight your way up there. So that's just the uh, storm. The closest uh, place to go. Oh, did we? Oh, shh. How did I miss that? It's another bloody golden seed. What an idiot. I need to look out for these trees. That's got us another drink from our flask there. I can't believe I missed that. Good job I came back this way, right? Oh, my life, what an idiot. Uh, I'm a genius, isn't it? Can't believe that. Oh! Vince Kratos, how you doing there? Are you well, sir? Looking after yourself. Garuda, getting the nearest from raffle tickets. Thank you, sir. Let me uh, get you added to the list there nine raffle tickets the draw will be on the first of december doesn't matter if you're not around because i will contact whoever uh misses it i'll obviously do it live so there's no uh there's no shenanigans excellent just add those in there perfect thank you very much Garuda. appreciate it um how you doing vince are you well um, you're on your lunch break, are you? I'm very, buddy, I'm very well. I'm very well. How are you doing? Are you looking after yourself? Um, yeah. <laughs> hey, Poison, the, uh, Disney show is global. We are worldwide. Uh, Vince is on, in the far northern reaches of, uh, Canada. Uh, <laughs> how, you, how you doing, Vince? Are you well, buddy? I hope you are. It's been a while. Um, but you're looking after yourself, sir. I hope that you are. Um, guys, anyone that doesn't know Kratos, he's a wonderful young man. He's, um, he's very hardworking, very dedicated, and um, I'd be proud to call him my son. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Vince, I think last time I saw you, you were um, you're getting, to, you're getting quite hard into GeoGuessr a little bit. And uh, what I saw, you are getting pretty good at it. Um, but yeah, you, how's, um, how's everything going, bud? Are you well? Uh, welcome in to, uh... We are 182 deaths into our, uh... <laughs> Elden Ring playthrough. This game is... Now, I'm not going to tell you that I'm... Oh, did I even use my, uh... I didn't even use the freaking, uh... I just saw Vince there and got excited, sorry. <laughs> um, I didn't even use my seed yet. Here we go. Idiot, sorry, guys. Um, you're looking after yourself quite well. Work and everything. Good on you, buddy. Good on you. I respect it greatly. Um, here we go. Golden seed in the flask. There we go. Now we've got six swigs of our healing potion rather than five. Very important. Could be the uh, difference between life and death. <laughs> yes. Um... D that that's time flies twitch time flies uh vince but uh yeah what have you been up to bud like game wise or anything else and stream you stream wise did am i right in thinking you um you dipped your toe into youtube a little bit i don't wonder uh how you got on with that because um over the past year on twitch there's definitely uh there's been a lot of people calling out for kind of like yo guys let's move to uh youtube and then some people have and some people are like eh, don't really want to kind of start from scratch if, you know equivalent but uh just uh it's always in the back of your mind as a uh potential as a possibility right here we go storm hill ever jail now in terms of the overall game it could be that this is the first one you find so this whoever this guy is could be easier than the other dude we just fought but then again you know what this is uh 
this is like um yeah travis i love the idea of joe gesser and i guess i get the idea you want to look around for signage so you can pick up the language or just get a general vibe but uh from what i saw vince and other people play it they'll be like like you know maybe you get a vibe you're like oh somewhere in south america but that's where i stop i'm like well i don't know what country why why are you asking me i, I don't fucking know um but people like vince and people are into it they'll be like oh it's obviously uruguay and you're like <laughs> based on what <laughs> mystical powers uh copterous crime how you doing bro i hope you're well I'm root. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. JRPGs, as you should, Vince, because they are the true best game uh, genre. Um, yeah, it's what yeah, that's what you have the most fun with, Vince. And I'm the I'm exactly the same, buddy. Um, but yeah, a little bit of everything. You always never stop experimenting. Um, if you find something that works, stick with it. But if you're not like if you're not sure, just keep get, keep making things up as you go along. We're doing something completely new and different tomorrow, which could be the great, greatest thing we've ever done on this channel, or it could be a load of trash. And I won't know until we do it. So we're going to do it. So, you know. Uh, oh, really, cop? We just beat the, uh, the icy guy. The guy who's blasting ice everywhere with it and, and leaping around with his big his curved blade. And I was like, we died, only died about 20 times to him. Anyway, let's see what fresh hell we are walking into right now. Um, Why can we be friends? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. Cru the Crucible Knight. Okay. Oh, wow. We, oh, wow. We, uh, okay. He's, uh, he's a chonk boy. And definitely not going to be able to uh, block all of his attacks. Um, the uh, the rate he's uh, he's attacking. I got to do some clever dodges here. See what I'm made of. I'm made of um. I'm made of uh, poutine, uh, cop. That's about. <laughs> I made of something squishy and not very, uh, not very strong. Might be, ta might taste good, but yeah. Okay, C the Crucible Knight. Um, yeah, I could. I've never had it, uh, root, but unfortunately, okay. It's almost like I don't really want to. His uh, the strength of his attacks and the um, consistency that he's attacking seem to be that I can't I think I'm going to have to dodge this guy basically which sounds wild I should just dodge stick and move um, I think <sighs> let me uh, give him a few more goes before we commit to anything don't like gravy root. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say to that. It's okay. You're allowed to not like gravy. Obviously. Yeah, his poise is going to be off the uh, charts, isn't it? Oh, walked into that one, didn't I? <sighs> yeah, I can only imagine. I would, uh, I would eat all. I, I feel like it's how a tasty is. It's not doing, um, it's not doing great in a fight. Root, you do not have to apologise. If you have any excess gravy hanging around, you send it my way. I will not. I will not. I will not be upset about it.
I might just let those runes go. Honestly, there's only 13. Okay. So I definitely want to... Um, I want to dodge this guy if at all possible. Let me put my jump uh, talisman back on. <laughs> Yo, Jess, how you doing, Jess? You all right? How's your weekend? Yeah, that sounds good to me, Vince. I, I don't know I met anything that was, would be upset if Gravy was on it. I mean, if we're talking sweet and savoury, you know, we're talking sweet, then let's not go weird. Don't really need Gravy on cake. Um, but savoury, I mean, I don't... I, it's hard to uh, imagine, honestly. I think there might be things that are not ideal. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to pick them up. Uh, just to make a point. But, um... Oh, and they, and they sit in here as well. I guess it's, it's the same place, really, isn't it? God, he's so chonk. I'm gonna need to hit him, like, about... Not just jumping at him like that, that's no good. Oh, I'm gonna stand on there. Oh, that's terrible. Just missing. <laughs> Trying to get a hit in, but he's so unfazed. Yeah, if we we'll get yeah, if we we'll get time, Mike, sure, sure. Um, I thought you were. Uh, I don't think you're on it anymore. Now you're uh, now you're employed um, at Primark. I mean, the shield does indeed look cool. Af, there's no doubt about that. Wouldn't mind having it myself. Yeah, it seems to be fairly simple for me to land my own attacks, but unlike the guy we just fought. This night, the Crucible Knight, is unbothered. I I don't know if I could have, like, the giant hammer and smash it into him. He'd even be bothered by it. Um, OCD. You see what I mean? He's like... He's like, no, I don't care. He slapped me with his sword. And now, obviously, he's only got to hit me twice to uh, do anything. Um, I guess we could try some magic. Just to get a gist of where he's at with that. Okay, reasonable damage. Let's stuff him in the fucking bush here. Hang on, do chisel with his shield up like that. But yeah, he's got relatively chunky hit points compared to um, the guy we just fought. Oh. Yeah, I don't know that it, the fireball's necessarily helping.
Um, that's not true. If you get a full-time job, I think they're saying some bullshit to your mic. Um, they think they need to recognise the fact that you are over nine thousand. Just say that to a mic. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to be on Universal Credit if uh, you work in full-time. There's no reason, unless it's, unless it's temp work or something. Um, but thank you, Mike. Yeah, Mike, uh, you, uh, you got overtaken a bit since, uh, but, uh, that doesn't matter. You, uh, you held the top spot for a very long time. And, you know, you are only still one more away from it. Um, <laughs> do you, uh, do you reckon, Travis, I've, uh, I've oft, I do love metal and I've often, uh, fantasized about, uh, being in a metal band. Definitely. I don't know. Oh, Seastar. How you doing, Seastar? I hope you're well. I, uh, I don't... What uh, my favourite kind of metal vocal is, I don't know that I have uh, the chops to um, uh, pull off the same degree of intensity, but I think that's just more necessarily a case of uh, my lack of training. I've never really had the opportunity. Um really basically but yeah no travis definitely that is something that is incredibly appealing to me um but it's just a l lack of opportunity i guess um yeah that's the thing yeah yeah because uh poison um i uh but like if you get like a full-time uh job when you earn a certain amount of money surely they take you off it i don't know honestly i don't know um no you can c curse away poison i i was on uc for the past little bit until recently and they were like screw you buddy i was like screw you then screw you um but yeah i, I say i'm not into i'm not really uh, aware of how it all works um Uh, <laughs> poison if you're not feeling well i recommend um yeah you don't do that it's good to uh it's good to fast a little bit i i've been on 24 hour fasts for the past couple of months now and i feel probably better than i've ever felt for it um but don't uh go crazy so yes backing up to akuma's question i do but however, with uh, two-handed weapons, you have to two-hand the weapon to have the weapon skill. So, uh, of course, there's parry. I could try and parry this guy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull that off. Uh, or even if that's possible with this uh, with this guy. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I hope you're well, C-Star. Um... Yeah, hey, I'm not, I'm not against a bit of screamo, uh, Travis. And did you? Excellent. Yeah, I know you've been in bands uh, your whole life, haven't you? Um, but yeah, if they're, if they're being a pain in the ass, uh, uh, Poison, don't hold back. I'm not a fan of them. Um, a favourite metal vocalist? Oh, um, I am... It changes. Um... But uh, I guess I'm quite into uh, Tom Barber at the minute. Uh, go listen to Darko. Very much like what he's doing over there at the minute. Um, and uh, I'm also a fan of uh, CJ McCreary. I think he is very good. Um, There's a bit of controversy with him a couple of years ago. I, don't, I haven't looked into the details of it. Uh but they, they're my um, two go-to guys at the minute, Cobb. Uh, uh, the Who, as in a different Who from The Who. I have not heard of The Who. Uh, route. Do tag me in something on the Conflux and I'll have a little listen. Um, you have to see them weekly, uh, Poison. Oh, bud, I mean... Nightmare. Yeah, I was... Um, so. I was on um, essentially like self-employed this past year. 
this was in my employment uh they were okay with that um and they basically give you uh, a year they gave me a year to reach a minimum income floor which you know is a lot of money i wasn't going to reach that but i didn't really care and they were like well you've had your year now we want you to stop streaming i was like yeah but it's bringing money in they're like we don't care that it's bringing money in we want you to stop bringing money in and just uh and, and jump through our hoops we were doing i was just like thankfully with this you know various support i've just had to basically reduce down my rent to my brother i have a full intention of paying in the full amount in the future he's a pretty cool guy he's like whatever i don't really care um so i'm i'm very blessed in my position that i'm in poison that i get the support from my mum and my brother to like just kind of pursue my passion of streaming um but yeah i know what they're like they're absolute motherfuckers um um you overwhelmed are you sea star um no you you lurk away sea star i appreciate it if you ever if i can ever help with anything my dear if you just want to rant or vent at me uh someone to listen to i'm at your disposal sea star um restart mandatory to yeah that's what they said to me poison they said yeah if you continue to sign on you gotta quit you have to you're not you can't stream anymore i was like what the f you can't decide that <laughs> and uh we're sending i didn't say restart but like the work program thing where they're like you know you basically have to spend 40 hours a week uh in, in like basically an office environment doing computer shit and looking for jobs on the internet all been like kind of monitored and harassed and it's like i'm not of the me mental disposition to engage with that at the minute mythological metal traditional cultural instruments vocalism mix of metal ah, okay yeah yeah nothing's coming to mind but yeah kind of uh pagan metal right Uh, Devin Townsend. I've never listened to uh, Devin Townsend, but uh, I I know the name. Um, yeah, Travis. Uh, for those who don't know me, is a musical fiend. He uh, he's very much into all kind of music. Um, yeah, it's terrible. Poison. They don't give a shit. They're like, oh, you've got a child, and uh, you've got uh, some kind of special needs or disability. And you're the only carer for the young child. We don't care. Uh, here's the, here's the uh, meat grinder. Stuff yourself in there. And until we've got every drop of blood out of your body, it's not enough. Yeah, so I... Poison, I completely relate. I just... Um, I wish there's something I could do to help you. And like I say, I'm very um, blessed in uh, my own uh, situation. Uh, between the buried and me again, Travis. Not familiar, but uh, I do. I uh, I know the name. Um, <laughs> yeah, at least you, uh, at least with that poison, you like you are jumping through their hoops. They're like, here's a job you have to apply for. Okay, it's just I've been in that situation before, and. Uh, it's it's so soul destroying. I think they make it soul destroying on purpose because they just want you to get a job. But even if you have the best of interests, uh, best of intentions, it's not that easy. Obviously, it depends on like your experience and background and everything. My point is, subjecting people to hell is not the way. <laughs> uh, it's not the way to actually help them get a job. You know, um, yeah, poison, hundred percent. All I can uh, say is just hang in there. I know that doesn't, that's not practical advice, it doesn't help. Um, that's all you can do. But I do, I do commiserate because I do know that, what that feels like. Yeah, they pile on the stress. And I think they do it on purpose. I was just gonna see if I could ride this little thing. <laughs> I'm kind of glad they're friendly. Um, 
I don't think it's uh yeah, so my um That's uh that's our special there, isn't it? Parry. Uh the weapon skill for the shield. Um the weapon skill for this uh, uh, claymore is pretty amazing. Um but I'd have to quickly do one of those in combat, which I'm I'm not too confident about, honestly. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to give this guy a couple more goes just to get a vibe of him, but he's definitely way tougher than uh, the the previous dude and others we've uh, dealt with as well. Yeah, it's a bit of a re recovery... Uh, Oh, oh, uh, there's a bit of recovery, uh, time there for when I, uh, God, look at his hit point bar. I'm going to have to ch chunk away at him. Um, I'll give him a few more goes. Um, it, right. How many upper jails are there? We've come across three, but. The map is gigantic, so, I mean, there could be, like, a dozen or more in the game. Um, so, yeah, I wonder if, because this was the one, like, the first one you can stumble across, Cop, whether it's, like, this is the easy one. But uh, you're giving me, uh, <laughs> you're definitely uh, giving me some um, kind of uh, relief, uh, encouragement by telling me it's one of the harder ones, 9 or 12, something like that. Um, yeah, 100% poison, because that's kind of what I said to them. I wasn't doing a dick about it, but I was like, and I could understand poison if they were like, look, look, bro, you have to quit your streaming. You tried your streaming thing and it didn't, it didn't work out. Quit doing that and come get a job. But I'm literally making an, um, an amount of money. Now, is it enough money to pay my bills? No, not really. Not at the minute. Um, but it is an, an amount of money. They are liter they've literally told me to push that away. Say, ah, that's that. Nah, because that's not enough. I'm, but I'm like, it's some money. You want me to go, go push, put myself into your meat grinder program? You know and walk away from actual real money on the table eh, it's not enough fuck you I, I don't, you don't get to decide what is enough money <laughs> uh, um no yeah we're just um to, the, that universal credit that's the uh, benefit system over here at red mage um which poison's currently on and also mike is currently on even though mike is i don't know why he's on it he should be on a he's got a full-time job now but um Poison was just, you know, it seems to know a lot more about it than I do, and it's educating on it, and which I was also on until very recently, Red Mage, where they told me, eh, you can't be a streamer anymore. And I said, eh, eh. I wouldn't have been able to say that if I didn't have the support of my mum and my brother. Um, And then they're, they're not giving me free stuff, mind. They're just, uh, you know, basically my bro the main thing is my brother's reduced my rent, my monthly rent. Um, which he said, don't worry about it. In my mind, I'm keeping a tally. And I, my p eventual plan, be it 5, 10, 50 years in the future, I would pay him the back the total amount. But um, I don't know. The whole, the whole system is a joke. Honestly. And it seems like uh, Poison's dealt with it with more of their bullshit than even I have. But yeah, Mike's uh, apparently they're getting on the mic as well about something. Right, he's got a fucking job. What are we, uh, what are we doing here, kids? Ow! Ow! <laughs> no! Leave me alone, buddy! Yeah, I think we're going to, um... 
I think we're going to, uh, I think we're going to, um, leave the Crucible Knight for a minute. We'll come back to him. Um, there you go. C uh, Cage Wolf is on the Universal Credit as well. Um, yeah, excellent. Excellent, Wolf. There you go. That's something. Um, and I have, I have heard of people, you know, every, in different circumstances, but it's not like they take, they don't go out of their way uh to find anything out about you they assume they make assumptions about you and you have to really fight to get your point across like in uh wolf's example they wouldn't have gone oh hey hey there mr wolf uh, do you ha have any psychosis uh and make a note of that he would have had to argue that point go to the doctor get notes get this get that and constantly they force you to justify your own existence um Yeah, it's um, a f several. They introduced it several years ago. Uh, Red Mage, um, we used to have like uh, you know, uh, unemployment benefit, uh, childcare benefit, uh, disability allowance benefit. You know, whatever it would be, and then uh, for several years ago they rolled it into one thing called universal credit, which everybody is on that. Um, in essence, uh, unless you've got like. Full, unless you're full t full time employed and get a decent amount of money, in essence, everybody's on it. It's just depending on your circumstances, it depending on what they, what requirements they have of you. Uh, just a lot of people don't like it just because, um, you know, like uh, touch wood, or oh, you wolf. Uh, in Wolf's case, they're not getting on at him to be like, go on, wolf, get a job because of his personal situation. If Wolf were like based somewhere else in the country, lived somebody else in the country, they would probably they might deal with him completely differently and be like, "We don't give a shit, bro. Screw you." And if you don't conform to what they require of you, based on their very arbitrary decisions and very, uh, you know, about your personal situation and what their expectations of you, then uh, they don't give you money, uh, basically, which. Um, you know, and of course, the uh, the argument against that, of course, is the fact that people, um, you know, who are trying to commit fraud, you know. Uh, but from my experience, that's far and few between, you know. They try and make the system as unhelpful and as unpleasant and as uncomfortable as possible to deter the fraudsters but it's at the expense of the people who actually need the system there as a support mechanism to survive um but anyway i'm getting off a bit rantier uh <laughs> yes uh, no exactly of course akuma there has to be some kind of system there because it would be abused if there wasn't but it's um yeah it's, it's exactly welfare red mage yeah, yeah. um Um, exactly, U uh, UBI uh, route, which there's um, pros and cons for it. Generally speaking, I am in favour of it, but UBI kind of removes all the the, the entire welfare system because it doesn't you don't need welfare anymore when universal basic income exists um that's my understanding of it um but then everyone's equal because everyone gets the same amount now i don't know all the ins and outs some people say it's ridiculous and can't work by definition some people have said to me um it absolutely can work it's not a problem at all it should be implemented ethically speaking based on the uh the state of planet earth and humanity in the year 2022 taking all things into account we shall see we shall see um right i see poison right 
Yeah, yeah, like, ha your time's up. We're going to harass you. Yeah, I swear that's how they run it, from my experience with the system. In the UK, I don't know what it's like in other countries. They purposely make it as unpleasant and as uncomfortable, uh, as judgmental as possible, uh, with the veneer of bureaucracy and uh, politeness. Um, just to kind of put more pressure on you. I don't feel, in most people's in cases, that actually helps. If you actually want people to get in work, you need to give them the potential opportunity of a job that is actually worth doing. Um, but, yes, yeah, it's not built like that at the minute. Thank you for the lurk, Vince. Um, you get back to work, buddy. And thank you for the lurk. What a ledge. Anyone doesn't know Crate or Semvien there? Go check him out sometime. Say hello to him. A very dedicated streamer. Excellent, superb, wonderful young man who has excellent taste in video games. And it was always a pleasure to uh, talk to. Yeah, it's a problem, Red Mage. It's a problem. And it's not the, the, the fault of the people who work in that system because they themselves just need a job, don't they? They were just unlucky enough to fall into a line of work which is works for the government. Uh, which is never a, a great thing in my experience. <laughs> uh, and um, also it's bureaucratic nonsense where their job depends on other people not having a job. <laughs> and their job is to have a go at you for not having a job. But it's like, it's such a weird, weird environment. Um, yeah. Yeah, Poison. I'm, I've, I've been there. Uh, um... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the argument against it, Root, is, oh, if you give everyone free money, you'll get people just hanging around doing nothing, not contributing to society. You might get a bunch of people doing that. You might, but I don't think that's going to be the majority. I think there would be plenty of people who they would choose to engage in work because they actually wanted to. Uh, and then, you know, say I'll get, say if um, it was like $500, so very basic needs. You can sit on your ass and do nothing for $500. Or you could get $2,000 a month uh, because you have a job that pays you 1500 a month for doing something that you actually find worthwhile. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you're someone who's like, yo, I really want money. What I really want money is, you know, to, to them, they're just like, oh, 500 extra dollars a month. That's, uh, that's just the cherry on top of the cake. Um, <laughs> extra, $500 more for me. I'm still going to work every day. I still want to grind. I want to get that. I want to get that paper. Um, it would definitely be. I don't know. That's what. That's my thoughts on it. Root, not philosophically speaking. Not, not speaking uh, practically because I don't know how it would economically work. But yeah, there would be people who would be like, "Yay, I'm sitting my ass and do nothing." But I don't think that's the majority. Society's not going to just grind to a halt because of it. Most people, most the vast majority of people. I feel we're just carrying what they're doing and they've just got a bit more less pressure on their existence you know happier people happier society better functioning more efficient society happier species happier planet i don't know it seems like a good idea to me oh we could just make some more weapons and bombs and just bomb some people and and just, just kill some people and you know because the military is more important and the happiness of the species but anyway um yeah you don't yeah you could just go out into the wild couldn't you um akuma but even then you need some preparation let's start up. No, and what? And they weren't. Uh, they weren't going for it, poison. Um, there you go, Af. Fair enough. But here's the thing, Af. Uh, you might want to keep one. You would work two jobs a minute. You might want to keep one of those two jobs going just for the extra income. Or you might not. You're within your right. And you know, if you've been working your whole life sh doing shitty jobs, you hate. Haven't you paid your fucking debt? I don't know. I don't, apparently not. Anyway, sorry, I'm getting ranty up now.
Right. I'm. I think I'm gonna leave um, the <laughs> the Crucible Knight for a bit. We'll come back to him another day um, or later because uh, I feel he's whipped me around a little bit. Um, we could go try this guy out. Let's go try this old guy out down here. I did. We. I did try this guy once, like two or three times, and then I was like, oh no, he's just very murdery, um, and just like ran away. Uh, <laughs> um. He's kind of like, um, he's on his, like, he's cr like a crawling knight, uh, with bleed attacks. Um, but, uh, we're slightly lower level and uh, all the rest of it, so we'll, we'll give him a go for a moment. Uh, might not be doable. But let's go find out, yeah? Uh, and then if, uh, whether success or failure with this guy, then we'll, um, We'll move on. It's interesting that these two uh, do not require unlocking, whereas the other one, we, the guy we just beat, did require unlocking. Exactly. Just, you know, it's like, um, it just, it takes the pressure off you there. Uh, af, to my mind, that's the, that's the difference. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, the problem is our system is not great. Yeah, here we go. Darry will. He's uh, he uh, he very bleedy boy. Wow. Although he's, uh, he's arguably fairly squish. Look how, uh, I only hit him a few times. Yeah, he's half dead. Although I'm sure he's going to power up. It's turning invisible. Okay. Um, uh... Based on how much damage we're doing to him, I mean, he's sort of awkward as all hell, isn't he? Jumping around like that, but... <laughs> um... I don't know if to give him a go. As long as he doesn't stick his blood loss uh, debuff on me. Oh, have you, Travis? Excellent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now, is that full-time, Travis? Yeah, like, say if they, the government is like, yo, Travis, you and everybody else, $500. No, no, no strings attached, tax-free. There you go. Uh, Travis, my, excellent. That's $500 in my pocket. Um, so now he's like, well, I could reduce my... Uh, I could take... I could only work four days a week rather than five uh, to cover that cost so I enjoy my life more. Um, or even cut down to three days a week. Or just be like, screw it, I'm going to keep doing five days a week for the most part. And then I've just got an extra $500 in my pocket. I honestly believe that um, consumerism, and this is not talking about Travis, this is talking about a whole, cons the, the pull of consumerism is more, is stronger than the pull of uh, apathy, complacency, laziness. That's what I feel. I feel people are willing to put effort in to buy shit that they want. You know, uh, then, you know, I think for the most part, that's, you know, again, there are exceptions to this, but I think the whole, you know, the argument against UBI, because the whole of society would stop doing anything. I don't think that's true. I really, really don't think that's true. But uh, again, who knows? That could just be me. Yeah, look how squishy he is. I don't know if I'm going to hit him with any flame, though. OK. 
okay he uh he hurts a lot when he hits us but <laughs> okay i don't know why i'm messing around with the uh with the flame honestly i think for this guy that's uh not a thing i should be doing Yeah, if I uh, just make sure to like stay on top of this bro, not stay on top of him, but yeah, he's just um, he's very squishy. He is very squishy. Um, so I'm I'm feeling far more comfortable about this guy than uh, the bloody uh, Crucible Knight. Um, <clears throat> yeah, exactly, exactly, because there's the balance. You know, imagine if um, you had all the free time in the world, but, uh, you know, setting up your game room, Travis, you could never do that. Um, but, in, you know, m anything that required money, uh, music, going to a show, can't do that. Can't go out drinking. Uh, can't, can't, whatever you want to do, you can't do that anymore. Because all you, you know, you don't have to do anything. You've got all the time in the world. But you're actually, you know, everyone would have to find the balance for themselves uh, of where that is. And a lot of people enjoy their jobs. A lot of people work for themselves. A lot of people enjoy what they do. So, so to them, it's even more incentive. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how it would work, but I feel that... Okay. Don't... Let's not uh, go for double attacks, okay? <laughs> One attack as we get in there. One attack. Um... No, no, fair enough, Af. But if you had the UBI, you could just you. It would give you that potential opportunity that you could do that. So you know, it gives it gives everyone more flexibility uh, of the work-life balance. Uh, we'd ha all have more range of option about how to go about it that's just my feeling i don't know if it would work um exactly exactly travis yeah you could uh balance out you know because i'm sure sorting your drones out but the, the you know the uh, components and tools and materials you need to do that cost money but you could have all the money in the world, but if you have no free time to actually build them and maintain them and use them, it's no, it's no good, is it? It doesn't matter, but I don't know. Okay, I, when I said $500, AF, I was pulling that number out my bum hole. I, 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 it wasn't... Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It could be more. It could be a thousand. I don't know what it would be. That was uh, unfortunate. Okay, maybe I could use uh, guard counters on this guy. Yeah, 5k. 5k a month. I don't know. I don't know what's uh, appropriate. What would be... You know. So it can't be a crazy amount. But it's it, the idea is, is to cover basic needs. So I, I understand for the individual, it's supposed to cover um, your rent, uh, you know, groceries, utility bills, it, healthcare, if you live in a country that you have to freaking pay for healthcare. Um, general running of, uh, you know, a vehicle uh, for, you know, for whatever. That seems reasonable. Um, 
you know, and it's not like, oh, well, I, my, my rent's more, you know, it's, it's the same for everybody. It's, you, you know, you don't, if you live in a more expensive place, that's on you. This is supposed to be the most rent for the most basic of basic uh, accommodations. Um, so I don't know what the amount would be, but, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, Red Mage, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, but you know, yeah, five hundred dollars. I was just pulling a number out of nowhere. I don't know what the number would be. Ah. Okay, that was unfortunate. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, I want to let this blood loss uh, drop down. Terrible timing. I don't know why I did that at all. Yeah, yeah, and that's the idea, uh, Travis. Things like um, this should, this, the idea is to eliminate homelessness because those homeless people, um, you know, it could be an issue if they've got a drug problem. Um, maybe there could be uh, a system set up for to determine certain individuals who were not um, responsible with their own money, which, you know, society shouldn't do, but there are certain people who are not, for better or worse. I guess for worse, obviously not better. Um, you know, maybe it's a, for some individuals, it may be just a case of providing them with a home providing or a place to live providing them with food that's it you don't get any money but you do you do have a place to live and here's your food um you know but i don't i don't know i don't know i don't have the answers um Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be fine, wouldn't it, Red, uh, Travis? I mean, I feel that if you just... <sighs> so someone just had a... You know, if you've got a roof over your head, very basic uh, clothing, very basic food, nothing extravagant, no luxuries at all, um, uh, clean water to drink and to wash yourself, and to wash your clothing uh and uh central heating or possibly even uh air conditioning uh depending on where you live in the world out of electricity in your house and you know oh come, well, come on we're in the year 2022 let's give everybody free decent internet that's what you the ubi should cover nothing more than that if you want to eat nice food uh if you want to buy a video games if you want to uh go out if you want alcohol if you want drugs if you uh want to go on vacation if you want to go traveling if you want to buy any luxury product on the internet you've got to work for it ubi doesn't cover that it just covers your basic needs but it takes the pressure off of you and uh, stops people being homeless and shit, you know? Is that too much to ask? I don't feel it is. And here's the thing. We could literally achieve that as a species if we work together. If we were one team, one single team, human humanity. Unfortunately, we're not. Um, that's the, that's the, uh, that's the, uh, that's the difficulty of it. The fact that it is, te in a technical sense... It is achievable. But anyway. Darrow will. I'm sorry we uh, we have to fight. 
I'm sorry, you seem like a cool guy. You seem like a cool guy, buddy. I'm sorry, we were uh, fighting. Okay. Watch out for his uh, combos there. Uh-oh. 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 I need something to uh, reduce my blood build up. How, how high he... Uh... the blood build up either <laughs> yeah it's no good to uh, give one if you got to take one No good. Oh dear. Oh, oh. I'm not giving up on this guy yet. I think he's far more uh, doable than the Crucible Knight. Yeah, I, f I feel the internet is. Uh, not just for entertainment. It's just you connected with the rest of the world. It, you know, all the information is there. All the research, all the education is there. I feel I consider the internet, internet access to be uh, a utility. Uh, equivalent to electricity or running water um myself yeah yeah because you know you look at um homeless junkies they don't want to be doing that they just fell into that situation through a terrible terrible circumstance and maybe some bad decisions maybe some bad luck um but they don't actually want to do that. They are just look, trying to escape reality because reality is so shit. If you make reality good, then they don't want to do that because they've got a reason not to do that, right? That's that's my thoughts on it. <laughs> I wonder if I could uh, stagger him. Ah, oh, that's a three hit. That's terrible. I feel like I should be able to get this guy. Yeah, just make make reality good. And that's what... I guess that's the frustration for me, Travis. It's not that... Um, you know, if it was not... If it was just like an impossible dream that is not technically possible, if I was like, hey, everybody should be able to teleport. Yeah? It's like, well, that doesn't exist yet, is so you're just being silly. What I'm asking for is technically possible. To say that there is no money for it is not true. Uh, and even the, the money, uh, putting those, you know, aside the money, in a physical, physics-based, you know, reality, it is technically possible. And the, then you drop on the money side of things. There is technically money, even within the capitalist system. But it would obviously need, you know, the ultra elite wealthiest of society to step up 
and be like we will we will be the martyrs we will we will be the heroes of humanity but of course you know a system like that doesn't uh lend itself to doing that oh, that's a two hit i need to uh three hit there we go oh he almost got me there need to time the, i can do the uh the counters i just need to uh be careful of watching his combos that's the only thing That's three hit there. Technically four. Okay, that works. We're about to be bled out though. That's a problem. It's half dead. Do you see what I'm saying? Like I sh There's no reason I shouldn't be able to beat this guy. Oh, that's very unfortunate there. Slightly out of range for that. Let's get out of the freaking tree, shall we? Let's <laughs> see, that's uh, helpful. Oh, that's uh, unfortunate. So that was more on me there. Clumsy as all hell. Oh, okay. Extra chunk attack there. That's unfortunate. Um. <laughs> um yeah that that switch hit he seemed to do there seemed to um go right through my shield um okay i've got my jump attack on there i don't know if to um if i go for a uh, Ah, that puts us on a heavy load. Uh, if we'll do that. Enhanced jump attacks or enhanced uh, counters. I'm not sure. <sighs> Which is... Um, I sh if, I, if I hit this right, if I learn the fight properly, I should be able to hit him with counters. But part of me feels I should just be being more aggressive and trying to land, land those... Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, those jump attacks. But who can say? Wow, that was not even not a good open to the fight, was Terrible. 
It's nice to have a counter, but if you can't land it. There we go. That's nice. time in there. At least he kind of uh, backs off a little bit and gives you time to uh, time to recover somewhat. There we go. Nice. That was his four hit and you can count on the third. You've got to be quick on that dodge, though. Oh! That's not good. I threw myself off trying to crouch down, though. One heal. We've got a bit of blood loss build. That's going down. Okay, I've got to hit him three more times, maybe. Oh, I mean, seriously. <laughs> Freaking awful. Nightmarish. And it's do or die. <laughs> I mean, okay, I'll take that. Uh, Bloodhound's Fang. Just what I wanted. Damn. Thank you, cop. Thank you. Um, Tricky, tricky boss. Uh, his weakness is the fact that he's very squish, and he's not all over you. He's uh, a bit... He's got a, a tricky movement pattern, but he gives you... He does give you breathing room, which I like. And as opposed to the Crucible Knight, he was chonk as fuck, and he's just like, I am walking forward, and I am attacking you constantly. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm pleased about that. Um, Cool. So we've got pitiful amount of uh, <laughs> 1900 runes that's that's like half a level um it's neither here nor there uh but we did get his sword the, a great sword curved great sword the blood the fang a bloodhound's fang let's have a look uh curved great sword of a gently undulating blade wielded by bloodhound knights fearsome uh, blade capable of brutal airborne attacks a unique skill the bloodhound's finesse slash upwards with the uh, bloodhound's fang use the momentum of the strike to perform a backward somersault and gain some distance from foes uh, okay so it's a an uppercut jump backwards the follow up with a strong attack to perform the bloodhound's uh, back step okay so special and uh, okay so what about the stats we um it's okay, it weighs 11.5, but we have the stats to use it, and it has a blood buildup on it as well. Jesus Christ. Um, 9 point... Okay, so it's 1.5... Sorry, it's 2.5 heavier than the Claymore. Damn. Uh... 
Okay. So it's uh, less stabby than the uh, Claymore. But let me uh, try out the ability of it. I mean, that's pretty freaking cool, isn't it? <laughs> and it's, yeah, and it's got blood loss on it as well. I, f I feel that... Should we give it a go? Should we try it out? Um, let me just quickly equip my... Uh... Right, that's going to put uh, stress on our heavy load there. Uh, so it is heavier. Uh, how does it compare to the other... Uh, the Omen's Cleaver, which was iron up. Um... In fact, it's got blood loss on it as well. Let's um, let's rock it for a bit. Let's see how we how we get on with it. Damn, yeah, I'm glad we uh, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know how how good it's gonna be. Um, okay, God, we've, we've just been fighting bosses all day, haven't we? Well, we no, we, I mean we're not all day. We explored the rest of down here, so that's something. Um. Yeah, let's uh, quickly uh, go back and spend those souls. I'm sure there's something I need to buy. Souls. Runes. You know what I'm saying. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Red Mage, for the clip there. I thought I, I swore I had to hit him two more times. Obviously, I didn't. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, the Bloodhound Gang would definitely, obviously, seemingly use this blade of, of choice. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so I need the Scimitar or Dagger. I guess we'll just get the long sword. So what else do I need? So I need the Knight's Helm, this other, the Host Trick Mirror. Uh, the rapier, uh, and then I don't. I think the rune arts can just stay. We're spending four thousand on those. Seems like a waste. Not a waste, but at this juncture in the game. Uh, and the cipher rings. I assume they're just one. They're one offs. I assume. But that'll do for now. Okay. Uh, that coffee's gone right through me, guys. So I need to uh, step out. But then we've still got like a, oh, an hour and 20 minutes. Gosh, it's flame boy. Uh, we're going to start heading north uh, from the, in this direction. Um, the Crucible Knight can wait. We'll come back to him later. He's not going anywhere. Like, he's literally not going anywhere. He's going to just stay there. <laughs> as long as we kill him before the end of the game, then we're, we're all good. But yeah, we've made um, progress in, for me, at least in this game, is slow but methodical. We're getting there. Um, yeah, it's time to start heading north. We killed a couple of bosses. Two bosses, that will do. I'm happy with that. One new one and one that we'd already seen. And got a fancy new sword out of it. Let right, me sit there for a minute. Oh, one minute, I'll be right back, guys.
die poison on back. Sorry, I was a literate. I was gonna spring a leak. You don't want that, do you? Nobody wants to see that. I, I, I certainly don't. Right, we've got one hour, twenty minutes, guys. Uh, let's just, how, how you doing, Bok? He's like, let me. Be, the seamster, at your service. He wants to be our tailor. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. I, I still think that yeah, he's all he's got is the commoner's garb, <laughs> and and the simple commoner's garb to alter for us to uh make the stats worse basically i don't so unless that's just those two Going so soon, please yeah do... i will be safe don't worry uh so um unless it's just the commoner's garb but seemingly no other armor or clothing we have he he can alter um so i guess it's only very specific types and um <clears throat> All it seems to do is he reduces the weight of it, which is good, but it's at the expense of uh, all of its stats. So, which uh, that's obviously not good. So, and <laughs> we'll, we'll see. I'm sure there's there'll be a reason for it. Right. Okay. So, looks like we're heading this direction. In fact, we should. Head pretty much uh, directly northwest. That will send us to the uh, somewhere along there. That should send us to pick up a map. So um, let's go. This way. Okay, we've got a little graveyard here. Okay, got some undead waking up. Uh, just curious. This graveyard seems like the place there would be uh, items hanging around. No, I don't just uh, not just uh, materials to pick up. Whoa, whoa, whoa! seem to be it seems to be just those uh three three bros i'm gonna start a little fight um probably horse it i think um yes i oh know it's terrible 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 when he's slacking um let yeah, stop dying. That's <laughs> poison. That's all I know how to do. It's the game of death we're playing. It's the only anything I'm uh, any good at. Uh, can I? I'll probably go around, but I reckon I can get up here. There we go. Fudge my way up here, so to speak. Yeah, we've not been up on this little plateau here. I see an item there. Yeah, we've got this mysterious place over here in the distance. Which is this island here in structure. No idea how to get over there. Unless there's like an upgrade for the horse like late into the game where you can basically fly. I think you'd like that, wouldn't you, Torrent? I think you would. But, um... I think that's, uh... Not going to be from a, a, a minute or so. Let me get hit. Oh, oh, got something over here. Whoa. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Whoa. Oh, damn. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, these skellies are chunk. Chunk skelly. 
Well, can I uh, backstab them, maybe? Yeah. Oh, they're so chunky. Maybe it's just that one. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, definitely something up there. Maybe I can um, just ride in and... Uh, yeah, proper chonk skelly. Skellies are not supposed to be a uh, chonk, are they? Not really. <laughs> For the most part. <laughs> For the most part. Uh, slight of game. How are you doing there, sir? Are you well? Um, I hope you're. I hope you're doing. I hope you're doing good, buddy. What's going on? Uh, we lost weight. Yeah, we're. The more times you die, it's um, it's good for you. Uh. Is that is that the reason, Slight? Is that? <laughs> I'll see what you did there. Yeah, skeletons. <laughs> Come on up. Um, my God, poison! You're not even. I mean, bro, it's. I don't even want to think. According to Cop, we're probably like maybe like ten percent into the game. <laughs> so if you times like two hundred by ten, you know. We're looking at it, right? Yeah. Okay, let's just get up here, get the item, and get out. We're not going to deal with the skellies, not really. Oh, we'll just die instead. Okay, that's our. Uh... <sighs> it's like a thousand runes we just lost there. Never mind. Um. <laughs> ah. Slight. That's uh, that's one of your many wonderful features, uh, sir. It's that you uh, you can look at the humorous things in life. Something hasn't got to be like massively clever or special to be funny, but the ability to um, find amusement in all things. Um, whether you know, whether it's sardonic or you know, whatever you know, whether it's like however bad it is like even if you don't feel well you know see the funny side of it whatever it is you're losing at life whatever's going on just uh try and uh try and find some amusement in the thing okay i don't really mean to wake him up but tough titty eh oh f oh fuck my life <laughs> and i made it look so easy the first time I swear to God. Uh, there's something up there. We've got to get up there. Thank God. Does the horse fly at some point, cop? <laughs> I hope it does. I hope it does. Um, yeah, we're finding out, Red Mage. That's that's what this game is really about. It's just, if you know, you want to find out, we just fuck around. <laughs> oh, my God. Torrance, like, what are you even doing? He's, he's like, I'm really stuck with you. You're really the best the Tarnished have to offer. <laughs> You're really the one who's going to become the Elden Lord. I don't believe it. Torrance, like, I don't... I don't believe you. Right, is there any way, other way up to this little thing here? I don't think there is. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try and look from the other direction first before I commit to try and three D horse souls platforming. Let me help, yeah, let me have a look up here. Okay, let's just go around this way, shall we? <laughs> Sorry, sometimes things are difficult for me. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the way. Do you know the way? When they say that to me, the answer is no. A, w a warming stone. That's what it was all about, folks. It was very important to have a warming stone. Because it's, you know, cold cold nights we've got at the minute. Anyway. Holy hell. Right, okay. Now we want to head down to the, the valley, don't we? But not a... Uh, valley? Ravine? Yeah, it's not a... Uh, it's too small to be a valley, isn't it? Ravine. To so get on our way. 
Stop messing around. <laughs> Platforming and skellies. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, not really. It like, even uh, without any direction, he take you know. You're going forward like six feet at least. Um, my God, I'm always. What if a game we play? If there's a horse, the horse. <laughs> I don't treat the horses nice. The poor horses in uh, Red Dead 2. My God. Um. <laughs> uh, my God. What, what have we got here? What's going on here? We've got some kind of settlement of undead, no doubt. Okay, let's sneak in and murder them. Oh, different soldiers, aren't they? Oh, my God. Of course. Of course. I should have. I should have seen that. Why did I? Why did I think that was not going to be a thing? Okay, there we go. Um. So I guess these are soldiers of the the kingdom over where we're heading towards, because uh, these are chunkier than Godric soldiers. got some uh, decent poise damage on it though even more so than the um oh, this this guy over here is like oh did i hit or something Nah, i'm sure i didn't <laughs> um yeah very nice uh poise damage cuckoo circa Okay, so a coat. All right, so not a. Uh... So these guys work for the cuckoo, which doesn't, which in itself sounds a bit sus. Let's have a look. Okay, um, equivalent. Let's see what he tells about. There you go. Armor worn by Rhea, uh, sorry, Rhea Lucaria Academy soldiers. Right, this is the soldiers of the Majors Academy. The circuit depicts twinned cuckoos peering into a flourishing mass of glintstone. Uh, to a glintstone sorcerer, the body is a transient thing. The cuckoo alone knows its insignificance, yet watches over it all the same. Uh, okay. Uh, in terms of stats, it is uh, basically equivalent to the tree and beast circo. Um, some of its stats are slightly better, like magic resist, obviously, as one would expect. Um, um, otherwise, they're kind of very similar. Um, so I guess we won't. We'll stick with our knight's armor for now, at the time being, at least. Right, smoldering butterflies. I mean, let's go with the other 500 that we have. Um, it might poison. I mean, ugh, the horses got a bad time of it in uh, Red Dead. I don't even mean to. Oh, Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. So look at this. Be under our key items, isn't it? Uh, record of crafting techniques left by glintstone craftsmen who served the academy. Contains inf information on a faux sorcery, such as they were called. Uh, quite the knowledge craft following. Cuckoo glintstone. So these are essentially crafting... Um, Yeah, one crystal bud and one cracked crystal. 
uses FP to produce a magic bolt. So it's um, it's like a spell in in an item. Uh, so you're not actually he still uses FP, but you don't need to necessarily equip an item. Okay. I don't even have many of those crafting materials anyway, but it's good to know. It's good to know these things. Okay, so. Okay, I want to try and angle directly north. Although we seem to be on quite a, a one-way kind of area. We've got cliffs off of that side. Not really anywhere to go. Um, a bit of a lake. Now, the last lake we came across uh, seemed to be home to a dragon. Oh, okay. We've got some grace over here. So, I, I, I hope that was a one-off and it's not uh, the standard thing for uh, the dragons to hang out in lakes, but we shall see. Um... Yeah, poison. The one thing about this game is um, so the enemies can be a little bit dozy, particularly when you're sneaking. Um, you can get like quite close to them, and sometimes their buddies won't hear the sounds of combat when they're kind of near. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or just an oversight of making the game, but I do take advantage of it whenever I can. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <Apple -y. laughs> well, we found some grace and oh hello oh we got merchant hey bro you're new around here i am surprised you found me in my little nook no matter no matter your money's as good as anyone else's why don't you Take a look at my wares. Okay. Oh, but don't ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? No, of course. No judgment here. Uh, okay, we can sell some stuff to this guy, probably. I'm, I'm sure we'll have... We must have some things that we've got too much of. Yeah, exile greaves. Okay. Okay, that's all fine. I was supposed to check out the Knight's Gauntlets, wasn't I? I feel the Banished Knight's Gauntlets are, in fact, significantly better. Cool. Okay. Um. I think that might be it, though. Let's got any spare weapons. I don't think we did. No, okay. Let's see what he's got for sale. A lantern attached to waste to illuminate surroundings. A small waste-worn lantern that illuminates surroundings. Uh, use once to turn on and again to turn off. Okay. Better than a torch, because that's taken up a hand. While its light is dimmer than that of a torch, it has the advantage of freeing up the user's hands. Nice. Okay, well, I guess that's a... You know, a consumable that lasts forever. So, I guess we would definitely want those. Wow, and this guy's got a few smithing stones for sale. Nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. Five little ones uh, and three uh, tier twos. He's got the Nomadic Cookbooks uh, number 11 to craft crystal darts, spellproof dried liver, and shatter shard arrows. Obviously, we want that. Uh, he's got an S stock. Nice. Um, okay. I don't need a crazy amount. Yeah. It's a. Uh, I thought an S stock was um, was like a two hander, but um, maybe it is two hander. But it's an impaling thrusting sword, not too heavy. Yeah, large piercing sword with a long, hard bladed edge, which is also capable of slashing attacks. For its large size, size, it can be wielded rather nimbly, leaving little opportunity for the enemy to counter. Skill in pain and thrust. Uh, let's piercing armaments overcome enemy shields. Uh, stamp right through a shield. Probably for less damage, but... 
What else we got? Uh, astrologer's staff. That's a new, a new and improved, presumably, glint stone staff. We have to have 16 intelligence to use it. I bet it's better than the basic one we've got, but... Well, I'll put a few levels into in. Uh, arrows and bolt for sale. Kite shield. Uh, this is the second shield we have found with 100% um, uh, physical damage negation. I wonder how that... It looks cooler than our heater shield, but I wonder what its other stats are like. Uh, okay, and we've got the astrologer's hood. Um, hood fashioned from supple cloth. Well, let's look to the cosmos above. Indeed. They're, they read fate in the stars, said to be heirs of the glintstone sorceries. But alas, the night sky no longer cradles fate. The night sky doesn't exist anymore because of the uh, the golden majig everywhere. Uh, and then we've got the full set. Uh, tempted to buy it all. Honestly, just uh, just costs. Um... Let's, uh, let's buy the new shield. And then we'll, uh, I want to buy, like I say, I want to, for the sake of the collection, I'll buy all of his stuff. But, um, so let's have a look. Um, that's what it says about it. Medium-sized, uh, metal shield. Doesn't really say too much else about it. Okay, so, uh... Okay, so it's a slight improvement, but it is at the cost of an extra point of weight. Uh, the physicals are still there, but the other resistances. Guard boost, 51, up from 49. I think guard boost is... Um, the higher that number is, the less stamina you use when you block, I think. So it's definitely a definite improvement, but I need to seriously put some points into our... Uh, our endurance and get our uh, equip load up if I want to carry on as I am. God damn it. Okay, we'll come back to this bro later. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your help. Hopefully he is there later. Okay, let's get into a bit of a swampy area here. I'll get to this map first before we start trying to... Oh! Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! I'll see what you did there. There we go. Freaky undead guys. Yeah, there's lots of little nooks and crannies around here, so I should really make a point of uh, doing the best I can to explore around here. I want to try and get that map first, though. Okay. There. Okay, this uh, sword uh, seems pretty good. Very comparable to the uh, Claymore, but it's got slightly different... Uh, I don't know if it swings quicker. I don't know if that's just my imagination. There we go. Map found. An area east. Leonia, rather. Oh my, oh my god. Yeah, because we got tellied up there, didn't we? 
the size of this world. Um, lantern is the best. I'm going to get that lantern. Don't you worry about that, cop. Right, okay. So here we go. Here's our little buddy and our rest point. We're in a swamp lake. Uh, looks like there's ground there to the north. A tower or something there with a bridge. Um, and so there's ground, high ground on the uh, the left here. Um, all sorts of things uh, to the north. So I've got another big tree. Little hole there. Little hole there. Um, bit of a forested bit. Okay. So I think I'm, I'm need to just kind of. Um, I didn't see a way to even get up there. Necessarily. I think I need to just keep heading north. There's got to be another map somewhere over in this to uncover the rest of the. Uh, the rest of the area hasn't there I'm not sure of it let's just uh, vaguely walk in this direction oh 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 what the hell oh okay that's uh that's just death doing that <laughs> watch out for that uh, my god, yeah, right, the map is, um, it's a whole thing. I mean, I could just, like, ride around um, and get through all this mess, I guess. I mean, maybe we should, just to try and... Uh... Oh, did I not get my freaking runes, though? I don't think I had many, did I? Oh. Another horse, bro. There we go. <laughs> it's all good. Didn't really see me. Cool. Glintstone Craftsman's Cookbook number two. That allows us to... A freezing grease. Ah, you put ice on your blade. Excellent. Okay, it seems to be directing us in this direction anyway. Laskyar Ruins. Okay. Hey. I'll last you something in a minute. That's right. That's, that's beyond terrible. Um. The problem with this area is it all kind of looks the same, doesn't it? I find it. I just find it will be um much easier for me to uh 
find my uh kind of properly explore this area while um Oh, that's a big crystal. A crystal enemy, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, crystal snails. Oh. Crystal uh, vomiting s crystal snails. Wow, cool. <laughs> okay, int very interesting. We're coming back and check that out later. Wow, we've got some weird cultist types here. Wow, chunky. Chunky boy. Alright. See you later, friend. We're not really friends. Maybe that's why he's angry. <laughs> Where am I going? so much of this game. Right, okay, we're into the uh, unknown now. Not seen a, a marker just yet. So I probably want to head north and west as much as possible. Some poison ground. God, this swamp is huge. It's going to take a long time to uh, thoroughly check around this whole thing. Land octopus. I need to add some skills. <laughs> Alright, come with smith and stones. Alright, where's this put us? Right, okay, still not uh, the little marker for the ma another map yet. Okay, I'm going to just turn directly north and just go for it. I mean, said, I'm making assumptions that we're at the edge of the map, aren't I? Uh, these uh, dead bodies don't look so dead. So let me just turn west for a minute. Dry land for a sec. Okay, we are at the edge of the uh, the lands now. Okay, got a little cave around here somewhere, have we? Okay, good to know. Um, to be fair, the map could be to the south, honestly. Um, if this is like a little dungeon, maybe we should go check this out. Sec, yeah. There we go. We can bounce. 
sorry, yeah, I was so, uh, I didn't want to let the, uh, the bug get away. Well, I think we got him. A new Ash of War? Was it? What's that one? Is it? Mighty Shot? No. Not Storm Call or Storm Stomp. Sword Dance? I think it must be that Sword Dance we just picked up, yeah. Uh, use one on swords, axes, pole arms, capable of slashing. Uh, sword dance. Keen. What does sword dance do? Uh, quickly clo close in to perform a series of spinning upward slashes, followed up with additional input to finish with a downward slash. Okay, sounds cool. I'll worry about it in a minute. Mm. Yeah, 100% cop. It's, uh, it's tricky. Oh, and here we go. Thankfully, uh, the chunky blade is uh, definitely helping in that regard. All right, 45 minutes. Okay, let's maybe we'll just uh, head into this cave and see if we can do this or at least have a look at this. Um, and then that will probably do us for today. Um, which is, uh, you know, not a great amount of progress, but some progress. I suppose tomorrow we'd just come back in. Uh, to get a better idea of where we're going, I really would like to find the next section of map for this, where we are, this bit, or maybe further north. I wonder if that, I wonder if that is the complete extent of the map we're at now, like the sides of it. I don't know, I do wonder. Uh, we shall see though. Uh, but, um, that'll give me a better idea of where I feel like I am supposed to be going. Uh, Ah, the finger reader crone is there. That could be a clue. But um, the academy, I'm not really, really sure where, where or what it is at the minute. Um, let's not worry about it. We're going to do a little uh, exploration in here. And yes, we definitely need that lantern at some point soon, cop. <laughs> We do indeed. Maps always locate along roads, are they? Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, back to imps, are we? These ones are a little bit chonk, though. That's fine. I expect them to get easier as we go along. Of course, imps will hang on the ceiling and hang on walls, so I need to... Well, they should be able to still uh, target them. See, they love hiding around the corners, ready to jump out on you. All right, here we go. So we've got summoning point. Ew, is that poison down there? somewhere a heavy door has opened. Okay, this is a bit different, isn't it? You open the door first. And then, uh... Then finding your way to it. I suppose the other little 
onto these caves we've done is so you find the door and then you have to find the switch and backtrack. Okay, this isn't like poison, it's just foliage. Okay. And this is a reason to not have that door open. We shall see. Cool. The grave glove wall. This is what allows us to upgrade our spirits. You wanna, wanna come down here, buddy? Nice uh, poise damage. They are uh, tough, though. A decent amount of hit points. Okay, let me grab that flower. So, yeah, we might be able to... Uh, the wolves are at plus two now. Those flowers there might even be enough to get um, the wolf to plus three. Um... In this game, it wouldn't surprise me, Rue, if they just popped it out. Just pull a lever and just fall down a trapdoor. Yeah. I mean, we've not seen that specifically yet, but... We have, uh... I have seen treasure that I've ran across a cave to and the fall floor's fallen out underneath us. <laughs> Which, uh, was kind of quite scary. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'll see. I'll see. It's like that. Ow. Got an arrow stuck in my arm. I feel like there's one in here, like, wandering around behind us. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think, I mean, I believe the enemy AI would not, uh... Oh. Ah, that's our very first secret door we found. Where you, it's an, sorry, secret, illusionary door. That's uh, very new and different. Oops. Oh, jeez. So I wonder where the actual doorway for the switch seems kind of pointless having it huh? the uh, wall a little bit as I hit him there. Um, empty rooms. Yeah, yeah, you see a room and there's nothing there. You're like... You expect there to be something there. That's what it feels like. Oh, this. This is all sus as hell. Okay, let's go for it. Oh! Rhea Lucaria Soldier Ashes. New ashes here. Yeah? Okay, that was far more straightforward than I thought it would be. Um, three, use the summon the spirits of three Rhea Lucaria Soldiers. A trio of spirits consisting of two disposable foot soldiers and their superior. 
A soldier of rare Lucaria were known as the Cuckoos. They were given free reign by the Academy to wage war as they pleased. They were for infamous for their rap rapacious ways. My god, um, that doesn't sound good. Uh, I still probably like our wolves better. How much FP are they? Are slightly more, 59 over 55. Um, very well. Okay, I was expecting a, a mini boss and also kind of more to the dungeon. I wonder where the actual door was that we uh we opened. That in itself seems sus. And we've got the fact that we can also uh summon something here. Let me uh, just try something. Okay, no. This is a one and done switch. I don't know. That seems uh, very incredibly simple. The most simple mini dungeon we've seen so far in the game. Slightly, uh, slightly confused, honestly. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, cop, right? Just giving us the ashes there, right? Is, yeah. It's got to be. There's got to be something, right? Let's have another little look. The... Okay, so whatever the switch did or did not do, I can't undo it. Okay. Should we uh, check in some of the walls, possibly? It's just, it's not even obvious to me what... It said a, a heavy door opened somewhere, but... Uh... There we go, it's like that. Smithing stone. Uh, th third tier smithing stone. Nice. That's what the uh, number in brackets is, isn't it? I believe. Okay. So I need to go and check all of these walls, really, basically. So that's the uh, second secret wall we found. Oh, a rune arc. Well, la di da. I know. Mean, to be fair, that might this might be the extent of what we're we, we're looking for, and this is all we needed. <laughs> but um, oops. let's keep looking this way first, then. Root resin. Do you know? It just keeps going. Yeah, we definitely need that lantern, cop. I know it's, it's not as effective as a torch, but it frees up our hands. And now I can unequip the torch. I think the torch is taking up three points of weight for crying out loud, you know. And I assume the the the, uh, the lantern, being a, a usable item, doesn't take up any weight. Here we go. Let's 
Okay, and there we go. That's uh, Marika's statue there. If we die, we don't have to walk through the whole dungeon. Well, it was even that far, honestly. So I don't really know what the mass massive problem is, but... Um... Okay, we've got six heals. We've got our little wolves. We've got some flame if we need it. I guess we just dive in and give it a go. We've got nothing to lose, have we? There we go. No, it's not. I like the uh, I like the special attack on it, Cobb. Look, the flamethrower. That's cool. But it's not. We need to get rid of it. Um, I'll, tr I'll prioritize getting that lantern. Yeah, I thought it'd have to be a boss. Spirit caller snail. Oh, he's calling some pet snails, is he? What if we can back attack him? Oh. He doesn't... Oh, wait a minute. This isn't the proper boss. No, it's how his hit points are not going down. He's got his own separate normal boss, uh, normal enemy hit point bar. Oh, whoa, whoa, that didn't seem good, did it? There's got to be something in the room. I guess we just, ki I'll just kill him first and... I'll just walk into his, uh... Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Unless you have to kill him first and then something happens. I've got a weird vibe. Maybe he's just going to, like, come back to life. And there's actually something hidden in the room we have to attack. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is true. Uh. Yeah. Because it said there was, uh. Sp yeah. S spirit. S uh, snail spirit caller. Well, that guy's a spirit who we're fighting, right? So that means there must be, uh. The actual boss is a little snail somewhere in the room. <laughs> Let me uh, just get in there and call the wolves and have a run around. They can keep him busy for a minute, maybe. There we go. Screw you, buddy. Okay, now the question is... Do you appear where the little light is? Oh. <laughs> right, we're on to something at least. Yeah, you see that little snail? <laughs> I wonder what happens when he... If we kill the boss, does... Is the spirit he's called... Just the snail just call him again. It was uh, larger than I thought it was going to be. But it's also invisible. Um, interesting. Well, I know, assuming he so because there's a light there. So I assume we've got to look for wherever the light is. Now, of course, the problem is going to be... Um... Staying away from the big boy while, uh... While I'm... Oh my god. While I'm, uh, dealing with the snail. Okay, I've got the idea. He's over there now. There we go. Okay. Glintstone Sorcerer Ashes. Well, that was all very straightforward. 
I just, I just, I'm sure I'd seen things like that in the other Souls uh, series. I don't even know what would have happened had we uh, killed that guy. I was like, hang, we started attacking. I was like, hang on, why's he got a separate, why's he got a normal enemy health bar? And then as we were doing damage to him, I was like, okay, we're not doing any damage to the boss. And then I looked at the name, I was like, Spirit Caller Snail. I was like, this guy's not a freaking snail, is he? He's, whatever he was, he was not a snail. <laughs> right? <laughs> so there's got to be something around here. And then I was like, okay, there's a little light on the ground. And there was, wrecked that snail, teleporting invisible snail. He got wrecked, didn't he? Well, there we go. We've got no, yet another ash. Uh, which is, I guess is good. Glint, yes. Uh, summons a glintstone sorcerer spirit. Um... Spirit of Aurea Lucaria Sorcerer wearing a stone crown. A scholar of the o Olivinus. Oli Olivinus? Olivinus. Uh, Conspectus. Olivinus Conspectus. Who has mastered the use of the Glintstone Stars Sorcery. Uh, he's 49. So, yeah. Gonna be way better of a spellcaster than our noble sorcerer Ash. He's an actual Glintstone Sorcerer. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, so I guess that's it. I guess that's the dungeon done, right? Okay, that was a nice little fun dungeon. I'm uh, pretty happy with that. <laughs> yeah, snail knights waging holy war. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, hang on. I was like, this is he's not a snail. <laughs> Unless it's... <laughs> yeah, a knight is not a snail. I know, we, I know this is Elden Ring, and anything is anything that he wants to be, but I was like, that guy's not a snail, is he? <laughs> it's got to be... Okay, cool. I like that. I like that they um, did the old switcheroo there. I'm sure in Souls games there's been similar things that have uh, come to pass. So, um, the first things first, let's go back to this guy by the lantern. That is... Uh, was he there? No, he's here. Um, I feel that's definitely a very important thing for us to get. Um, so we'll do uh, we'll do that off the bat. Um, oh, cool. We've sorted about twenty minutes. Um, then I'll head back to. Um, oh, that bro's got something there. We'll try and get that from that guy. Um, oh. Oh, there he is. He's just loading in. Ah. Back again, are we? We are. Not everyone can tell how good my ways are. You've a discerning eye, you have. Mm, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> uh, yes. There we go. And I guess we'll also buy the uh, cookbook. Just... I've not been crafting too much, but... I feel that's not the point. Um, I mean, I wonder how these compare to my kind of like rogues bandit trousers I'm wearing. I do wonder. Uh, won't worry about it a minute. Okay, let's uh, remove our torch. Um, get our, I assume the lantern gets equipped here. Or maybe, maybe not. Let's see that. Unless, oh yeah, sorry, yeah, I'll do. Just, I saw it. There we go. With a telescope. Uh. Cool. I could have uh, put it on the uh, the uh, quick menu, but uh, it's probably easier to. Uh... Oh, there we go. That's cool. Okay, I can work with that. Um, right, and okay, we're going to head back to um, Round Temple Hold, see if we can use some of those flowers to upgrade our wolves a bit. Um, I feel it's probably the best way to go. Uh, Root, thank you for the uh, hydration. Ben! How you doing there, Ben? Are you well, sir? How, uh, how's your Monday? It's your, uh, it's your week end of your weekend, isn't it, Ben? Yeah. 
Here we go. Here she is. Greetings. Are you here for spirit tuning? Hmm. My mistake, it does cost a small amount of runes as well. So we need to give one uh, level three uh, flower and also 1,107 runes. So we'll do it. Why not? Okay, so the next we need one grade four flower, which uh, we do not have. Um, right, okay, yes. Yeah, so I could start working on some of the others of these but uh i don't know i guess um probably our new sorcerer and our new soldiers might be a uh, good ways to go oh they've got three wolves might be better than three soldiers i don't know um and then we've got our specials there which require the special uh glove warp um banished knight engval and uh Lutel the Headless. Both seem pretty good. Don't have enough FP to even use them yet. So. <laughs> um, but either way, they're the two categories. You've got the normal summons and the special summons. So um, by uh, by leveling up the wolf, I'm not really losing out on any of these two. But that's something else to consider, isn't it? Um, no, sh I mean, should we? I've got no... I've got nothing to lose at this point, have I? Just for an extra death. Screw it, let's go. Oh. Okay, I was expecting to die, just die. <laughs> oh, invaded by Mad Tong Abelrich. Okay. Oh, you're about to me. No, you invaded me, buddy. Oh, he's got some. Oh, what the? Fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I guess we'll. Uh... We well, should try and kill this guy, though, shouldn't we? He's not. He's not like a boss, technically, but he's kind of like a boss. Uh, so we should... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we should, we should, though. We should kill that guy. Cop. Oh. Do you not come back? Is that a one and done? Oh no, there he is. He's going to bounce us. Oh, I'm trying to use my uh, freaking wolves, aren't I? Alright, his attacks is quicker than mine. That's for sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was like, is he not coming? Back? You just have to wait a minute for him to come in. Yeah, it's got to be some benefit to you defeating him, obviously. Uh, so, yeah, let's do it. I'll try to. We give, we'll spend 15 minutes trying to do it. Yeah, I don't even think about this. Got a bloody invader in the round table hold. Can't, can't allow this to just carry on, can we? Um, seems to be there's uh, some random rooms off to the side, but... I feel like we should deal with him first, really. Can we get a, a backstab off the map? Yes. <laughs> okay. He's 
frosty sorceries. Oh, what the... What the hell is all that? Oh, God. I just probably want to... He surely only got so many of those, right? He all he also has FP like we do. Oh dear. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, you got better magic and weapons than me, buddy. Congratulations, like everybody else in the game. Um, yeah, it is pretty freaking good, isn't it? Considering, considering he's just rolling around with his clothes. <laughs> there you go, only 206. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Seems kind of pointless trying to throw flame at him, though. Honestly. He seemed to be very good at dodging. I certainly open one of those. He's better than me at dodging, that's for sure. Oh, I see, buddy. Got a little, got a bit of a heal on you. Wow, really? Okay. God, these magic missiles are uh, pretty insane. just way better than mine that's an excuse obviously that's uh, the name of the game isn't it whoa 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 what's the time there bro oh he's only got one heal nice God damn it. That close. That close. Okay, at least we know he's only got a single heal on him. Um Yeah, yeah, I'd um I'd seen that uh cop I I saw that it mentioned that, which is a good a good reason for um majors to have decks. Um so the only reason to not have decks at all is if you like, I, I'm not using magic, I'm not using any dex weapons. That's the only reason, isn't it? Okay. Okay, we, should, we were close. We almost got him. We should be able to do this. He's, he's, a, he's a tricky fellow, though. Glad there's a lot of space though. Oh, I thought I was gonna get us a back stamp there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely seems to be cop. Obviously, um stamina's not gonna 
be enough to um you know f finish him off but yeah if i land a good attack it does stun him for a second that he can uh we can you know can basically rinse your stamina to get a, a few good hits in but We shall see. Imagine having bleed and frost on your attacks. I mean, we've got bleed, but don't really uh, see the benefit of it. <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's good we don't even have far to get in there. <laughs> No backstab, but... Alright, let's drink his little potion. Okay. God, what, why, uh... I guess uh, we just hit each other at the same time. That's why I'm getting around it. Jumping into that is probably not a great idea, is it? Can't, uh, can't really just tank his attacks like that. Right, I've got less than 10 minutes. Very satisfied if I can get this done. If not, we'll be uh, leaving it another day. Yeah, let's hope so, Cop. I should be able to. I don't. Uh, I'm just getting the uh, trying to get the timing of the attacks down. That is uh, that big spinny attack. It, the damage gets through, even when you're uh, blocking. Oh, he went a fourth one. He went a fourth one. I swear, he only did three before. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> dodge into it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Try and dodge that. Oh, that three hit, spinning three hit combo. 
It's, um, even if I'm on full health and I block, it's, uh, it seems to have got me. So, uh, I have to do everything I can to avoid that. I got some good hits with the fireball there, but I almost wonder if it's even worth it. I would go for uh, counters, but I've got to take damage to do damage, so that's uh, not ideal as far as I'm concerned. I wonder what his, uh... what his FP is like. Yeah, if we both go for the jump attack, it's like you see, I mean, I do uh, fuck all to him. Not fuck all, but not a great amount. And he's, uh, he fucking wrecks me. Absolutely wrecked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, stop showing off. Uh. I'm sure he'd, uh, be able to dodge our uh, glint stones pretty uh pretty well um maybe because I, I i need to be dodging more so than blocking this is this is true um It's got a decent amount of range on that attack, hasn't it? Let's give it a go. No blocks, all dodge. Oh, that, that was there. Uh, seemed to do a decent bit of damage. Completely uh, awkwarded out there. Uh, definitely seems uh, more viable. I'm about to die though. But yes, uh, agree, Ryan. Yeah, I like his armor. I wonder if we get his armor. I like, uh, uh, I do like the hat, but, um, let's just see, I'll just be content with beating him. <laughs> yeah, no, it did when it landed, cop. It did, didn't it? And as I, d I d really don't want to be getting hit at all, block or not, then there's not really any disadvantage of not going two handed, so. Range on his scythe. Fuck my life. Oh. 
definitely not a bad option. Um, it's just... Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's just... Oh, he's very uh, hes very tricky. Because he plays like... Um, obviously, he's an AI, but hes he has the same control as a player. So it's very easy for him to dodge um, and get out of your way. Like I say, I can only hope and assume because of that, he does have a limited amount of FP, but being a mage, it could be, um, you know, it could be a rather insane amount that he might as well not have. Or maybe he's even programmed so he doesn't have a limit on his spells. Oh, okay. That's not what I was uh, going for. Get out, get out. Ugh. 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 Okay. Just have to do two in a row, basically. Right, he's died. I've got the uh, Taunter's Tongue. Okay, cool. There we go. We got it done. Uh, thank you, thank you, God. <laughs> yes. Yeah, isn't it? He's, he does seem to blink past his attack. I just had to just do two in a row, basically. Not worry about the fact that the first, the initial hit was in range or not, or whether it was even hitting him. Because uh, by doing that, it seemed to provoke him, him to attack so that I was uh, hitting him with um, the second follow-up. Thank you, thank you, Root. Thank you, guys. I appreciate those bees. Never necessary, but a little cheer, a little cheer. Thank you. Yeah, that guy was tricky. I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like him. But um, let's see what he got. He gave us something. The taunter's tongue. There he is. Actually, uh, laws and invaders. I mean, I don't. <laughs> we can't be invaded anyway, or do co-op with anyone. Because I, I'm not currently not online with this game, unfortunately. But um, some people like to be invaded and fight people. They, they like the competitive aspect of these games. That's not something that I've... Um, I never shied away from it in Dark Souls. If I got invaded, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. I would f do my best to fight the invader. Um, usually they would kill me. But I would... Some, sometimes I would kill them. But, I would, you know, I would... Uh, you know, I was never like, Yay! I've been invaded! <laughs> um... But yeah, that allows you to put you basically put yourself to the top of the list to be invaded. Um, oh, not only that, without uh, any furled finger cooperators present, and it also shortens the interval between windows of opportunity for invasion. Um, <laughs> additionally, enables the arrival of a second invader to join on a cooperator's present. Oh, okay, so you can get your buddy in the game, then use that to be invaded by two people. Um. So you could have like a 2v2. Yeah, it's like uh, we had a guy in here the other week who was like, yeah, you know, they call it Fight Club. He's like, yeah, I run a Fight Club. I was like, okay, that's nice. I don't know if he was trying to get me involved. He did a terrible job of doing that. <laughs> I guess he just goes around to every single Elden Ring stream being like, yo, join my Fight Club, join my Fight Club, do you want to join my Fight Club? It's like, no. Nah. That's, that's not why I play Souls games. Not, uh, you know. Don't mind a bit of jolly cooperation then now and then, but to me these are single player games that would not suffer in any way, shape, or form if they were entirely single player. As far as I'm concerned. Um fortunately we didn't get his gear, but um so that'll send us back to where we came from. Let me just check the side rooms. Not to say there definitely will be anything, but I now assume that he's defeated. Uh, he's not coming back, so we could always jump down here again if uh, if we needed to, I assume. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Is this just linking back up to where we'd been previously? It might be, you know. 
I'm sure, I'm sure we'd already been in this room. And this room. With the uh, stone sword keys. Or maybe not at all. Okay. The cipher pata. Pata? Cipher pata. What is, uh, on earth is that? an equipment it is a fist weapon what the bloody hell oh it's a it's a literal it's a cipher it's it's words i thought sorry in the uh in the pig it looked like a uh a, a stick kind of a white bone pointy spiky stick <laughs> it's writing a cipher <laughs> Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Cop. Yeah. And I, we're only play, I wouldn't. We're only playing offline just because I don't have Game Pass at the minute. In a few weeks, when I do get Game Pass back, we'll we'll suddenly be playing this game online. Uh, one of the weapons originating from the two fingers, a formless sequence of ciphers, comprise its blade. And as such, no shield can repel it. Deals holy damage. No shield can repel it. Uh, the furtive inscription appears to hang in the, in the air. The language of light spoken by the two fingers. Unique skill, unblockable blade. Imbue the cipher blade with light. Then lunge forward with a sudden piercing attack. This attack cannot be blocked. Um, you need 30 faith to be able to use it properly. We can't even... Uh, Maybe we can equip it poorly, but let's have a go on it. No, no. Okay, so we. Oh, there it is. Okay, we can't use it effectively, but I just want to. I just want to use it. Right. Okay. Yeah. So it's like a uh, claw weapon. Yeah, we we're not getting a proper combo because we're. Uh, But the fact that that's unblockable. Is, uh. Pretty freaking awesome. Shields can't block it. Use those to take apart the, uh. The freaking, um. Crucible Knight with his insane shield. Just, like, dodge around him and be like. A fist of light. Um, how weird. Okay. <laughs> For now, it's not a practical option in any way, shape, or form. So let's not worry about it, Ron. <laughs> but that's, um... So, we've got... Look, you've got, like, the God Slayer seal. Which requires faith to use properly. Um... The cipher... Which uh, requires faith to use properly. The winged scythe, which requires faith, and also a bunch of, you know, the uh, the black fire fireball and weapon, you know, the the buff, all requiring faith. So I mean, there's a there's a lot of reasons. If you're concerned about different options to go the faith route, I feel. I don't know. Ah, was it, Cop? The Winged Scythe. Yeah, it looks freaking cool. And it's, it sounds freaking cool. Yeah, it's got its own special. And it's got blood uh, build up on it. It's not... Uh, it's not, And, yeah, it does physical and holy damage. It does both. So that's kind of like out-damaging everything that exists almost. <sighs> decisions, guys. Decisions. We're way, well behind everything we possibly could want or need. <laughs> <sighs> For now, let's just carry on. So let's um, let's get our bloodhounds uh, sword back. Now, can I switch in our new shield as we've got rid of our torch? Yes, I can. 
Okay. Bit, yeah, I like the uh, emblem on it. A bit fancier looking. But that's uh, that's the extent of it, isn't it? But interesting. That's cool. I'm glad we uh, found that at least. But um, but yeah, I don't. Apart from the um, the equip uh, the the new uh, oh we we didn't buy it yet. That the last merchant we saw, he was uh, selling um, my seals we got our seals runes. The merchant, he was uh, selling the uh, upgraded next level um, sorcery catalyst. Um, I don't think we... And obviously the sorcery spells we have. But we have a lot less of those anyway. So I don't know. Don't know what we shall do. Uh, I guess we can just log out right here, right? I would assume. Let's see why we couldn't. Unless, uh, unless the homie has anything to say about that invader. He probably won't. He, that guy has nothing to say about anything. Uh, you. What is it? I just killed an invader. Don't want to talk about that idea. <laughs> no. By uh, our final couple of things here. Um, not all of them, obviously. Um, yeah, still a few more bits I need. Never mind. Okay, let's uh, let's fast travel back to where we would be carrying on tomorrow. Right, okay, I want to make the priority to be, um, trying to work our way through this area looking for, uh, a map so I can actually see what I'm doing or what our options may or may not be. Uh, so let's just go back here and then we'll just ride Torrent around, t uh, tomorrow. Well, it won't be tomorrow, will it? Um, or it might be, I don't know. More importantly is the fact that Caged Wolf is over 9,000. Uh, thank you there, Wolf, for the, uh, the flex. Anyway, we're jumping over anyway, aren't we? Yeah, cop, yeah, two, two-handed heavy attacks with, uh, with the various uh, weapons, hang on. Hush, Elden Ring. I don't know, I've got a bit of an OCD about resting at the, uh, the grace. I wish it was just still a campfire. <sighs> this game, let's be honest, is Dark Souls 4. It is Dark Souls 4. I, I don't, I, I feel that they, uh, I feel that they called it Elden Ring or just something that wasn't Dark Souls to add, uh, to its marketability because obviously Dark Souls has a reputation. Um, but anyway, let me sort out, out um, Wolf's Flex here. I'll do that first. Damn, Wolf. Ninth flex, bro. Just overtaking the young sea star there. Moving on up. Sorry, uh... 
Sorry, Sea Star. Wolf has just climbed on top of you. Uh, no, Garuda. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Mike. Uh, thank you, guys. Um, oh, sorry. The the magic based attack of the two handed of the that's crazy scythe. It looks so cool and tempting, cop. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do about it. There's too many things I need stats for. There's, um, I need vigor because we just need more hit points. This is clearly, obviously a fact. Um, just to, if nothing else, that will just make our potion, our little flask go further. You, you want your flask to basically, you get the full benefit out of it. We're not, it's heal, it's over healing us. We're obviously not getting a benefit because our max hit points are so shit. So we need to do that. Having more mind is definitely not a bad thing because then you've got more points for, you know, your summons or your spells or your special attacks, right? That's a good thing. I definitely need to put some more in endurance so just so we can, like, sort out our equip load a bit. I'm not trying to, like, juggle things so much and worrying about what's what. Plus, um, I feel we're pretty decent on stamina. I don't feel we're hurting for stamina. But you can never actually have a too much stamina. So um, we don't need any more strength or dexterity. Or do we? <laughs> right? I don't know. And if I want to use any of those faith weapons, I'm going to put some points in faith. Likewise, if with the, the you know, the sorceries, I've got to put points in intelligence. It's just too much. I don't know. You can't do it all. Um, no, yeah, of course, cop. It's much better to just find something and just, uh, if you can make it work for you, not worry about it. Just go for it. <coughs> but um, I feel we're like way underleveled and way weak for where we are in the game. Um, and even if I was inclined to like grind off stream i've not even seen it like what i feel is a decent worthwhile place to even do it so that's a whole thing in and of itself um xbox wolf xbox um unfortunately uh i uh do not have uh decent playstations unfortunately um i have a ps3 with no games and i have ps2 which may be broken uh um that's just the way it works so yeah i'm playing on uh on the xbox one um no yeah thank you uh thank uh thank athlean thank you uh travis thank you travis so good to see you again buddy um i'm g just glad that i know that you're out there and you're doing well sir we are all so um obviously we've moved on from final fantasy um, but we are here. I stream every Monday to Friday. Not this Friday. My parents are getting married. So I've, uh, I'll, be, I'll be away for that. Um, but uh, tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, I'll be here. And then every Monday to Friday for... Who knows? Maybe the rest of my life. We shall see. Um, obviously, it won't. I won't be here once, once I'm dead. But uh, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, it's pleasure, absolute pleasure to have you again, Travis. Anytime, buddy. Um, we're starting our, uh, to, yeah, of course, tomorrow, guys, Le myself, Legion Cage, Lone Wolf, this is the start, um, don't know what's gonna happen, be here, it'll be fun, uh, I'm sure, um, so then, um, Wednesday and Thursday, we'll do more Elden Ring, off on Friday, I, the way we're kind of still getting into the game, I feel, I probably will do all of next week on Elden Ring, Apart from maybe the day we do with Cage, if he if we're gonna do once a week with Cage, I don't know. Um, and then we would drop Elden Ring down to one stream a week to continue progress, but um, for allow us to keep the variety aspect of the channel going because the way Elden Ring is looking to me is chunky old boy. If we make it our only game, we could be at it for a couple of months, going by my rate of progress. Um. Which, uh, could, you know, on one hand could be very fun. On another hand, I don't want to, like, pigeonhole the channel into a single game at any point. 
Um, um, you not what not a fan of thrusting weapons, uh, cop. Yeah, doing that big attack in one direct you know, directly forward. It, it feels there's something about a sweeping attack, a swinging attack. It feels like you've got <laughs> you might not have as much range, but you've got more spread. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely get that. No, Sea Star, thank you for being here, my dear. Um, but yeah, do, Travis, you don't need to feel that you need to try to be around. We are here if you want to uh, talk to me or talk to these lovely people in chat or just hang out for whatever. Just want to touch base, say hello, whatever you want to do, buddy. Um, but there's no uh, there's no obligation. You don't need to be here. You'd be here if you want to be here. Um, yeah, you, and you do it. And if you want any advice, uh, Travis, I know you, I remember you mentioning that before um about streaming in general you get at me i'm not an expert but i've been doing it pretty solid now for well over two years uh it seems wild to say that but um yeah here's to the next two years you, you know the thing i will say about streaming i feel like everybody starts off kind of shit at it <laughs> honestly uh not sh not shit but you know no one's good because it's, it's something you've not done before you're not going to be good at it of course you're not but you have to just embrace the understand the fact that it's like grinding in an rpg you the more you do it the better you'll get out you can't get worse at it you can you literally can only level up you cannot go worse it's not like elden ring where you can get a bunch of runes and then die and then lose your runes every rune you get you have forever even if one stream you die you're not losing any xp you only get better at it Obviously, different people's uh, rate of getting better uh, is maybe better than others, more greater than others. Maybe um, there is some small degree of natural talent to it. Uh, I don't know. That's open to interpretation. Um, but you definitely can't get worse at it. The more you do it, the more you get, the, the better you'll get at it. Um, thank you. Thank you, Travis. That means a lot, buddy. Yeah. And it, over the past year, there's been a few moments where I was like, not that I wanted to stop for myself, but just trying to fine tune things, like just changing up schedules, um, and you know what we were doing here and there, you know, um, different experimentation, and and also in real life, like, oh, am I gonna just have to stop doing this and get a a, a real job, a real job, uh? But things have kind of, I feel like I've uh, fallen on my feet a little bit. And uh, over the past couple of months, we've um, not. I'm, I'm not concerned about numbers, but I do feel that um, uh, our av average viewership is like you know steadily, you know, creeping up. Um, maintains, you know, goes up a little bit. Maintains, and uh, yeah, over the past three or four months, we've um, the awesome, awesome people you meet on twitch don't ever th feel like it's set in stone i've like, oh, i've met the cool people that's it that's the end of the journey no i've uh i've met so many freaking awesome people over this past two years over this past two months um like it's almost every time i you know anytime i would not stream i'm missing a potential opportunity to meet uh, a you know new best friend potentially so we shall see um uh, <laughs> poison is going to be happening soon we've got uh already things chunked up uh, guys of course remember, don't forget about the raffle you spend your channel points to buy raffle tickets uh the uh the prizes in the raffle are uh first prize you can be a producer for the month uh without paying and the second prize is an assistant producer for the month without paying uh if you win both prizes which you can you'll become an executive producer for the month without paying what uh, what is a producers? That is for anyone who doesn't know. That is for, uh, the uh, the benefits through the Patreon, which a few people uh, choose to engage with, uh, which obviously supports me in the channel. And the benefits of being a producer for any amount of time is you get to directly influence specifically what we cover on the channel. Um, every game we've done over the past three or four months have been directly chosen by the producers. I have uh they've ch i've put them on a list they've said do this do that do this do that the only reason we've done anything is because of them um so if that appeals uh buy you get your raffle tickets consolation prize if you get nine or more tickets or multiple of nine even if you don't win 
you get those uh, transferred into flexes on the flex leaderboard. So, yeah, you know, hard to uh, hard to uh, miss out or anything. Red Mage, you take care, sir. Uh, what even is real at this point? I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> Wolf, you got exactly six nine channel points. Well, unfortunately, you can't keep them. So yeah, so yeah, Poison. Sorry to keep you in there, buddy. I hope that answered your question. So I don't know how many channel points you have at the minute, Poison, or if that is something that would be uh, of interest to you. But we'll be doing that every single month. The uh, the raffle is sponsored by our good friend, not that guy, Ryan. Uh, absolute ledge that he is. Thank you, Ryan. Um, you buy your tickets throughout the month. The draw is live on stream on the uh, the first stream of each month, which will be the 1st of December coming up. So, you know, it'll either be the 1st, 2nd or 3rd, uh, depending if the 1st of the month fell on a Saturday or Sunday. Um, no worries. Well, I... Yeah, I don't worry about it, Ryan, but I'm uh, eternally grateful to you, sir, for your uh, support. Um, no, but that's the thing. You, it, you know, poison. Some people, um, some people don't care. Some people just want to uh, just want to be here and talk and hang out and talk to me and talk to each other and just uh, get a nice vibe, uh, background noise or whatever else is going on. Uh, regardless, and of course, some people are more excited about what. Oh, is this pla like sevens? Like is. Hey, you're playing Elder Ring. Blah. Uh, well, as I know, uh, some things coming up she'll be far more excited about. Um, but she doesn't want to be involved in the raffle. She doesn't want to actually decide, but she does have a preference. Some people don't have a preference. Some people don't have a preference, but they do want to throw their hat in the ring and be like, oi, go for this. Um, but yeah, it's up to you, Poison. There's no uh, pressure. Um, and it's only, I have veto power, so it's not like you guys decide oh it is cut do this game and i don't give a damn about it at all but i am flexible and uh we are definitely down for experimenting here and there on the isnip show we're not uh we're not against that but yes poison do it do it buddy get out of vip it takes a lot 50k points is quite kind of a lot um but once you've got it it's for life it's for the rest of your life unless like someone severely does something to piss me off <laughs> but um here's the thing the show's not the channel's not going anywhere. The raffle's not going anywhere um, for for now. Uh, and, uh, you know, the flex leaderboard's not going anywhere. So, uh, you know, don't don't uh, think about, you know, YOLO. No, YOLO? No. Uh, FOMO. <laughs> not YOLO. <laughs> uh, that was just true. Uh, you, do, you do YOLO. But, uh, um, yeah, FOMO. Like, oh, no, I've got to miss out. It's like, no, you're not missing out or anything. We're here. We're staying here. We're not going anywhere. Um, we'll be here next month. We'll be here next year. We'll be here the year after that. We're not. So, um, so yeah. If I was you, poison. If you know your position and you like the channel, yeah. Don't worry about the raffle now. Don't worry about flexing. Get your VIP because that's you know that's for life. So, um, Travis, you head out, buddy. We'll see you soon. Get at me if you need anything. Get at me on Discord. Um, uh, yeah, there you go. And voting can be tactical as well. Uh, sometimes you can like vote on something, and. Uh, you know, save your vote. Somebody else voted on it. <laughs> uh, it will get more dynamic the more uh, producers there are. So I'm grateful to Ryan even more so for that, given the opportunity of, uh, you know, there might be some of you here who are like, oh, I love the idea of that is, but like you, I don't really have disposable income. I don't want you to, uh, I don't want to pe put people out of pocket for it. Um, but by doing it as a raffle for channel points, which are absolutely free, which you bank by literally just being here, you can... Uh, cash those in to get a an a chance an opportunity to uh you know have your have your say about what happens here um uh yeah yeah <laughs> you you saw us playing those those wolf uh, uh. yeah uh yeah <laughs> that was literally what we did before uh before we start no uh before elden ring we did uh resident evil village before Resident Evil Village, we did all four seasons of <laughs> The Walking Dead. Yeah, and that was Athelene's choice. Athelene is one of our producers. Athelene was like, yo, I'm going to put one, uh, one, was it, uh, how many votes? She had some votes saved up. She was like, The Walking Dead games. And we covered the games because uh, she voted for them. So it's like, what, that, that's my commitment to the producers in what I will play the games in order that they have votes. Um, so uh we shall see um 
yeah don't, don't worry about it wolf yeah no my god i enjoyed it immensely um but yeah who, ne who even needs a brain anymore i mean i don't know anyway I've, i'm rambling um so yes uh so that's the plan coming up um so yeah hope to see you all tomorrow for uh potentially you know for uh legion cage appearing uh i think i think it's actually officially uh cage's first official appearance on the isnim show as well so that'll be exciting but then we're gonna obviously get into uh lone wolf so if those of you are fans of my stupid voice and jibber jabber it's not jibber jabber as i'm talking about nonsensical tangents and uh strange thoughts about existence i but i will be reading your story um so if that sounds interesting um listen to my dulcet tones as i describe the monsters uh tearing uh cage limb from limb um uh do be here for that uh so thank you to ryan for the two gift subs thank you ryan uh thank you to uh coptimus and uh root for the bitties i appreciate it let's go find somebody to raid um unless of course anyone wants to uh uh determine that with your channel points i'll see who's around decent decent monday stream to get us started let's see let's see oh slightly playing haunting ground how does it uh this game i believe i believe uh slightly is playing this game right now I played it a little bit. It's like survival horror, but there's uh, there's not really any combat. You're just kind of running away from the scary things. But uh, what little I played of it was decent. I think I got uh, stuck on it though. So that potentially could be on my list. I don't know, but um, we could could I, I raid slight all the time. Of course I do. But <laughs> uh, who else is Lily? There's uh, there's Fallen, the Spin Dash, uh, D Cannon, like uh, Lupo lee uh it's freaking loads of people so many people but um i wouldn't mind seeing a little bit of um how long has slight been streaming oh he's only just started okay um i don't know if he just started the game i think he was playing it the other day as well actually but um i want to um i want to uh see a little bit of this haunting ground uh let's see i think playing bloody um Final Fantasy 11 uh yeah I've, I've had to knock that on the head for now unfortunately there we go so go, let's go see slight and some haunting ground and see you uh, see what's up but guys again thank you for all the massive support thank you for being here you're all bloody legends uh I will return tomorrow for legion cage and uh lone wolf and uh i hope to see you there if anybody needs me between now and tonight uh feel free to just message me on discord of course i don't know what time one i don't know how long it's going to take us or how long the cage has so if we have any time at the end of the stream either we finish with the book or cage needs to go then we'll just do carry on and do a bit more elder ring um but uh thanks for thank you for everything guys Time for me to get food. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm always hungry, though, to be fair. <laughs> Let's go see Slot and Haunting Ground. <laughs> Mwah.